Sunday. I hope you are all doing super well. Welcoming once again. And today we are playing a brand new game. So excited to play a brand new game. And today we are playing Broken Sword number two. I'm really excited about it because it is the second Broken Sword that we have played and Broken Sword one was awesome. So this Broken Sword is called The Smoking Mirror. Ooh. It's supposed to be really good as well. Um, a little bit harder and Broken Sword one, so we're gonna see if we've gotten smarter. But we are going to be joining Nico and George once more with feeling in another adventure, and I can't wait, it's gonna be great. So this one was actually made in 1997 by Revolution Software, and I just can't wait, it's gonna be a glorious, glorious time. So I hope you're all ready and keep your pants on. <laughs> Let's go play Broken Sword 2. Let's play. Oh yeah. Hold on to your butts. The adventure begins. This is really pretty. Ooh. Cecil. must be the place, Professor Oubier's house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. Oh my. So that's Nico and George? I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Mm. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching a story. <laughs> the guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. <laughs> uh oh. Run away, George. Squish it. Run away. Squish it. Squish it. Um. What have we got here? Can we come over here? There's a bookcase there. Can we do something with the bookcase? I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy <laughs> of how to deal with poisonous spiders while tied to a chair. No such luck. But mm. I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Ooh. <laughs> this is not what I expected, okay? That, a lot just happened! Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. Okay, let's just take stock now that we have dealt with the spider. What the heck just happened? Wow! 
Now, that is what you call a, an intro, guys. Uh, we are definitely gripped by the sense of adventure that Nico and George have already got themselves back into. Like, what the? <laughs> Can we do something on this metal bracket here? <laughs> Just what? Just what? Ah ha ha! Nice, nice going, George. mighty bound, our hero was free. Now, I had to deal with that <laughs> fire. Just casual. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? So this game is a lot easier than um, Legend of Kyrandia Inside, was I found with working a bottle out. Of tequila. That is not going to help the fire. Um, pick up normally, the tequila. I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Oh, I didn't mean drink it. Disgusting. Okay. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, I just managed to stop Ugh. myself from swallowing the worm. Gross. What's in the drawer? In the drawer was a small decorated pot. Okay. What else have we got in the writing bureau? Oh. Shall we pick up the worm? Short, sure. fleshy, and gross on the carpet. I know, you. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. Gross. Okay, we have a worm from the bottle of tequila. Mm. Such a snork starting early. How's everyone doing? I was like, early? Me? Never. Never. Um, if I remember correctly, how do the we look at things? The contained right. a key. Ah, of course it did. It was that itsy bitsy tequila worm. I he really, looks really must angry. remember to take it out of my pants before I send them to the laundry. <laughs> like, it looks like an angry worm. Look at it. He's like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. What's this? Do we need the dart on the ground, do you think? That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end. But this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. That's fair enough, Luke. Luke uh, says, I literally slept all day, body gave up on me and decided I'm napping out today. That's fair enough. Fair enough. It was a good, good Sunday to do that, I reckon. Okay, so that's Nico's purse. It was purse. a stylish little canvas number containing a lipstick, mm. a handwritten note, and a pair of nylon panties with a large Ooh. love heart emblazoned across the front. It occurred to me that Nico's tastes must have really changed while I was away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, they could be useful. I thought he was going to put the whole bag in his pants then for a second. <laughs> oh yeah, Luke was playing Sea of Thieves yesterday. What did you think of it, Luke? Okay, what else have we got? What is this on the floor over here? Oh, that's the box that the... the I wasn't going to touch the box after that spider, spider had been inside it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice, Luke. I'm glad Lady Valiant came along and, and um, could help you out a bit. Siphon? That might have water in it, right? There was no pressure in the siphon. I guess it was out of gas. Oh. The cabinet was locked. Hmm. Oh, we have a key. Hang on. Perhaps we can use the key with the, the cabinet. The key was way too large to fit into that tiny keyhole. I just don't think you're trying hard enough, George. Okay, what else did we pick up then? The panties. <laughs> it was a pair of red, lace-trimmed panties <laughs> decorated with a large black satin heart. Thanks for the hydrate. Sexy. Okay. What else is there here? Flames, door. Siphon. box. Oh, that's exciting that you got eaten by a kraken, Luke. I don't know, I feel like anything in life you ever wanted. I mean, being eaten by a kraken's pretty cool. Oh, there's a metal 
Oh, that's the metal bracket we were just using. I chair. had no time to sit around. What is that rope? The rope was shredded and no possible use to me. Okay. What? Day you can do it in a multiplayer version. Oh yes, maybe. Eventually, can we I wasn't take touching the squash that spider? spider? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, photograph. Yeah, maybe one day. Nice couple. Cute. 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 Can we open the window? I appreciate how long the fire is burning for. I wasn't going to get for. through those sturdy bars. Hmm. I hope Nico's okay. Ooh. Well, this is actually one that I had in my cart already um, from quite some time ago. The door Luke. blocked my only means of escape. Can we use something on the cabinet? What is that lipstick? What does the note I say? I guess I had no business reading the note, but I figured it might give me a clue to what Nico was involved in. It was Did from Andre Lobano. The history student Nico had known at college. The letter was oh, sentimental yeah. mush. And revealed that the exotic lingerie, as he called it, was a gift from him. It gave his telephone number. Labano figured himself as a rival for Nico's affections, but I couldn't mm. believe that that creep was in the running. Hilarious. He's like, oh, I am very attracted to you. Let me send you this pair of little panties. <laughs> hey, sneakers, hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me know how you go, Luke. I hope your meeting goes really well. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, what if we used the dart on the cabinet to pick the lock? Hi, Joe Blow. Hey. <laughs> As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. <laughs> Probably would work. A uh, cylinder and what else is the cabinet? What's the cylinder? That cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it mm. up with my bare hands. Can we use the panties? Hilarious. I think it's hilarious that he even thought to like pick up the panties. Dude. The On panties the I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap it up. I hope they're not used. Woohoo! And then we use the cylinder on the siphon, which. It's literally a nang. <laughs> ah ha ha! George is point and click the cylinder expert. Gave out a faint that's hiss true. As the valve opened. I oh, know. <laughs> now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. Oh yeah. Well, let's use the siphon on the flippin' flame, shall we? Flippin'. I mean, he probably could have just pulled down a curtain. Even. With a well-aimed squirt of his soda fountain, our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. <laughs> I've missed you, George. Oh, mate. <laughs> Oh, heck. What a funny, funny, funny bloke. I'm really well, Sneakers. How are you? Is this the guy with the, the game with the bathtub guy? No. Uh, the one with the bathtub guy was Gabriel Knight. Today we are playing Broken Sword 2. I would like to play the next Gabriel Knight, though, at some stage. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red-hot doorknob, and it wasn't the time for subtlety. Oh, I thought he was going to use the panties again. <laughs> Good, I'm pleased to hear that. <laughs> right, there's a note there. Oh, it's a news cutting. Pick up the news cutting, please, George. And then we're going to call her friend, I think. I'd found the a one piece that of newspaper folded in two. Hmm. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. The best oh place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. Mexico. 
other games to a key. That's right, AC. So last time in game one, we had this sewer key that undoes manholes and things, and we literally used it for everything. It was hilarious and super useful, apparently. Much as I disliked him, Labano no, might no. be my only hope of finding Nico. I thought Labano was potentially the um the bad guys. I can't remember. Hi, Andre. Who is this? It's George Stobart, Nico's boyfriend. Don't you mean? Ex-boyfriend? Look, oh. I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested in you? Listen, Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Okie dokie, I guess we're going to Montfaucon. You Montfaucon. better show, you creep. I felt an irrational urge to wipe my ear. <laughs> oh, poor possum. Is there anywhere else we can go? Is this outside? I don't know. Let's have a look. It was locked. Of course it is. What about this door? Club a clown, like bachelor. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. The door was locked. Yeah, we literally I didn't fancy my chance so, of kicking this door down. The first uh, story, we had this series of costumed murderers, which all had to do with the um, the Illuminati. Um, and and one of them was a clown, dressed as a clown. There was a mime. There was a clown. Um, I can't remember the other one. There was one others. I assume we're going to use this key in the door. Yeah. Templars. Templars. That's what I meant. Templars. <laughs> I unlocked the door. <laughs> I'm not really into violence. I wasn't looking forward Might to meeting you Labino better, again, but he was my only link with Nico. We're going to go meet Labino, Labino, Labino. Oh, the cafe's all rebuilt. That's nice. There was nice. no sign of Labano when I got to the cafe. I decided to order a coffee and wait for him. So I think this is the one that got blown up, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Hello. Pardon me, but don't I know you? Huh? <laughs> you were here the, the day I found the catacombs. That's I right. I was. Because we went uh, down yes. there. I remember you. Yeah. Are you still in the police force? No, not anymore. I'm a man of leisure. And what brings you back to Paris? Labedo. Mm, let's talk about My Nico girlfriend. first. What it is to be young and in love. Will you share a bottle of wine with me? Hey, listen, I'd love to, but I need to keep a clear head. So my company isn't good enough for you? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> um... Why did you leave the police? I was forced to retire. The oh, golden no, handshake. No. Only in my case, it was more copper than gold. Oh, How sad. come? I was made a scapegoat to cover up the department's inefficiencies. Mm, sad. What is this Have guy? Have you ever heard of a Professor Ubié? Oh. No, monsieur. I don't <gasps> recall I like him as that. Apparently, he's an expert on Mayan art and history. <laughs> a little out of my field of experience, monsieur. If he'd been a serial killer or a sodomite, I might have been able to help. So I'm into the serial killers, man. Go clubbing. Been a while since you've been going clubbing? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like clubbing's a bit overrated. What's the flask? Oh, well, we'll finish our talking what to him about all this other dog? stuff. I remember a case where the victim was killed with just such a device. What do you now? The poison acted in seconds, causing his body to swell up like an inflatable life raft. Well, I really hope that didn't happen to Nico. That could be very awkward. What do you make of this news cutting? Orphanage supplied fast food chain? No, it's the <laughs> article above that. Oh! Total eclipse Total of the eclipse sun. Of the well, sun. that's very dull in comparison. I don't know anything about eclipses. Except the eclipses of the heart. <gasps> Tell me what you make of this note. From my years of experience, I gained a pretty good insight into handwriting. 
I'd say that note was written by a compulsive, obsessive type with an Oedipus complex. Oh, what's hey, an Oedipus? You got just about everything apart from the ponytail. Complex. Still going strong. I know, crazy, isn't it? The um, the next instalment will be put up tonight as well. Um, that's nearly done. It's crazy, isn't it? Just that first one going crazy. I think because it's gone so crazy, it's continuing to go really crazy. Because it's one of the top ones that comes up when you Google uh, in YouTube, Hogwarts Legacy Sunshine. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Makes me happy. I, I couldn't want snatch the man's flask while he was looking. Look the other way, man. Can we wait for him to move the other way? No, he's drinking something. Look away, look away. Oh, maybe we can talk to the waiter. Wait, waiter! H hello? I mean, that oh, would be garçon. awesome. Garçon! He ignored me. I'm sure it was deliberate. What a snork. Yeah, crossing fingers, Luke. It'd be great if um, if we somehow got more people from that. It would be awesome. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, you. Well, I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. <laughs> we'll wait one more time. And then if he does not help us, we will knock him in the bottom. He is adding things from his flask oh, to his wine. Thanks. What does that guy keep pouring out of his flask? Absinthe. Yeah, Absinthe. I think so. I think so. I thought that was highly dangerous so anyway. and outlawed in France. It is. Don't look at me, I didn't sell it to him. He's putting absinthe in his wine. Don't know that that would taste real good. Do you know a guy called André Lobino? Oui, oh. I know him. What of it? I'm supposed André to meet him Lobino. Did I miss him? No, the I have not seen him today. Man. Hmm. What about this fellow? Have you fellow? heard of Professor Oubier? Oui, he married that actress, the little Dachshund. They used to come here, the nutty Aww. professor and the movie star. Cute. If Oubier's wife was a movie ah. star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her <coughs> stage name was Carol Climax. She I died like him. He's saucy. in suspicious circumstances. Of course she did. Of course she did. How did Oubier's wife die? I heard he shot her. And got away with it? He had a good lawyer and a watertight alibi. Oh la la. Why would an eminent public figure like Oubier risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? Besides, people like him always get off. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Tell me about the old man. Do you man. know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. Look at this. A poison dart. Now we. Oui. Sure. Sure! It's the real thing. Knocked my girlfriend out cold in a matter of seconds. At least Romantic. she didn't blow up. Sounds like a real close <laughs> relationship you are going. That's I all. like him. Thank you. A watertight alibi, Jin. Watertight. Ooh, here is a suspicious character. Well, well, this is a surprise, Georgie. <laughs> I know, crazy, fabulous. I wouldn't normally call you. But Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? It was you that recommended Professor Oubier as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her. And he tried to kill me. Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her was the best thing you could do. My He's not father wrong. was dying, damn it. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico's in danger, and we have to work together. So, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubier <laughs> about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? You're not wrong, Jin. It is a weird thing to say. Ooh! So that's what all the trouble's about. 
Precisely. Nicole told me to guard it with my life. Well, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh. Oh my god. You mean I could be in danger too? Isn't he supposed to be like a historian and stuff? I don't... Yeah. Oh no, it's the ponytail. The ponytail uh, is the problem. <laughs> yeah, see this dart? I accidentally knocked my girlfriend out with this dart. <laughs> what do you suppose the carving on the stone means? I don't know. I haven't shown it to anyone. Why don't you just give it to me? I just don't want your me. death on my conscience, Georges. Georges. Where did Nico get the stone? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, you should. It was something to do with smuggling. Ooh la la. Okay. Why didn't Nico take the stone to Ubie? I don't know. Perhaps she suspected something like this would happen. If she's been hurt, Andre, I'll break every bone in your body. No, that's typical of you. Do you think I don't care what happens to Nico? It occurred to me that slugs don't have bones to break, but I kept that thought to myself. <laughs> he really dislikes this guy, hey? Uh, let's talk to him about um, the guy that potentially killed his wife. Tell me about your friend Ubie. He's Ubier. more of a professional acquaintance than a friend. I see. So you don't really know him at all? No, I don't. Okay, tell me about this angry-faced man who took my girlfriend away. Does Ubie employ a guy from Central America? Hey, Slug, America? hello! Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Right, without context, that would sound very suspicious. You're not wrong, crazy. It's like, oh, hello there. Look at this random thing that my girlfriend went to sleep really quickly from. It's a poison dart. I'm like, mm, I might be pulling, calling the cops. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was a very big sneezy. Um, I like your slug slug. It's very cute. Let me show you a what worm! What do you think this is, Andre? <laughs> I don't know. I'll give you a clue. It's got more backbone than you. You oh. think you're amusing, don't you? Mm. Boom. Wow. That was... that was brutal, George. What can you tell me about this pot? Mm, South or Central American, I'd say. I have a friend who'd be able to tell you more. Where can I find this guy? He owns a gallery on the left bank. The Glees Gallery. See you later. Please. Goodbye, Georgie. So, okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for your information. Toodaloo. Don't worry about your girlfriend. All's good. <gasps> Meanwhile, seven, several I've had hundred enough kilometers of your games, away. Kalar. Tell me what you've done with my stone. I thought your business was simply smuggling cocaine, Karzak. Why are you so interested in that stone? Either you tell me what I want to know, or Pablo here will make you talk. Dun dun dun! Top okay. Pablo is very tall. Well, I figured someone at the university would be able to help. So I had a word with one of my girlfriends, and she told me her boyfriend was a lecturer. I... I sent the stone to the Department of Ethnology. You know, I figured it was South American, so... You're not buying this, are you? That's enough! I don't have time to listen to your mindless prattle. I think they've changed her voice. We'll leave you to think it over. Which is a shame, I loved her voice. You'll be ready to talk. They seem really, they are really, really dead. Well, they are in France. Mm-hmm. Okay, George. Let's talk to Jen da Dem, Dem, John Dam, Jean Claude Van Dam. Should we ask What's him about his wine? It's wine. The waiter said it's absinthe. That fool wouldn't know Perno from Catapis. Oh. Oh, is it the wine that he's pouring in? All right. Do you miss being a gendarme? <sighs> yes, of course I do. Okay. <gasps> when Can I wore that uniform. Ask? I commanded the respect. Not Aww. anymore. Sad. Take the flask. Quick. Run away. 
I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe, a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. I had no desire to go down into the sewers. <laughs> All right, let's let's get out of now here. We have to I go to the another, gallery. I could either go back to Ubier's go to house the or visit the Glees Gallery. We'll go to the Glees Gallery. Um, is that the gallery or is that one? Okie dokie. The Glees Gallery had style and class, but la very la. few customers. Yeah, probably because no one could afford anything. The Wasteland. You're too playing it right now, Kiwi. It's so good. I really love it. Um, we played the first one whoa, probably like nearly 12 months ago now, and I love it. I loved the first one. It's just so fun. The pots were protected I by love a the glass mystery. case. Okay, can we like push the case off? What if I put some panties on it? Can we? Pick the lock, blow dart on the case. Nope, okay. Um, well, let's talk to this man over here. He looks like he'd be Are a gallery Are you Mr. Glees, the owner? owner? Good God, no. Uh, um, then I guess that must be him over there, right? Your powers of deductive reasoning astound me. It's such a good game, Kiwi. What's, What's drinking? that you're drinking? I'm not sure. But I have a suspicion it might be urine. <laughs> Glees can't expect a favorable criticism of his gallery when he serves this muck. Oh boy. Would you give me your opinion on this pot, sir? Let me just show you a pot, random person. <laughs> hmm, yes. Very rapouche. Rapouche? rapouche. Hideous. Rapouche? <gasps> he smashed our rapouche pot! What the pot. hell do you think you're doing? That was rude. You smashed my pot. Certainly, it was not only worthless, it was ugly and offensive. To you, maybe. Believe me, I was doing you a favor. <laughs> that pot you smashed belonged to Professor Oubier. Did it really? I thought the man had more taste. I wasn't going to waste any more breath talking to that pompous blimp. Maybe I could turn the situation to my advantage, <sighs> and at the same time, get my really? revenge. The pot smashed had smashed pot. into too many pieces to retrieve. You stink. I'd had enough of talking to that slob. All right, well, let's go talk to Ooh, Gleese. <gasps> Credit card machine, ooh la la. I'd like to ask you a few Darting. questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> Certainly, sir. I'd be most happy to oblige. You're English? Yeah. These days, one prefers to think of oneself as European. Ooh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Thing. And how precisely may one assist you, sir? My pot! What I really wanted to ask you about was a black stone. Yeah, totally. Pre-Brexit. Black stone? Yeah, it's a Mayan artifact, about as big as my hand. No, sir, one doesn't get much call for black stones. If it's Mayan artifacts you're interested in, I have some rather exquisite pots. And so did I, until that slab smashed it. Rude. Rude turd he is. Tell me about the... Oui, oui, there juice. is a gentleman over there who seems to be enjoying your wine. I can't think why. It was very cheap. <laughs> He's funny. Let's ask about this guy. Have you heard of Professor Ubier? Of course. His name is synonymous with Mayan art. A number of these artifacts were supplied by Ubier himself. Mm. Do you believe the story that Ubier murdered his wife? If Just it was true, person. who can blame him? She was an opportunist tramp. Oh. oh, that's what I heard. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Have you seen any of Ubier's wife's films? Only one. Believe me, I was appalled, shocked, disgusted, and repulsed. Oh. Well, you sure got your money's worth. Last time <laughs> I went to the movies, I wasn't even titillated. Oh, George. I missed George. His j jokes are terrible, but it's I suppose fun. you have an import license for these relics? Of course. But that's not my problem, sir. The professor arranges all the shipping. We simply collect the items from the docks. Okay. Could you tell me which docks Professor Ubier uses to import the artifacts? Good God, no. I can't possibly reveal my commercial secrets. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the commercial secrets. Tell me about ugly. Do you get many Central American Indians in here? Uh, no, sir. Uh, this is Paris. Central this America is, is several thousand oh. kilometers southwest of here. 
straight across the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean and turn left. Excuse le me. You can't miss it. Well, as it happens, I saw some Central American Indians this very morning. Tourists, sir. Paris is full of them at this time of year. Mmm. I quite like this new art style. Like, it's more kind of comic-y, but I like it. I mean, I did enjoy the old art style as well in number one, but they haven't changed too much. I appreciate that it's similar to how it was in the first one. It's interesting. I found this news story referring to a total eclipse of the sun. A total uh -huh. eclipse of uh -huh. the heart. Fascinating. Oh, he's so rude. Okay, bye then. Ah, glass. <gasps> ah, glass. Can we put some of our absinthe into the glass and make him stupidly drunk? He won't to notice because it tastes like poo anyway, apparently. Does, doesn't notice. I splashed a little absinthe into the glass and hoped he wouldn't notice the change of color. Turn around. Did oh you put something in my drink? Uh, of course not. Yeah, I did. Well, what do you think? Well, it's certainly an improvement over Gleaser's wine. In fact, <laughs> I could grow to like it. Okay. What if I put some more in? Allow me. Because I don't like him. Let's get him drunk. You're never coming around, turn around. Yeah, baby. <laughs> he stinks, so it's okay. <laughs> My priceless artifact. Every now and then I turn apart. I fall apart. Bright eyes. And I need you tonight. <laughs> I appreciate uh, your your continuality and uh, were those pots your very enthusiasm. valuable? Enthusiasm. The pots are insured, <laughs> but not the shelving. You've no idea how much that cost me. The pots are replaceable, but I not wasn't the going shelving. to waste my breath on that drunkard. <laughs> Karaoke with Sunshine Stream. Go away. Oh. Once upon a time I was falling in love. The pot had now smashed into too many pieces apart. to retrieve. <gasps> we can use I the credit card no machine. I had no possible use for a credit card reader. What do you mean? Where is your imagination? Can we give some lipstick to, oops, the drunken man? Nope. <laughs> Total eclipse of the heart. Spheres in a barren waste. Oh, very profound. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, if we do uh, karaoke, it'll just be me singing. That's the problem. Is there anything else we've missed here? <gasps> Can I take one of these Mayan pots because he's distracted now? The pots were protected by a glass case. Mm. Mm. Is there somewhere else that we can go? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. Mm. What's in the case, in the case? There was What's nothing in the, in the case, case but styrofoam packing. But pasted on the side was the remains of a label. Curious. The packing case contained nothing but styrofoam chips. I want the label. Give me the label. Excellent. We could do a voice channel. That's Underneath true. Underneath the label of a flying bird were the words Condor Transglobal Mars. The rest of the label was missing. Marzipan. Mausoleum. In this scenario with just sunshine sea. <laughs> okay, okay. Marseille might be Marseille. Mm. Alright. So, 
meh, meh. Maybe we should look at things before we go. Hang on. Stop it. Um, what's that? It was a label, that a label bearing the name Condor Transglobal. Condor Transglobal. Uh, we only have two options, back to the cafe or to the house. Maybe we'll go back to the house. Next game, sing start. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I had a choice of destinations. Cafe the cafe at Montfaucon or the art gallery. Okay, we've only got two choices, so maybe we need to go back to the cafe. Hmm. Unless we go in the sewers again? Sing star. Oh my gosh. I love that his coffee is still there. Excuse me. What? What? You stole my drink. Didn't you try to appeal against your dismissal? There was no point. It was my word against that of the chief inspector. Okay. And he was a close friend of the director of the museum I was supposed to be patrolling. Oh dear. <sighs> Excuse me. Leave me alone. Ah. I had Fair no enough. desire to go down into the sewers. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Um. So it has something to do with our label. It was the label I'd found in the Glees Gallery. Yeah, but I feel like this is going to tell us where to go next. It was the newspaper clipping referring to the imminent eclipse. Wrapped inside it was another <laughs> hey, small piece of paper. Oh. It was a bank statement for Ubier's account from an automatic telling machine. The last five withdrawals were for large amounts and oh. all made in Marseille. It was beginning Maybe. to make sense. Ubier had organized Nico's abduction. Ubier withdrew money from Marseille. Ubier yes, was connected it was with Marseille. Global, you were who right. shipped their goods from a warehouse in Marseille. That's uh -huh. how the torn Transglobal label had once read. Marseille, yes. not Mars. Good thinking. It wasn't much of a lead, but it was all I had. I set off Let's immediately to catch the evening train. We do run, run a few hours later. A few moments later. That's cool. Go, go. That's right. I read it as Marseille. It's all good, exactly. It was good, almost exactly. dawn when I arrived in Marseille. I traced Condor Transglobal to a desolate dockside. It's not creepy at all. <gasps> sign. It's got good eyes. I can't see the sign. The sign read, rightly enough, no entry. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <gasps> fence. Ooh, ooh, la la. Everything's an ooh la la moment here, guys, because we're in France. I know, what sign? Oh, the puppy! Hello. Oh, <laughs> he's not a nice puppy. Hello. What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog oh, yeah? went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer. But he's so cute. We need a steak for him or something. Would you like a worm? No? I thought that was a great idea. To kill a worm and that dog. That dog looked like he already had more worms than he needed. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Interesting in a good way or a bad way, Jin? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sure the French thought it was terrible. Oh, ew. Hi, good morning. Hello. Do you know what time it is? Early? No, I don't wear a watch. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what time is it, anyhow? The big hand's on the floor. 
Why aren't you in bed? I He's can explain point. everything. Never mind, I ain't that interested. What time do you open the gates? Seven. Do you mind if I hang out here till the docks open? Please yourself, but you'll have a long wait. It's Sunday, and tomorrow is the start of the national holiday. Everything is closed for a month. For well, a wouldn't month? You just know it? That's a long time. Does that time. dog belong to you? Nah, he comes with the job. I just feed him every now and then. More then than now, I'd say. What's the dog's name? Twenty. It's unusual 20. for a dog. It's his registration number. Security Aww. dog number twenty. Aww. Does number twenty have rabies? Nah, just a bad attitude. Like I said, he's a trained attack dog. They took him when he was a puppy and messed with his head to make him the way he is. Poor puppy. Definitely French, yeah, he definitely is. Ever easy. heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. Back in a month, man. <laughs> I have to make a delivery to Condor Transglobal. Where's your rig? Uh, about half a mile down the road. And you walked here? Jeez, are you some kind of nut? Nah, it was easy. I just put one foot in front of the other. Are you gonna let me make my delivery? Not without the paperwork. You get we need the to get papers, some paperwork. You make your delivery, and I get a fat backhander. I was getting nowhere with the story about being a trucker. <laughs> Do you know what kind of business Condor's involved in? I'll pay He's asking a lot of day. questions. Their business is none of mine. Like, a suspicious amount of questions. I'm looking for a young woman. At the docks? What kind of woman <laughs> do you have in mind? You don't understand. It's my girlfriend I'm trying to find. Well, I, I hit her with her. a dart. <laughs> you should tell her. The docks ain't no place for a young lady. They're dirty and they're dangerous. <laughs> I'm certain my girlfriend was brought here when she was abducted. Oh, no. What? Your girl was kidnapped? Yeah. Uh -huh. Struck down by an Indian with a poison dart. A poison dart, huh? I could tell he didn't believe me. I have the dart. <laughs> this is the dart that the Indian shot at my girlfriend. <laughs> she went right down, man. Sheesh. That's pretty weird, but I don't see why you'd expect to find her here. <laughs> it's just like, let me tell you about my problems, man. This random guy. I have these very exotic panties. Take them away, you pervert! <laughs> what did you expect? They, they are fr he's French, so he would have been like, Oh, these are very pretty. Did you want to wear them? <laughs> have you French. ever heard of Professor Oubier? Me? <laughs> None of my friends are professors or anything like that. Okay. What's cooking? Beans. Good looking. You know a man can live on nothing but beans. Apparently Not so. <laughs> Apparently in day Z, that's pretty much all you live off. Beans. <laughs> what is that? Don't oh, you ever beans. get tired of eating beans? Sure I do. What do you take me for? What do you and take what's me the alternative? for? Peas. I can't eat them too often though. They play hell with my digestion. The lacing is very nice on these. What do you mean? Oh, the panties. Ooh la la. Have you ever considered changing your diet? What's wrong with beans and beer? You need me to tell you? You're pumping out enough methane here to fill a dirigible. <laughs> a dirigible plum. Take a look at this letter. That's sick. Did you write it? Oh, no. No, it's a letter from my girlfriend's admirer. This is so weird. If I was you, I'd smack him in the mouth. <laughs> well, Why that's would he not share my style, that? but thanks for the advice. I gotta go now, but I'll be back. Can't oh, wait. George, weird, weird little man. Let's go down here. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah, what's here? What have we got here? Oh, there's a hook. Maybe we can hook some things, <laughs> models them. Ooh, ooh, pretty, the stick pretty, had a hook pretty. on one end. I figured it was a boat hook. Figure. For hooking boats. For hooking boats. Can we use the hook? 
on some stuff in the water. We can! On the bottle. So we just threw the bottle away, I guess. Bumpy! Try the croissant. <laughs> I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. As for the bottle, even if I couldn't find a use for it, I'd cleaned up the dock a little. It's, I do. It's going to be the thing. It's going to be the thing. Like the, the manhole opener thingy. Yeah. It is the new thing. Bubby. Hey, 20. 20. Hey, 20. What's this? Chimney. What if I can smoke him out? Ouch. That's hot. The panties! The panties! The panties would not have been thick enough to shield this Dang. level of heat. That's such a good idea, though. Oh, my gosh. 20? 20. What are you doing? What if I put the bottle on the The bottle table? was half filled with water. Maybe oh. it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. It's I don't know why we want to touch it, but anyway. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. Okay, but why? That chimney looked very exposed without its cone. The panties, the panties! How do we... What if we put the bottle in the chimney? Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney. And the hut was filling up with smoke. <laughs> if we go back this way, we can go into his house. Because the trap door. <gasps> it's okay, Trap, it's just me. <laughs> Stuff it with panties. <laughs> oh, here we are. Should we shut the door? Coal Someone scuttle? once told me a piece of coal brought you luck. Hang on, guys. Who was I to argue Just with irrational texting superstition? Texting a friend back. There we go. Um. Ow. He's really Stove not good at touching heat. hot things. Heat equals burn. Burn equals excruciating pain. He's such a nincompoop. What if we used our panties again? Uh, no. <laughs> Come on! Use a little imagination. Um, pan. Beans. Baked beans in ketchup. Cut some dog biscuits. <gasps> dog biscuits. Oh yeah. The packet was full of dog biscuits. Just what we need. Bring more pizza. No. That mug was a help. Unfortunately. Health risk. I decided to leave it where <laughs> it was. This my friend. Ew. Okay. So, do we go out the door here? Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? I, uh, nothing. get the hell out of here. Okay. Did nothing. Just hold on to that dog. <laughs> okay, quick, quick. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Just randomly. It's fine. Hey puppy, I got some nice num nums for you. My arms weren't long enough to reach the platform. Ooh, can we use the hook with the dog no. biscuit? No, I had to think of something else. Can we use the hook on this? Okay, I just had an idea. Can we use the hook on this and bring it back out? Can we put the dog biscuits out here somehow? How do we do that? 
on the platform. Can I put a dog biscuit on the platform? Hey, 20. Come and get it, boy. And then we can dunk the dog. By using the thing on I the... felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not fair. But it won't hurt him. He can swim. Surely. Oh, thank God. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a... Well, like a dog. Thank gosh. Can you imagine if it couldn't swim? I, then I would have felt bad. Okay, come this way. This way. <laughs> Poor doggo. I do feel bad, but it seems like the logical thing to do. I know. Okay, so we should be able to jump the fence now. <sighs> okay, evil music just happened. Should we save the game, do you think? George? George? Pont de Mord. Pont de Nord. Pont de Nord. How do we save things? No. Um, ah! Just in case. Oh, did it do that? Did it do anything then? Oh, okay, back. I'll go back. Alright. Door there, door there. Sign, wheel, sign. Ah, something to do with the barrels. Okay, sign. Let's just have a look. Read the signs first. The sign looked as if it was firmly attached to the wall. Anyway, I didn't really want it as a souvenir. Okay. Wheel. Is wheel I couldn't any reach good? the wheel and couldn't see any point in climbing up to it. Okay. What about the sign over here? This sign also looked firmly attached to the wall. What about the door just here? There's a ladder. The din must have drowned out the sound of my knocking. What din? There is no din. Was that a joke? Can we go upstairs here? Maybe we'll Maybe climb there was a, a way window. in up there. It's my thinking precisely. I'm a sign stealer. <laughs> Um, what's the fan do? The metal housing prevented me from getting to the fan. Okay. Let's have a little look through the window. Oh. Okay, so there's something. Maybe I need to make it too hot. So this guy will leave. I couldn't reach the blades of the fan, which was just as well. If I'd stuck my fingers in there, I'd never be able to play guitar again. Okay. How about we use our hook to jam the fan? Oh yeah. That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat hook. Um, maybe you should leave hey, before this guy sees. Make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught a lesson. Garzak's already oh, mad because we didn't get the stone. You give me any trouble, I'll tell him it was all your fault. Okay. Karzak. That must be his boss. Okay, well now let's go knock on the door because he can hear us knock now. Because we stopped the fan. Because the fan was pretty noisy. <laughs> Throw the panties at the guy. Throw the panties! Maybe it was actually the guy's panties. Maybe they weren't Nico's panties at all. Who is it? Hello. Pizza, pizza delivery. delivery? I didn't order pizza. No? <laughs> this is the Condor Trans Global <laughs> Shipping Company, isn't it? I don't like pizza. Oh, come on. Everyone What's likes wrong pizza. With Maybe he was allergic to mozzarella. Oh, that would be devastating. The grill opened from the inside. 
Knocki, knocki, knocki. Come, let me hey, hold you. Now? I have these Look, fine panties. This pizza's been paid for. You might as well take it. I told you, I don't like pizza. Not even with extra olives? I hate them. Olives are the devil's butt nuggets. <laughs> I love that description. I've never heard... The grill opened from the inside. I've never heard pizza of olives described like that before. <laughs> That's funny. If you know what's good for you, you'll open this door. What if I don't? Oh I'll kick your head in. Okay, <laughs> I'll come out, you creep. Oh, no. Okay, he's coming out. Can we go upstairs maybe and hide? I wonder if we could kick one of these barrels onto him. Devil's butt nuggets, apparently. Uh-oh. He's got a gun! But we were around the corner! It's pizza hating guy. Oh, we did, son. We did. I'm glad we, uh, we saved that. Yikes. Okay, so we'll go back up and uh, rip George. I know. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back up and do the fan again, shall we? And then we'll save it after we do the fan. And I guess we run away? Quickly? <laughs> Maybe we weren't fast enough. Let's try again. Once more with feeling. Chop, chop, gorge. All right. Gorgy, Georgie. Let's chuck that in. That did the trick. The fan clunked yeah. and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat. Nice. Nice. Love a good mishmash. Hey, you make any... That boat... Garzak, you give... Okay, Garzak. we're going to save as we go out. Because I don't want to have to do that again. So let's, um, let's just save that before we do anything else, otherwise I forget. Okay, what about this window? Oh, that one doesn't open? The window okay. was jammed shut. Okay, what about the barrels? Huh. Okay, well if we can get what's his name over here, we could use that as a um, a kickity thing to kick him over, whackity whack him in the face. <laughs> that was so trendy, George. That's just ridiculous. He's so cool. Hey, hey, Violet. Hello, how are you? It's nice to see you. Uh, pizza! Who is it? Hello! Pizza delivery? I didn't order pizza. No? We're just gonna stick with this the same thing. This is the Condor Trans Global Shipping Company, isn't uh, it? Nice the Condor like Global pizza. Shipping. Oh, yes. come on. Everyone likes pizza. Who doesn't like the pizza? Maybe he was allergic <laughs> to mozzarella. He's wrong. He's wrong. How's your weekend been? Did you do hey, anything exciting? Action, adventure, relaxation, all the good Look, stuff. This pizza's been paid for. You might as well take it. I told you, I don't like pizza. Not even with extra olives? I hate them. Olives are the devil's butt nuggets. I'm going to use that from now on. It's so good. The devil's butt nuggets. Oh, that's cool. Art rock show. That sounds really fun. If you know what's good for you, you'll open this door. What if I don't? I'll kick. Okay. He's coming out. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Run, mate. Run. George, move your tushing. Gorgia. 
a door. Jack, come on, over here. We're gonna, we're gonna kick him with the barrel. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. He's per perfectly positioned. Thanks, Luke, I appreciate that. We definitely needed that as a quote. Yes! Brother playing his band last night. Okay, what what is an art rock show? Tell me what an art rock show is. I'm over even though I didn't drink. Really? <laughs> That's so frustrating though. Yay! Good job, us. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna save the game in a second. We'll just come down the ladder. I'm curious to know what an art rock band is though. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go inside, George. Is a genre. Ah, oh, I didn't realize. Interesting. Yeah, no, I can't say I've ever heard of it before. The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Ooh la la. What's on the notice board? Among the paperwork which adorned the notice board was something which caught my eye. It was a delivery note from Condor Transglobal. And the address was Coromante City. Coromante. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up, Violet. Do we think this is perhaps what the key it was is locked. for? I think this might be what this small tiny key is for, George. George. The little brass key didn't fit the lock. Oh. Boxes? All the crates were firmly sealed. Hmm. Is there anything else that we need here? Let's just walk further, a little bit further in. Whoa, don't shoot. The little guy had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. Well, we also found a poison me, dart. But it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh, what? What do you want? Uh, uh, he seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Yeah, I'd really like to see it one day. Sorry, I'm just like listening to the exposition as... Do you want a worm? Hi, uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Bantus? Is that where you're from? He wants Guaramonte pizza. City? Guaramonte, Guaramonte. Okay, okay. I didn't think he'd be interested. Uh, this, oh, I can't talk to him about panties. Shame. What have you done with my girlfriend? Huh? I am not leaving without her. Where is she? He didn't appear to understand me. Hmm. Do you know what this is? Peito. Lotseka Peito. Inyakotla go inomoto. Hmm. Cool, man. What about this tiny key? What does this key unlock? Huh? Why is he crawling? Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? Oh. Order him the Papa John's. <laughs> oh, I thought he was just a, a weird person that crawled hey, everywhere. Come back here. That's what the key was for. Evidently. Little Snork ran away. How rude, George. How rude. The little rude. guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. Hmm. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's use their dart on the filing cabinet because we did it before. Because apparently George is just that good at opening locks with the. No. All right. Um, disappeared. 
within the filing the boxes. Okay. So goodbye, little man. It was nice to know you. Um, can we go in the elevator? I so couldn't pry the doors apart with my bare hands. There was usually an easier way to do it. Push the button. Push, push the button. <laughs> oh, George. He's so funny. Bing! It has it got elevator music, do we think? Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I'm making elevator music. Ooh, there must be like something alive in here. It's got holes. Just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? Ooh, 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 can we? Use the chimney thing on it? I wasn't convinced that, that was the right thing to do. No, okay. Um, what about the lipstick? Oops, didn't work. I wasn't convinced that, that was the right thing to do. Can I use the crate? I mean, I still think the lipstick would have worked. Like, it would have thought there was something there, right? There. There we go. That would keep the doors from closing. I mean, the lipstick was a bit more romantic, but... Hey, Daniel. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm a bit worried about what's in here. I was wrestling with the small crate when I noticed the label on its side. Danger. Live contents do not drop. I mean, obviously. I didn't want to risk dropping the crate and releasing its live contents. But it's an animal. Save it. Mm. Or a really, really small person. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. Hmm. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. But there's a pulley. I'm really well. Did you have a nice weekend? There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. Oh, we need some rope. Oh, look, pallet carrier. We can do something with that. There wasn't enough room to move the handle. Ah, so we need to move the statue somehow. Good so far? Awesome. Hey, Payne. Well, I'm enthusiastic about it, dude. So enthusiastic about it. After the a legend of Kyrandia was, the doors. was so intense, maybe we have to move that These across. These doors were just... not going to open. Um, it was it was a good game, but it was a very intense game and a very frustrating game. So there I was just no way to open wanted to play something that was a bit more chill today. <laughs> Obviously, needs a rubber chicken. You're probably not wrong, AC. What do we got here? pair of panties and some handcuffs now. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where this game is going. Um, what if I put the worm in the box? No? Like we could, we could feed whatever is in the crate. Do you think it would appreciate it? No? All right. Um, Crunchy, crunchy, munchy, munchy. Okay, we need to find some other stuff. Just let me stretch it out here, though. Oh. Datu, datu, datu. <laughs> Likely, Nico in the crate experience tells me crate French people really, really like worms. <laughs> Perfect, perfect timing. Button, switch. What's the switch do? Phew! <laughs> How are you, mate? It's nice to see ya. What did that do? What did it do? Did it do anything? Oh, scratch marks. Wait, where are the scratch marks? I just saw it come up. There! 
Oh. Oh, thanks, AC. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> there was an arc shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. Woo. Can we open My this fingers door here? traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Just secret. A secret room. I really want a secret room that you can only get to through a secret door. Better out than in. <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks, Dato. How was your weekend? Have you had a nice weekend? I hope you've done some fun things. Nico! Nico! I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting that. Unlock bonus comic artwork. Awesome. It's a fetish. <laughs> With a tied up French girl inside. Apparently so. Will you look at this? <laughs> it was a small statue of a kneeling figure in an ornate headdress. The head was hideous like, with huge staring eyes set in cool, a decomposing there, face. Hey, somebody's marketing Labano dolls. <coughs> uh, do you want me to untie you, love? <laughs> Hold still. This might hurt a little. I had a tied up French girl once. Oh. Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. <laughs> About time. You oh, could have helped me before grabbing everything you could find. It's Not so true. loud. They'll hear you. Get these it's ropes true. off me right now. You know the mood you're in. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Where's Pablo, the big oh guy? Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I'm tired <laughs> this instant. Are you okay? You got, uh, totally got, um, kidnapped and all, but you'll be fine, right? <laughs> DMs are fine. Jin's like, what? Now we can use the rope there. that we untied How her with. How are you with. feeling? Oh, thanks, George. She How looks so angry here. Me? I knew Ubier had been in Marseille, but never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? Yeah, I Nico. I up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's ah. smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, <laughs> I planned to go straight to Inspector Mu. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubillet, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubillet. I don't get Ooh. it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Hmm. Nico, wait! Wait, Nico, wait! Seriously, she has to not keep wandering off by herself. Come on now. We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo's recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? Legs. I'm not sure. <laughs> Legs that go all the way up. Okay, so we need to get that over there somehow. So we have some rope and we have some tape. Can we attach the rope to the um, pulley? It would be much easier to attach the rope to the statue first. Well, we'll do that. Let's do that. Hey, Andrew. Hello. Hey, Jen. They look good. Never, never uh, upset a girl about her. Uh, rope. You know, you're gonna look good while being kidnapped. It's all about how you the rope look, wasn't baby. long enough to reach the pulley. Oh bugger. Now what do I do? Maybe we can use the handcuffs? No? Alright. <laughs> it was nice to see you bud. How was your um how was your weekend? 
Okay, what if we move the crate back? I couldn't move the crate until I'd blocked the light beam with something else. What if we use the tape on the light beam? <laughs> Hopefully the tape will prevent important. those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. Okay, and then we'll push the crate back. Now, what can we do with this crate here? Hey fairy, how are you? No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. Okay, so... And there's also a living one. There's some coal. Thanks for following, Sunny. Nice to have you here. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, thoughts, guys. Thoughts. Maybe we can talk to Nico. Have you got, like, a bra or something that we can use as an extra thing? Um, let's just quickly chat to you about the undies. I found these in your bag. <laughs> oh, they were a gift. I know. I read the note. God knows what was going through Andre's mind. I think that's <laughs> quite plain enough. Good. I'm really well. I'm really well. Um, I had a good weekend, actually. I went and saw a house yesterday. And then, um, then today, I went and did bonsai with my sister. Okay, so maybe I can push this now. Uh, I learned how to do a bonsai tree. It was pretty cool. Um, but it was her birthday gift, so I gave it to her for her birthday. But she's a lot more into plants than me. Um, <laughs> ah ha ha! Clever, clever. The pallet rose about six inches off the floor. And I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What the yeah. earth are you doing? We're making Trying it to work. raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Silence, Is that Nico. Really going to help us? I yes. like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. Do not question me, lady. Rope. <laughs> you played a gig at the Irish pub on Friday night. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so fun. I hope you had a nice time. They can get pretty rowdy. I love that though. How about we push the statue, the statue looked way now. too heavy for me to move. Well, can I? Can we push it? Oh yeah. So now, how do we? We use the pulley, right? I didn't want to remove the rope from the pulley. That's not how you treat the lady. Pulley. I didn't want to remove the rope. Well, how do I move it along then? Is it a switch? Like the button, maybe? Hmm. What if I click on the door? These doors so were not people off, going to open. Offer to buy you beers? That's awesome, Andrew. I'm glad you had a nice time. <laughs> Okay, so the statue is too heavy for just us. What if Nico helps? Can you help me push the statue? Statue with me, baby. Have you any idea who this little statue is supposed to be? I'm not oh, very not well one. acquainted with my undeities, Georges. <laughs> but whatever his name, he sure is ugly. He sure is ugly. No, I want to push that one. I need your help pushing. Help me! Ah, it was go. too heavy for me to move on my own. Help me, lady. Nico, Nico, come back. Stop moving. There we go. Okay, Could statue you give me a hand with me. To push the statue. What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. We've been here, try like this is literally what we've been doing for the last ten minutes. Nico, okay. come on. Push. <laughs> I like the other voice better. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Great Excellent. teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. She's into it now. I'm like, okay, okay. 
Uh, do we need any more of this stuff? I don't think so. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Nico, we're going this way. Babe, babe. Let's just save it here just in case. Um, Cause I'm not quite sure. Cable, okay. Let's just save. Just in case. I thought about hanging from the cable with my bare hands, but it was too far Let's the use other the end undies. of the cable to escape that way. Let's use the undies. That was no good. <laughs> no, let's use the manacles. Okay, let's use the manacles. It was pretty funny to try and Nico, use that though. I Come have on. a great idea. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We're doing it. Pirates of the Caribbean style. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> the dog's still swimming around. Oh, he spent a lot of time on that cursor. Josh, where <laughs> no. have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... don't argue, Andre. Give the stone to George. Well, of course, if you say so, Nicole. Oh la la! Thank you so much, Andre. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for George, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yeah. yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromante City. Coromante, Coromante. is in Central America. That's where Oubier gets his artifacts. That's oh, we all go. we needed to know. Come on, George. Excuse me. A few days later. Cuaramonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, look how, that's uh, how it's translated in the brochure. Casual they look today. We Fifty. didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. It's so much more colorful here. Yeah, it's cute, hey. <gasps> There's a goat! Can we keep the goat? Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Trans Global. Okay. It's a mine company. Let's talk to this lady here. Me. I'd like to talk to the goat too. Those things are gourds, aren't they? See. Gourds are good. Hey, mind the footwear, lady. <laughs> what? That was super rude, George. Let's talk to this guy over here and the guard. We'll have a look at the hut. Don't wander off, Nico. Hi. You want to buy something? Uh, no, not really. I got cabbages. Buy a cabbage, senor. I don't think I've so. I've got the I cabbages. I didn't come all this way to buy vegetables. Cabbages, cabbages. Listen, have you heard of Condor Trans Global? No. Buy a cabbage. I'll give you a discount on bulk purchases. I'm not <laughs> into cabbages. I'm into cabbages. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Aye, Tetzcatlipoca. Put it away, senor. Tetzcatlipoca brings nothing but evil. Oh. The poor guy was so freaked, he didn't even mention his cabbages. See ya. He's like, okay. Ooh, there's a man standing. Oh, and a lady. Let's go talk to this lady. And then we'll talk to the guard and stuff. I like the music. Hi. Lovely bread. Okay. Bread. Uh, pan? Si, pan. Maybe I'll come back later when I'm hungry. I thought he said lovely beard to start with. I'm like, um, you're talking to a lady. <laughs> Good way to offend everyone. Hi there. Uh, what have you got for sale? Okay. I said, what have you got? Oh, never mind. He looks like such a tourist though, doesn't he? We talked to him already. <laughs> Inside no the bread. hut was a chair and a no small bread table. No bread today. Okay. 
Uh, let's talk to the guard. Hello. Welcome to Guaramonte. Thanks. Thank you. you Can we get a cab to the capital? This is the capital. Guaramonte City. Huh. Well, there you go. When's the next ship out of here? But, senor, don't you like our beautiful country? Of course. Oh, yeah. It's like a little piece of paradise right here on Earth. Then why you want to leave? I'm just plain homesick. Like it says in the song. A word of warning, senor. If you feel like bursting into song, bite your tongue. Huh? There are official restrictions on music in Cuaramonte. Interesting. How come music is restricted in Cuaramonte? It is part of the great cultural enrichment campaign. Traditional Cuaramonte music is considered unsuitable for these fast-moving times. Nuestra Señora has decreed that only one category of music is suitable. What's that? Easy listening. <laughs> oh, We've had funny. enough. We're going back to the ship. No okay. karaoke, apparently. You show me your brown card? Huh? Brown card. What brown card is that? The official exit visa. So we need a brown card. This is pretty cool. In Cuaramonte, uh, defacing cool the poster was probably a capital offense. Goat! Hello, goat! Meh! <laughs> I love that he just... Uh. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Hello, musicians. Hey, cheer up, guys. What's with the long faces? Our pipe player has been arrested and thrown in jail. Poor Hello. Miguel. He never broke the law in his life. What happened? Why was Miguel put in jail? For playing folk music. What? It's true, senor. He insisted on playing traditional Cuaramonte music, even though it's illegal. Oh, dear. I don't understand why. Don't why don't you try playing a tune to cheer yourselves up? No, we should be looking for real jobs. We could earn ten times as much down the mines. My cousin Ramirez was earning eight pesos an hour before he lost his legs in the accident. Hmm. Tell me about the accident at the mine. There was an explosion at Teoculcan. Thirty miners were buried alive. We oh. got some of them out though. Two of them including your cousin, and they left half of him behind. Oh, that's not good. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would either of you guys care for a biscuit? A dog biscuit, senor? Are you trying to insult us? <laughs> no, really, they're good. We'll Maybe take I your word for it. Maybe I give it to it. the goat. Let's talk about the... Have you any idea what this is? No, senor. Me neither. Okay. I mean, that's good, I guess. Have you seen anything like I, the hungry chief? Why are you carrying that thing around with you, senor? Don't you know who it is? Sure, no. it's Tez Catlipoca. But it's only a little carving. It brings death, senor. Death and destruction. Oh, no. Why would you carve something like that then? Seems very strange. What do you make of this little worm? No good. It's dead. Sure it's <laughs> dead. You think I'd carry it around in my pocket if it wasn't? It is still weird that he's carrying it around in his pocket, to be fair. Take a look at the design on this label. I have seen that before. Where? Oh. There was a ship flying a flag just like that. When did you see this ship? Three months ago. It was here, at the docks. Mm, curious. What was the ship with the condor flag carrying? I don't know, senor. We weren't allowed near the docks. That's right. Usually we meet the ships when they tie up. We play to the tourists. Well, when the Condor ship came in, we were told to go away. Oh, that never bodes well. Do you guys know anything about a total eclipse? What is it? It's like when the sun is hidden by the moon. It's crazy. My cousin Alfredo <laughs> swears he saw it happen once. But that was after he stupidly consumed a cocktail of peyote and antibiotics. <laughs> oh my god. That's some cocktail. Holy guacamole. I want to see if I can give a, a dog biscuit to the goat. Would you like a dog biscuit, Mr. Goat? Hello. 
No? All right. What about this guy? Hey, Sebastian. How are you? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. How's your weekend been? <laughs> Do you have crabs? No. Only fish. Only fish. I want some nice crabs. Nice fish. Thanks. If <laughs> by some remote chance I ever need a fish, I'll be back. I know, Luke. I know. It's nice to see you here on a retro adventure day. Retro Do you recognize Sunday. This statue? Si, senor. It is very, very bad luck. That is Tezcatlipoca, the night hunter. I know, but I don't believe in luck, good or bad. You may not now, but you will. The guy looked scared out of his wits. I mean, I Go am surprised way. we're still carrying it around, but... Hey, Pearl! I love that she's got a name. Hey, Pearl. Hey, hey Babs. George Stobart, well along the... <gasps> Mrs. Henderson. I love Boy, this is some coincidence, huh? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Dwayne as long as I have, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met oh, Pearl and Dwayne on the other side of the globe right. in Syria. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA, but wasn't sure. She was less obviously deranged. So these guys were um, two tourists that we met in Germ... Wait, no, wrong thing. I thought they were the tourists from Gabriel Knight. You know, the two tourists are exactly the same. Like, she looks nearly exactly the same. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. But I swear they were still from Broken Sword 1. I just... Oh, they were in the hotel. But I was thinking of the ones from... Oh my gosh, from Gabriel Knight. Crazy. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. That's right. Truly lost. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know why I was Is thinking. Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Anderson? Knight, but anyway. Why, sure, I couldn't leave him home alone. I couldn't Since leave Dwayne him came home back alone. from war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh Why dear. aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoil sports sarapus. I want to oh visit dear. one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right. And you don't want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around to take my picture. I feel ya. I feel ya, Pearl. I feel ya. Is Dwayne still working for the CIA? If he is, he doesn't know it. He's what they call a snoozer. <laughs> uh, don't you mean a sleeper? No, this is different. He used to think he worked for them, but the psychotherapy cured him of that. What he doesn't okay. realize is that now he really does work for them. At least that's the way I understood it. Poor guy, I'm confused. What brings you to Quaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywhere is the market. You drove 2,000 miles to go shopping? Shopping Why not? is my role in the economy of the great design, George. <laughs> I like her. I love her glasses. What do you make of this stone, Pearl? Oh, that's pretty. What's that thing supposed to be, a rabbit? I believe it's a coyote. Well, it sure is It's totally cute. enough. I was yes, surprised she didn't ask me where she could buy one. <laughs> he is in our non-player characters. Absolutely. What does this five. mean to you, Pearl? What cute little feathers. Why, if you had two of those, they'd sure make nice earrings. This Cute. isn't intended for frivolous <laughs> personal adornment, Pearl. I love it's a dart <laughs> tipped with a fast-acting, muscle-numbing poison. Pardon me, I stand corrected, honey. Again, it's Sometimes a Sometimes I get the feeling that communication with Pearl was like sending signals out into space. Maybe if you waited long enough, you'd get an intelligent answer back. But it was a long shot. That's so rude. That was so rude, George. What do you make of this statue, Pearl? Wee, that's a spitting image of Dwayne's brother Sheridan. A little less <laughs> body hair, maybe, but it's him all right. So cute! <laughs> I love that. That's Look Dwayne's at this, Pearl. Cousin Sheridan. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear that I'll is... scream like a hog on a hot plate. It's a weird thing for him to be carrying around. I do agree with Pearl on that. 
Take a look at this news cutting, Pearl. You'll have to read it to me, George. I left my specs in a gay bar in Santa Barbara. Well, it's about an eclipse of the clothes. sun, which is due to occur in a few weeks' time. You'd think the government would warn us about these kind of things. The uh, government? Uh, it's not dangerous or anything. Apparently, the best place to view the eclipse is right here in Cuaramonte. Oh, my. Oh, my. She didn't appear to be the slightest bit interested. Catch you later, Pearl. Toodaloo, Pearl. <laughs> Sorry, I keep gurgling because I've been drinking all the tea. Hey, Nico! Nico, I'm going into the polizia! Oh, they're all wearing green. I have done just as I have been instructed, Professor. Oh, he's terrifying. With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavation. He's terrifying! Oh, Look at him. I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, General. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. Look at him, he's so scary. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Senor. Yes. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's he's George Stobart creepy. from California. But what is this? An <gasps> angel come down to Earth. Ooh la Nicole la. Gola. Enchanté, mon général. Oh, ew. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Grace. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Nico is very right popular. Place, uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. Hi. Wow, we have lots of things to ask you about. Let's start with yourself. How did you make your teeth that straight? This is the tourist office? It says police on the sign outside. It is both, senor. I am a man of many parts. What about the other man? That, General. Is she flirting with him? My word. Have you heard of a guy called Karzak? No. No, I never heard of him. Um... Tell me about I the hear accident. there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? A few. Thirty? <laughs> Barely one percent of the working population. Okay. That's a bit brutal. Sure. Is it true there's a restriction on music in Cuaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Señora. Folk music is a link with the past for some of these people. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. You think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happened in your country. Uh, tell me about Are the there tall any ruins building. around the city? Of course, senor. Cuaramonte has everything. I have a friend who wants to visit an historical site. Ronaldo will only be too pleased to conduct a guided tour when cool. he's dealt with today's paperwork, of course. Okay. Tell me about the... the Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Doctor, what's his Professor face? Professor Ubier. A visitor, senor, Ubier. like yourselves. Ah. Did you say Ubier? Si, senor. Professor Ubier. A he's French a very bit older than his picture. Oh, so this is the um, guy that we think killed his wife. That was his house that we started off in. What's Ubier when Nico doing in Cuaramonte? Researching kidnapped. our rich and glorious past, senor. Ubier, the professor eh? is planning an expedition <laughs> to some Mayan ruins. He came to see oh. me to get an excavation permit. Very interesting. Tell me about a boat. We've had I enough of Cuaramonte and we want out. Am things. I stopping you? The guy at the docks tells me I need an exit visa. Ask Ronaldo. He'll oh, make the Ronaldo. arrangements. That's what he's here for. Oh, Ronaldo. Here, have a dog biscuit. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man <laughs> has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, <laughs> Senor Stobart. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get to the panties in a minute and it's going to be hilarious. Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get it? We picked it up in the market as a souvenir. Mmm, he looks cranky now. Oh, he's back to smiling. That was something. All right. Oh, what about these panties? What do you think of these panties, General? 
Oh boy, fabuloso! They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. I told you, I never heard of the guy. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. What? I want the panties. Take a look at this label. Oh my si, gosh. Senor. Condor Trans Global. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. Nico is just like, why do you keep waving my pants around, mate? I know. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Oh my, is that so? <laughs> he does a little bit. He smells with his teeth. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor. Whoever he is. Do you keep oh. a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. That is very convenient. I know, totally fine with offering her panties. Do you know anything about the forthcoming Eclipse General? Such things do not interest me, senor. I'll be back. Okie dokie. What else we got here? Papers, safe, monitor, television, chart. Can we pull the chart down? I know! There's some woman's underwear, exactly. Senor. What? Leave that chart alone. Hmm. Let's talk to Ronaldo. Ay, 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 Ronaldo. Oh, we can go out the back. I wasn't going to try investigating the passage while the general was sat there. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to Ronaldo. Hey, mate. And a Hi, I'm pop. George Stobart. <laughs> Hello, senor. How can Hello, I help? Hello, senor. Uh, tell Are me. Are there any ancient pyramids near Quaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in ruins. That's perfect. Okay. Would you tell be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general would have a feat if I left all this paperwork. Can we help? Make the paperwork like I'm trying to get out of Quaramonte. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be able to buy back half my family. Never mind them. What about my visa? No one is going to tell you I that, Jim. Please, no one visa. told him that. I want you to give me a visa. I can't I don't help imagine you, senor. That. I don't understand these things. Okay. <laughs> would you like a gourmet dog gourmet snack? Dog snack. I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? Oh? No, senor. If the general catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy's so hardcore. Do you recognize this statue? <laughs> it's Gatli Poker. The night wind. Ooh, la, la. Take it away, senor. That stone is cursed. See, it, it baffles me as to why they would make something like that in the first place. You know anything about this <laughs> eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about most things. Oh, oh, oh. so long. Um, obviously, we can't take the papers while he's there, but we can try. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. What about the TV? Let's just go watch TV. I decided to leave the television switched on. Okay, let's have a look at the monitor. Tell me your deepest. It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. Okay, safe. The safe was undoubtedly locked. Mm. So we need to create a distraction of sorts. We need to get... What is over here? We the need filing to get cabinet this guy was probably locked. through his paperwork, somehow. 
Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Can we continue Why off you to the right? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, I also showed him your sure. undies. So he knows we have it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's just. What's Did you that? notice that chart um, on the police station wall? Yes. <clears throat> it looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the general didn't want us to see it. Okay, let's Came on a little him. strong with the general. I was merely flattering his ego, George. Every man has his Achilles heel. Maybe. This is true. But that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. Um, let's Tell talk me about, about this Karzak guy. Well, I saw him for only a few minutes, but he frightens me. I got the impression that Pablo was nervous when he was around too. His Interesting. Eyes, they're like a wild animals, like a tiger. That's what scared Ooh. me most about him. He looked so unpredictable and dangerous. <laughs> Interesting. Did you and know Ubier's wife was a film star? And no, she was murdered? I didn't know he was married. What happened to her? She died. In mysterious circumstances, apparently. Dun, dun, dun. mysterious. I heard she was murdered. Possibly by Ubier himself. A murderer, Ubier. huh? Andre said he was something of a celebrity. Don't know that murderer falls under the same category as celebrity, but that's just me. That's just me. Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty Ooh, lonely, la. you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? <laughs> Oh, that's not very nice. That man we saw talking to the general was Ubie. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubie, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Mm. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Now, it's, it's true. too much of a coincidence that he's here in Quaramonte. Maybe there's something that the professor has that those guys are after. Dog Would biscuit? you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, George? <laughs> sure, they're great. <laughs> I love George, he's great. Guess what Maybe this is. Gin. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Oh, there you go. Here, look, the dart that poisoned you. Do you recognize this? Is that the dart which knocked me out? That's right. I kept it as a souvenir. <laughs> George is so weird. I love him. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, George. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. It is weird. He's just a big weirdo, but I like him. Take a look him. at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. <laughs> Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Right here, in fact. Take a What's look this? at this. What is that? Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's oh, house. Oh, that's right. That's right, the statement uh, which said he'd had lots of payments come out for shipping and things. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, oh. this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Eh, hey, the Chihuahua Sheesh. stone! <laughs> That's fun. Can we keep going right here? Hi, 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 Chihuahua! Oh, hello! Oh, there's a cell window. There was a forlorn-looking guy asleep on the floor of the jail. It was Miguel, oh, wow. the pipe player. Hey, oh, no. Miguel! He didn't hear me. Um, maybe he would like a biscuit. Um, <laughs> or we could drop a worm in? No? All right, hang on. No? All right. Um... I'm not gonna drop panties in, that's terrible. Oh, what about this one? What's in this one? The cell was vacant. Fan, hello! How are you? 
Hi. How's things, Pen? Oublier. We can talk to Oublier. That's exciting. Professor Oublier? Yes. Who are you? My name is Stobart. George oh, Stobart. Oh, that's so I exciting, Pen. I thought that Penn. face was familiar. Remember me, George? Dwayne Henderson. Hi, Dwayne. Dwayne. Uh, just a moment. I have a few questions to ask the professor here. Oh, we have lots of questions. <laughs> What's your desk like? Tell me all about it. What's it look like? Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. He's financing your expedition. Ooh. Okay. Let's keep it chatting. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. I could hear your eye roll. I could hear your eye roll, Pan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe you don't, but I do. Why was she known as the little We Dachshund? don't know, Pan. It was just a silly pet name I used to call her. Somehow some damned reporter found out. We don't know. We don't know what happened to his wife, but it was rumoured that he killed her. Dun dun dun! Pro partner streams at PAX. <laughs> Needs the things. Well, yeah. That would be cool if, if we are partnered by then. It's actually not that far away. October's really not that far. Oh my word. What do you know about my girlfriend's abduction? I don't know what you're talking about. She was invited to your mansion about? in Paris. Not by me, she wasn't. I haven't been home for nearly seven months. Hmm. Uh-oh. Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Oh my, my, my. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you need to like uh, bring a friend, guys, to make it work. I need um, to get partnered. You all need to bring a friend with you every stream. <laughs> That's what needs to happen to make the partnered happen. And then we all get donuts at PAX. Don't talk with your mouth open. <laughs> I know. Oh, the hassle, Pan, the hassle. Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. You should, they're good. Mm. I can't get enough of these things. Oh man, you're gonna have some weird indigestion problems, George. He's been eating these dog biscuits. He's crazy. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you That's get right, that? Pan. That's my business. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. I hope you had Can a beautiful time. Can you identify time. this statue, <laughs> Professor? Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Darkness. A Central Do -do -do. American god, right? A supreme deity. Tezcatlipoca means, literally, smoking mirror. There. You see the <gasps> mirror shield in his it's left It's the name hand? of the game. The Mayans believed he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. He wow. was the wind which came howling in the night in search of victims. And victims they gave him by the thousand. Human sacrifices? Men, women, children, animals, anything that bled. The steps oh of his temple ran red with the blood of sacrifices. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. I mean, that doesn't sound good. Really? Lord of Darkness. It's he who shall not be named. Do you see this label? <laughs> yes. They made a stage. Oh, to a company oh, named Pan, Kendall. that's mean. I traced that company here to Quaramonte. That's so mean. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. <laughs> they went bankrupt recently. I have proof. 
that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. Okay. Interesting. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Cuaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. At least he knows about it. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Cool. Yeah, I think that's fair. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. For the ancient Mayans, it marked the end of the fifth age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. The oh, fifth dear. is the final age, ending in the total destruction of the Earth. Oh, dear. So the, um, the Mayan calendar, I think, um, concluded in 2016 as well, and they thought that was going to be a massive big thingy. This guy, this is our main character here. He's on holidays. This is George. George is a good egg. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust oh Gwyneth my. implicitly. And why more so? Gwyneth. Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. Now what he plot? doesn't look I have evil. No idea. Yeah, I reckon they would have too, Pan. I reckon it's just they, they're like, eh, that's a pretty long way in the future. It's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. We'll all be dead by then. Everything will be fine. I think that's, I reckon you're right. Dwayne, mate. Are you still working for you know who? Who's Love that, Lord. George? You know I'm retired. Oh, nothing. Uh, forget it. I confused Literally. you with somebody else. Oh, I do that all the time. He literally works for Voldemort. <laughs> do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. No, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Quaramonte. What's the real power in Quaramonte? So the general is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Strictly strings and wood. Who's pulling oh the strings? His mother. Better what? known as La Presidenta, the dictator. Hmm. Does the name Karzak mean anything Interesting to you? Interesting take. Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. No, I mean, kind of a backhanded compliment, but thanks, man. <coughs> okay. 2012, you're right, minimal. The world, just end of a world. Ah, interesting. Is the real power fruit companies? What? <laughs> hmm. Boy George, yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? It's weird. Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, 
He's an agitator. Oh. In what way? What's the real reason the musician was imprisoned? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That oh. so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. Hmm. I spoke to Pearl earlier. That's a little bit... Yeah? That's a lot different. Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. Uh, yes, Pixie. And it has helped us quite a lot. This uh, pair of panties. It's very weird. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. <laughs> What's in the truck, Dwayne? Oh, uh, just camping equipment. Sleeping bags and tents. Me and Pearl always truck. hankered after a taste of the great outdoors. Aren't you worried about camping out in a tropical jungle? We had a trial run in West Virginia. <laughs> This'll be a breeze in comparison. You've changed, man. You've changed. <laughs> Tell me about these Would dog biscuits. Would you like biscuits. a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Every Those time. gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. I love these guys. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? What's so lucky about it? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. Okay. He is talking about random things to people though, isn't he? Like, it's not just me. What he's talking about is quite weird. Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? I never heard of it, son. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, have a pair of panties. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No, a guy we know in Paris bought them for her. Oh, you're a threesome then. <laughs> I love how open-minded he is. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> well, that was an illuminating conversation. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. All right, let's keep seeing if we can wander further. I know, what does what this game become? My goodness. Okay, there's a dude on a bike here. <laughs> it's all Katie. Hi, Katie I'm with their George bread. Stobart. Hello, tell me about the accident. What can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Lots of folks lost their lives. I was lucky. I only oh, lost he's my legs. the he's the half guy. Remember, one of the musicians said there was a guy that was only half a guy. He's only got half left. Can you tell me anything about this stone? That's obsidian. It's a volcanic so rock sweet? which has cooled so fast that. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not. I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the guy you should talk to is the professor. He's over there, talking to the bozo in the truck. Okay. We did that. He did get very excited. Do you know what this statue represents? Should do. <laughs> I used to carve things like that to sell to <laughs> tourists. But it scared people Need around some fairy here, lights, so I Jin. stopped. Okay. So he sold the little doodads. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Transglobal Shipping Company logo. Uh -huh. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. That's what I thought. The guy said they didn't. Ah, the plot thickens. Did you see the ship with the Condor flag? Mm, no. But the dock is just the other side of the square. Might as well be the other side of the moon. Oh, poor guy. I am. <laughs> that was so bad. I love.
bombed at 60. <laughs> Are you from Australia? Because you meet all of my qualifications, girl. That's terrible. <sighs> oh my gosh, I love it. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. That's true. You'd hope they'd get free out. Pixie, I'm Have you not, heard about yeah, the eclipse sure about of the sun? <laughs> sure, I'm having a party to celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited, except the general. <laughs> that was a great pickup line. Why That's don't awesome. you want the general at your party? Because if he comes, he'll bring those damned music albums from the 70s. Um, let me ask you about these here undies. What do you think of these panties? <laughs> awesome. You wear them? Uh, no. Someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. Why is he showing everyone the panties? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Eclipse Potter. <laughs> Thought I'd get some sunshine here to get my necessary vitamins. <laughs> I'm not sure if it works like that, but I'll, I'll try my hardest. <laughs> Vitamin D. Oh. Okay, cool, man. We've talked about all the things about the panties. Oh, we can stealing trucks have a wasn't at the my style. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, let's see if we can go talk to Pearl again now because uh, we did let her know that we'd try and find out about the um, the ruins and stuff. Give me that vitamin D. I like that better. Give me the D. Give me the D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jim. You got it. <laughs> Have you met the guy who calls himself the general? No, I haven't. Is he a real general? I guess so. He wears a lot of medals on his chest. The wrong side of his chest. At least for any army I'd ever seen. Well, that's a bit so suspicious, isn't I it? I hear you drove all the way to Quaramonte in a truck. That's right. You would not believe the state of some of those roads. It makes me damn right sad to think there's still some places you can't reach in an automobile. And this day and age, you think there'd be decent highways just about anywhere folk choose to go. Catch you later, Pearl. <laughs> I love her. I think she's great. Is that everything we had to talk to Pearl about? I had no more to talk to her about. All right, in that case then, let us go back and talk to Le General. Hey, Nico, Nico, come and talk to him with me. Okay. He's like a hyena. Look at him. Do you right. have a map of Quaramonte? A map? I'm sorry, senor, but I don't. What about the one on the wall? Ah, that is an archaeological survey map, senor. Mm. Not suitable for mm. tourists. I'll be back. But... I want to use the map. Can we just sneak in and use the map? Senor. Sorry, I forgot. All right. So nothing else has changed. I know, he's so creepy. I like Nico's outfit as well. <clears throat> Come out a bit, Nico. I wanna I wanna talk to you about our choices, love. Nico, wait. Stay. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to Nico about at that time. Alright, what do we got here? Hey, Nico! Maybe we can talk to the other guy and see if he's finished his paperwork?
Ronaldo. Hey, soldier, I can't lie. How are you? How about you say something nice? I know that would be so nice. Oh, I'd yeah. like to visit your prisoner. Condemned prisoners Swan! aren't allowed visitors. How are you, Condemned man? Condemned to death. He is <gasps> to be executed. Knowing my luck, I will probably have to shoot him myself. Oh my Amnesty God, that's International so is going to hear about this. Wow. I thought Miguel was arrested for playing the wrong kind of music. Si, senor, he was. And that carries the death penalty? Bad no, boys are not no, no, you think we're crazy? While being questioned, he confessed to being an anti-government agent. So long. Yes, he did have a he did have a blanket with fish on it. Yeah, I know. Intense. I wonder if we can. I go wasn't back going there. to try investigating the passage while the general was sat there. Mm. I had nothing else I wanted to ask him. Okay, is there anything else here we want to ask him? I'd asked him all I'd wanted to for now. Mm. All right. Whoop. Not the sword. Um. Look, I probably wouldn't eat that fish, to be fair. Should we talk to these guys? Go away! He's like, no. Maybe we could... <laughs> I love that sword. <laughs> a potato with a, a knife. I like it. Let's talk to the professor again. I had nothing else to ask him just then. Okay, do we have anything else to ask Dwayne? Dwayne. I had nothing else to ask him. Okay. Alright, let's walk back across the other side and see if we can't talk to anyone else. We'd talk to Pearl. Band, perhaps? Oh yeah, the smiling hyena. Tell me about the general. You know, the guy in charge around here. We don't want to talk about him, senor. How come? No one can hear you. Well, only that old goat. In Cuaramonte, we have a saying. Don't tell your old goat what you don't want your wife to know. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, that's a very nice sword. I'm basically just going around and talking to everyone again because we must have missed something. I have tried Pan and I tried to give the goat a biscuit as well, but he wasn't into it. He didn't want the dog biscuits, which is weird because goats, excuse me, goats eat everything. Everything. Nuestra Senora is la Presidenta, right? Si, Senor. The First Lady of Coramonte. I guess that's her picture I've seen on the posters, huh? That's her. Quite a looker, no? Ah. Yeah, if you like big, middle-aged military women. Si, senor. I do. Look like she's from the 1900s, isn't it? What? Huh? You talking about me? I'm 113. Does that help? Would he eat the panty? <laughs> the goat? Probably. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. They do. They eat anything. Giving it a lump of coal. Really? <laughs> Would it eat a lump of coal, Jure? How, how are you going, by the way? So, what has La Presidenta done for this country, apart from emasculating its music? Take a look around you, senor. The splendid docks, the walk-in shopping mall. But most Ooh, of la all, la. she has brought prosperity. Where? For the first time in the history of Caramonte, we have an export trade. Let's get back into the game. If you, ch if you cheat at drawing, can you get penalized? <laughs> Very good. Very good, mate. Very good. All right. With that, with that, 
<laughs> with that uh, joke, we're just going to look over this way and pretend that Minimal did not just say that. No. <laughs> oh, good night, Circly. Good night. Sleep well, friend. Buy a ship or ride a horse? We're working on it. I'm going to try this coal. Will he actually eat the coal on the goat? Someone suggested we try the, the coal on the goat. What, uh, what, what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. A car, car coal? I, I would have, uh, I would have preferred, uh, chocolate. Uh, any, any, uh, flavor, so long as it, uh, hasn't got, uh, um, mar marzipan in it. God, I, so I, I, I hate, talks? uh, marzipan. You can talk. I, I mean, you're a talking goat. Just, keep, what? Keep, keep your voice down. The, the, this is is between you and me, right? Well, I guess so. No, I, 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 I mean it. You, 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 you tell anyone you've spoken to me, and 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 you'll be cursed. What? I hate marzipan. What? This is so weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's eat some marzipan, man. So we're going around talking to everyone again because we're trying to work out what's new and um, to push the story along. Oh my gosh. Almond is the king of nutty like things. See, you think I want to swallow that crap? What I mean is, it can't be doing your business any good. I'm sure you'd sell a lot more gourds if you didn't. Nobody ever complained before. <laughs> okay. I can see I'm not getting through. I, do, I don't think I've had marzipan in a very, very long time. Let's see if we can talk to this guy again. Like, what? <laughs> Phonology, honorary doctorate. That's, that's very good. Change your mind. All. You want to buy mm. cabbages after all? How I many want you cabbages. Want? Two? Three? Three? None. Don't come crying to me if you die of scurvy. He wasn't going to be any help. <laughs> I love that guy. Um, okay, can we talk to the goat some more? Hey, Claymore. How you doing, mate? What? I'm going to try and give it the panties. I mean... No, okay. What if we talk to Nico again? Is there something we can... There was nothing else about? I wanted... No? Okay. Let's continue on. We're just saying hi to everyone. Have we gone up there? Oh, we haven't gone up there. To the mine company. The goat? That's a bad idea. Hey, Nico. Oh, minimal. Oh, minimal. You're on fire tonight. To decorate your son's Pokemon cake. Ah, I love marzipan. It is so much better than fondant. Mm. Oh, here we are. Hola, señora. Hi. Hi. We were wondering. I was talking to the lady, Chico. Oh, so sorry. Hi. My name is Nicole Collar. Concha Garcia. How can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, hey, Iron. is Hello. precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Welcome. Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. <laughs> she does not like him. She's like, yeah, no. <laughs> How are you doing, Iron? It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the stream. A very good friend because he came to a wonderful place. Ah, Sodex, Dow. <laughs> Late 90s lesbian representation in the games industry? Maybe. I was going for like hardcore feminist. Like she's like, no, I do not want to talk to the man. Maybe. You never know. Co coat it in marzipan and icing, which would be the only bit I would eat. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Oh my goodness. You don't just don't like Christmas cake or um <laughs> cake. Have please. you heard of a Let's man talk about Karzak? No, who is he? He's the Why reason we both? came to Cuaramonte. We think he's running a drug ring. Well I hope you find him, but I've never heard the name before. 
Okay. Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody oh my. my mine closed down for good. Oh dear. Tell me more. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire Ooh. operation has been closed down. Thank you for following Ironville. It's lovely, as I said, lovely to have you here. I hope you will enjoy this game. This is, uh, what is it, Broken Sword 2? So far, so good. It's really good. I love this game. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teokulkan. Mmm. Have you talked to uh, the professor? Do you professor? know Professor Ubie? Yes. I understand he is about to embark on an archaeological oh. expedition. He hired some equipment from me earlier today. I overheard That's very him dramatic talk music. To the general. I think they're working together. What? Dum, dum, if dum. I'd known that, I wouldn't have hired out the equipment. Now, why would the general be interested in an archaeologist? That is the question. Would you like a biscuit? Would you like a dog biscuit? Would that is like actually probably mouth, not a good thing to ask her. Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which oh. of their many gods it represents. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. I do like almonds. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is this Kakipoka, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Mm, we have noticed that. <laughs> okay, what's this one? Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate oh. here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. I like pistachios. Pistachios are one of my favorite nuts. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Oh, she has no idea. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let me show you my random piece of coal. Are we going to talk about the undies? Nice buns. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. Oh my god. And your undies, ew. Wow. This is wow. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. Okay. Cool, thanks, Conchita. Shall we talk to uh, the pantless secretary? <laughs> I know, you might need them. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour oh, of a mine. Oh. Well, this is a mining company. What else <clears throat> did you expect? That's pretty cool, actually. I would do that. Uh, yes, we still have a worm in our pants. Yep, it's still there, Jin. Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. What about this cranky guy? Do you guy? know where I could find Senor Karzak? No, Senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? <laughs> I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? Kind she of suggested it. Oh my word, that is highly inappropriate. Wowzers. <laughs> Keep out of there. Oh man, can we um, That's talk where to the any of these? Are stored. Oh, I mean, good, good. Can we talk to these secretaries over here? <laughs> I don't know, Sordrak. I do not know. 
Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? I don't know. I've I never love seen this one. Comic All I know style. about eclipses so is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please. Go away and let me get on with my work. Uh, let's Ever talk heard about of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. Okie dokie. Let's talk to this other secretary down here. We are looking very cool today. I must Did you say. know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about ah. it. He's having a party and He's we're all invited. Party. Me this and the boys the are dressing legs. up as evil monks. Yeah? Cool. Cool. <laughs> Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? <laughs> no, sir. Okie dokie. Okay, last secretary on the right. Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few is weeks' time. Is he going time, to the party? It? Nine days. Thanks. Cool. Ever Thanks, heard of man. a guy called Karzak? No. Okay. I guess we'll uh, we'll head out then. I'm glad we found this spot. Um, with the crazy lady. The hate pizza guy. <laughs> Maybe. It could be the same guy. You never know, Jin. You never know. He did not like pizza. The little olives, what did he call them? Like little butts or something? Ah, Jin can explain. Let's go talk to the professor and such again now that we've talked to the peeps in the mine company okay the de I guess that's right it's terrible oh where's the professor gone Dwayne where'd the professor go Talk Maybe I'm wrong, friend. but you seem kind of evasive when I asked you about what you had in that truck before. Damn right I was being evasive. I couldn't talk in front of the foreign national, see? George, I'm on a top secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck Ooh. is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. Okay. Is Miguel the reason you're here? Pretty smart, George. I was supposed to make contact with him. By the time I found him, though, he was in jail. I've been trying to figure out a way to get him out since then. Sounds good right. to me. Count me in. Good man, George. All I need is a detonator. Okay. Well, maybe we could get that from the cupboard. How come in the you brought a office? truckload of explosives but no detonator? Call me old fashioned, but I say packing trunks is woman's work. I left the packing to Pearl and I can't find a darn thing. Just hope she remembered to bring my denture polish. Ew. I'd sure hate to arrive back in the States with tar on my teeth. Ew, gross. Have me you too. really never heard of Condor? Of course I have, son. Matter of fact, it was old Dwayne's investigation scared him off. I'm not sure whether to believe Dwayne or not. Like, I'm Did you find any mm. evidence of Condor's drug smuggling operations? Drugs? Hell no. Condor was a cover for the illegal export of Mayan artifacts. Well, he sounds right, because that's pretty much what so it was. So who was behind Condor Transglobal? It was registered in the name of Edan. Did you get the guy? I don't think he ever existed. Edan backwards spells Nady, Spanish for nobody. Ooh, the plot thickens. Let's talk to the legless man. <laughs> I had nothing more to say. <laughs> oh, these quotes are going to get me in trouble. He did, he did say that they were <laughs> thick. <laughs> hey Pearl, 
Let's see if we have anything else to talk to you about, love. Did you know that the truck was full of explosives? Whatever gave you that idea, as if I like couldn't the guess. Cheese. Your husband. He was exaggerating, wasn't he? Sometimes I wonder how I'm going to cope with Dwayne's over-fertile imagination. Oh, dear. Do you know where I could buy a debt? Go on, Dwayne, did you up to this by any chance? Oh, I get it. This is to detonate the truckload of explosives, right? Hey, come on, I was kidding. <laughs> did you think I was serious? I know what you boys are like when you get together and make plans. Dwayne says he could solve all the world's problems if he had enough missiles. Catch you oh later, my. Boy. Interesting, interesting. Um, let's go talk to the redhead and see if we can get some detonators. Though she doesn't seem to believe that that's true. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, here we go. Hey, lady. I need Do a you detonator, have any kind please. Of detonating device in stock. Sure. They're kept in that cupboard. I don't suppose you have one spare. I can't simply give you a device like that, no, without say. a damn good reason. <laughs> like she's not just going to give him one, is he? The general has a chart in his office, which he was discussing with Udia. Yeah. Perhaps that chart will tell us where they're heading. Maybe, but I can't get anywhere near it while the general and his sidekick are there. Mm. Normal things in the cupboard. Just please let me take one. Just one. I just need one. Hey. Fine. Stay out okay. of that cupboard. Give us one last question, minimal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plates, underwear, detonators. You mean pants, underwear, and de detonators. <laughs> Nico, we haven't chatted for a while. Have we got anything to say? It's a legit question, Minimal. It's a legit question. <laughs> Could you distract the general the while I took a look at that chart? You're kidding. Good idea. Did you see the way he was leering at me? Let's yeah. just take advantage of that. make a great snake charmer. Come on. Five minutes is all I need. Well, use your maybe. But it's your hairbrain scheme. You do the talking. Okie dokie. All right, Nico, do your best, babe. Okay. Here we go. Be all sexy. Okay, ready? Let's my go. My girlfriend has a favor she wants to ask you, General. For you, my dear. Anything. I've changed my mind. Oh, no, you uh. haven't. Uh, she's embarrassed about asking you for an interview, oh, come General. come on, Nico. An interview with me? Fabuloso! Well, it's so I, cute. Uh, I want to write a story about you. You Ooh hear la that, la. Ronaldo? An exclusive glossy spread about your beloved general. Oh. Si, Senor General. Look after things here. I'm going back to my apartment and I don't want to be disturbed. I'll get you for this, George Stobart. Oh my gosh, she's taking it to, to his apartment. If you're going a couple of hours, I'll come and get you. A couple of hours? Oh. Whoa. That's a lot. She just did a lot then. My goodness. Take him, talk about taking one for the team. No, 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 senor. The general said nobody must see that chart. He won't know unless you tell him. You don't know him, senor. He will worm it out of me as easily as he de-waxes his ear. Okay, okay. I'd have to get okay. rid of him. Okay. Um, can we have a chat to you, Ronaldo, now about... The pyramids? Would yeah, you take my friend can. to the ruins now the general's gone? I'd be honored, senor. Thanks. Super. I'll go get him. 
Okay, let's go get Pearl out for dinner, a movie, and buy her an entire garden center of flowers. You're not wrong, Pan. You're not wrong. Poor thing. Pearl, Pearl! Guess what, Pearl? I've made the arrangements for your visit to the temple, Pearl. Oh, that's just great, George. Why don't you come too, honey? I'd love to, but right now I have to save the world. One thing at a time, Pearl. One thing at a time. Alrighty. <clears throat> so. Listen, sweetie. I'm looking for an official guide to take me to the old pyramid. For a lovely lady, I would go to the ends of the earth. For you, oh. I will go as far as the pyramid and back. But what about <laughs> your husband? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Let's go, <laughs> Beanpole. Let's go, Beanpole. I love her. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> as Pearl and so, Ronaldo oh, set no. up for the ruined pyramid, I prepared Thank to you search for the hydrate, the Laura. Station. We can search at our leisure, literally at our leisure. Okay, let's have a look at everything. It looked shall like we? a geological survey map showing the land to the southeast of Cuatamonte City. Mm. Quick, about sixty take a miles photo. inland and upstream was Get an your area marked. Teokulkan. Is he going to remember that? That's the question. Let's have a look at the, the safe. The safe was undoubtedly locked. Yeah, I know, but I want to see. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. What else is in here? <gasps> we can go the to the filing, filing cabinet. cabinet was probably locked. Or go out the back and talk to the prisoner. Hi, Miguel. I'm George Stobart. You're Miguel the musician, aren't you? Ex-musician, senor. My career oh, is finished. Ah, going to jail could be the boost your career needed. Senor, I would rather <laughs> die than live with this shame. Oh, my. <laughs> Have you heard of a guy called Karzak? Yes. The old man spoke of him. The foreigner? Professor Ubier? That's right. Ah. This man Karzak is Ubier's boss. He lied Why is to that us. noose hanging from the bars? Ronaldo strung it up for me to hang myself. Oh, Don't that's cry rude. for me, Senor Stubbard. When I am dead, the goddess will take my soul to rest in paradise. That's a bit bleak. Let's see if we can't help him out with the dart. He's a rat. Blow dart. Can we get him out? No. I couldn't reach the noose. Hmm, okay, I know, it's so lighthearted. It's better than it was, to be fair. <sighs> How can we get the noose? Hmm. Um, we could use the dart on the noose, no? Um, maybe this is all attached to the detonator. So let's go and see if we can get the detonator from the lady face now that we have the coordinates coordinates the coordinates of the uh the archaeological dig and we'll see if we can get rid of her so we can go into her cupboard and nick a detonator without pants off friday seeing us let's go that cow old in it how old in it? It's a mystery! Mm. <laughs> curiouser and curiouser as they say. Hello, love. Let me tell you about. Uh, I got a good look at that chart in the police station. It's a map of Cuaramonte. Does it tell us where Ubier okay. is heading? Yeah, a place yes. called Teoculcan. That's the site of the mine. Here. I wonder why they're being so secretive about Ubier's plans. One thing's for sure. If the general's involved, they're up to no good. I'd like to talk to that musician, Miguel. Take the detonator and get him out of that jail. Okay, if you say so. Sure. Just take the detonator and get him out of jail. 
cool. And he sticks it in his pan. <laughs> Every time with these point and click retro games, they're always putting stuff down their pants or in their shirt. And it's just, there's so much stuff in their pants and shirt. And you just can't see it. It's like, it's magic. It's just magic. <laughs> Come on, this way. <laughs> it's true, Laura. They do not make pants like they used to. It's a shame. Brilliant workmanship. Or at least they used to be. The pockets were just uh, astronomical. <laughs> All right, so we're here. How do we, do we need to be on this side? Or do we need to be on the other side? Oh, we might need to be on the other side. Maybe can we give the detonator to the guy so he doesn't kill himself? Miguel. He wouldn't be interested. Okay, well, let's go give it to What's-His-Face then. <clears throat> this is true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try giving it to um, Dwayne. Yes. Yeah, sure. I mean, at least it's quicker. I don't know. Would it be quicker? Mm -hmm. Let's not discuss the semantics, eh? Dwayne. Here is the detonator, Dwayne. Da -da -da. Keep your voice down, George. You want everyone to know. You'd best go and warn Miguel that the U.S. Cavalry's on the way. Okay. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> go on, Dwayne. Go for it. <laughs> Let's do it, Dwayne. <laughs> Any day now. I had nothing else to ask him. Okay. Let's see now whether we can do anything in the cell. Maybe Dwayne has to, I mean, maybe the guy that's in the cell, um, Miguel, maybe he has to do something. I love that no one, like, cares. <laughs> They're just like, eh, whatever. Oh, no worries, Pan. It's so nice to see you, mate. I hope you have a lovely day, my friend, and hopefully we get to see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, Miguel! What is it? What is happening? We're getting out thing. of here! Who's we? They've sent the Delta Force. Nope. The mm -hmm. Impossible Missions really? Force. Don't make Maybe. me sick. Much better. Who then? A retired greetings card salesman from Ohio. I'm doomed. Uh-oh. What's this guy doing back? You're not the only one. I should have known you'd be trouble the moment I saw you. Look, I can explain everything. That was a very Get quick in tour. That cell. Now. And what if I refuse? Oh, He'll bugger. shoot you. Okay, here I am. Going quietly into the cell. Oh dear. I think we're in trouble, sir. Very wise, not the Americano scum. One of the reasons I hate guns so much is the way they make people so damned impolite. <laughs> hey, hey, Ev, how are you, pumpkin? It's nice to see you, man. I hope you're enjoying your vacation, Senor Stobart. Ah, go polish your weapon. It's gonna have although. a throaty, guys. My throat is getting better, but it's still a bit scratchy. This was now part of your you? plan, right? Well, in a totally. manner of speaking, no. <laughs> I was all out of ideas. It was up to Nico now. Come so, on, Nico. here we are. You've changed. I thought I would slip into something more comfortable. The stench of chip grown rolled over me like tear gas. So, what do you want to know about me? 
ask and I will answer. Good, eh? I will deny you nothing. Oh. <laughs> I am a very He's so scary person. How nice for oh. your friends. Your eyes are glittering like stars. His damn cologne was making my eyes water. <laughs> I was running out of sofa. Oh my, my, my. As spirited as you are beautiful, I admire that. As long as he him. admired it from afar. <laughs> oh, I am so saucy. He reminds me of Zap Brannigan from um, Futurama, doesn't he? Like, so similar. On close inspection, I noticed that the swordfish was peppered with machine gun bullet holes. The general was a real sportsman and no I mistake. I mean, that's one way to kill a fish. Hmm. There's a tiger skin. Hopefully the you didn't do the same thing with that. The help. <laughs> TV portrait is that him? I didn't want the picture. You're far enough. Lava lamp. I didn't want the lava lamp. Okay. Um. What else we got here? What are we missing, guys? What are we missing? The TV. Shall we turn on the TV? I didn't want to watch a lot of tawdry soap operas. Right. Let's keep him talking. Tell me about your tacky lava lamp. Is that a lava lamp? Sure. It's more impressive in the dark. I'll close the blinds. No, oh, no. no. Don't do that. <laughs> Not on such a beautiful day. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh. That was kind of rude. Turned on the TV on us. Who's the guy with the hat and the fat cigar? My mother. What? What? Big fish. Catch it yourself? Catch it? <laughs> Fishing poles are for children. Then how did... Are those bullet <laughs> love it, love it. Two magazines on full automatic. It put up quite a fight. I don't, I don't know about that AF, like, his teeth are more scary than the mullet, if I do say so myself. I, um, love your TV. Oh, yeah, cool, no? Ooh, baby. Oh, my. Mom! Mommy! What is going on here? <laughs> uh, nothing, Mom. I was... Uh, 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 I'm in uniform. And when I'm in uniform... It's oh, Madame man. President, sorry, Madame La President. Now, what is going on here? Nothing, Madame La President. I was just showing my friend Nico some of the cool stuff I've got. Hi. Good afternoon, Senorita. And just what are your intentions toward my son? Intentions? Awkward. We were just talking. Oh, nice. <laughs> she has good bone structure, Raoul. Has she any brains? She's a reporter. Is she? And what sort of questions has she been asking? I'm a freelance oh photojournalist. I do lifestyle features. For what sort of magazines? It looked safest to play dumb with good bone structure. Um, Haya, uh, lifestyle of the super rich and vainglorious, Envy magazine. Um... Excellent. Raoul, you've chosen well for a challenge. Oh no. It was pretty hey, obvious who pulled the hey. strings around here. I hope George was making good use of the oh, time dear. I was buying. Oh dear! Hi! I'm like, and then what? Pa 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 pa. And when you were in this band of yours, you used to play that song for two hours. Yeah, we were really famous at our college. Still, ours wasn't as good as the original version. I have never heard <laughs> that song before. Yet I have no doubt that this must be. It's true. nice to see you, Dingo. I mean, hey. I don't know what to call you now, but. Hey, Dingo. <laughs> Wayne Henderson. Yay! Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Get to the American Consul and tell him I've been imprisoned without charge. Get real, George. 
He was the previous <laughs> occupant of that cell you're in. We're gonna have to use good old American know-how to get you out of there. Uh-oh. That, uh -oh. and this truck full of explosives I've got here. Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne, listen to me. You'll kill all of us. You're such a naysayer, George. It'll go like clockwork. And are we fine, uh, negative George? To negative to uh, uh, It's positive to pot. Uh, you gotta get the bare copper wire here. Let me just. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice uh, to uh, see you, uh, man. Uh, all right. I hope you've I'll been well. Did you have up. a good right, weekend? We go. Okay. Just a minute. I've got to get to a safe distance. Quick, Miguel, With get that. the mattress. You have strange customs up north. Here we go. Too late. Uh oh. Are we dead yet? Horse shit. What happened to the explosives? I don't think there it worked. There ain't no explosives. My dumbass supplier must have given me organic fertilizer instead of chemical. All I got here is 400 pounds of lightly fried horse apples. That's a lovely I mean... image, Dwayne. Never mind, I'll think of something. I mean, he could grow a nice carrot with that. Lock. I didn't have the key to the lock. Oh, so cool! That sounds amazing, Dinger. Yeah! Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I totally get it. <laughs> oh, that sounds really fun. The door was locked. Can I couldn't the reach noose? the noose. What's his name, Ken, though, right? Miguel. <clears throat> Listen to me, Miguel. You give me that rope, and I'll get us out of here. That's really cool, though. Is there somewhere you can hide from the general? Of course. My friends have a boat ready to take me up river. But how are you going to break out of here with just a short piece of rope? I'm not mm. sure. But I'll think of something. Give me your noose. Okay. So, If your plan maybe... doesn't work. Will you let me hang myself in peace? Oh, don't be such a fatalist. Can we use the rope with the window? Did it work? Aha! What were you doing there, um, Dinger? What were you up to? Were you uh, going to see anyone specific? got some gamers together and bar crawled the city so much fun oh that's awesome <laughs> excuse me uh can we hand the hey, noose Dwayne, to Dwayne? i want you to tie this rope to your truck and then drive forward that sounds had no really idea fun this was really gonna work uh, but i'd seen it in a black and white western of course hopalong was using a horse and Dwayne had a four-ton truck but hey the principle's sound anything you say george yeah um Please was it a specific, like a, a, a specialty difficult. meter, or like, were you going to see a specific streamer, or just curious? Oh my feet, Raoul! Propose, you idiot! Don't mind her. She just wants grandchildren. <laughs> it's a bit forward. Don't think I can't hear you, Raoul. I want the worthy successor, and you're not it. Propose now, or I'll do it for you. Look, Nico, we haven't known each other very long, but... Oh my... What the hell uh, was that? I didn't know what was going on, but Georges had to be involved in it somewhere. Uh-oh. Run, Nico, run! I Yay! ain't gonna say a thing, cause that sweet sound of falling masonry says it all. Quick, senor, the river. Quick, senor. Huh? Wait, what about Nico? She's here, she's here. Quick, get in the car. Josh, what have you done? You only had to sneak a look at the chart, and it's turned into World War III. <laughs> no time to explain. We didn't do Come anything, on. Oh, so dear. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. You that talking sounds really to me, fun. Junior? That sounds really yes, I'm fun. I'm talking Dinger. to you, fat man, and my name's not Junior. A word to the wise, Junior. You carry on waving that pea shooter in my face, and the next person who sees it is going to be your proctologist. Savvy? Oh. 
brutal. General, I am happy to report that I have apprehended the terrorists. You idiot, not them! The other American and the French woman! They're the ones! Oh my my my. Um, so most of these games are on Steam. Um, I've had a lot of other gamers tell me what games are great, like other retro point click adventure gamers. Um, and we're kind of following you along. So we played Broken Sword 1, maybe. 12 months ago now and we've been wanting to play number two for a while and so far it's really good I'm really enjoying it I, I quite enjoy it because it's quite linear I enjoy that it's quite linear because it keeps you engaged and everything sort of makes sense Was that what's his name's boat that got blown up? When I recovered consciousness, I was alone, washed up on the riverbank. Oh, no. My head was aching fiercely, and my mouth tasted like a swamp. At first, I thought the music I heard was in my head. Just my luck to wind up in paradise with a migraine. Oh, oh this is beautiful. But I followed though. the sound and discovered a tree house in a nearby clearing. Oh, I think it was just the cutscene was super loud for some reason. I'm not sure why AF. It's very peculiar. Uh, let's just save the game here. Where are we at? I'm just curious how far we are. 47%. Wow. Washing machine. Yeah. Yeah, of course. No, no, that's fine, Swordrack. Yeah, just, just send me a DM, man. That's fine. The machine was broken. What else is there? There's a vine. That vine rope could be useful. You never know. So there's a washing machine. And what else have we got here? Awesome, no worries, mate. What about the bridge? Is there anything we can use there? It would have been a shame to tamper with the elegant bridge. Okay. There's a pump. It seemed to be working just fine. It does seem to be working just fine, doesn't it? Um. Let's see now. Leaves. Can we pick up some leaves? It was a pile <coughs> of damp leaves. There's a nice pile. It was a pile of damp leaves. Okay, what about the cross here? Can it was heavy. I I guess that was intentional. Can I use this cross? Whoops. Back over here. No, bring it. No, bring the cross, bring the cross, George. I want to see if I can fix, no. Okay, we obviously can't go that way. What, can we do it with that? Yes, okay, we can do something with that. So that's good. The leverage from the cross allowed me to turn one of the stones, but the other one remained stationary. Okay. What about the vine? Can we attach that so it moves at the same time? Yeah, we can. The vine provided a drive belt to connect the two stones. Hopefully it's strong enough. So now if we use the cross... ...with the press... Whoop, no, don't put it down. Ah, George, 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 George. And then we try it. 
across with the press. Now they both should move. Oh yeah. Now I I'm have the sure contraption why. working. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why we're using the contraption. Um, okay. So we have a press. That's cool. The stones were too heavy to turn by hand. Can we get up to the treehouse or has it got something to do with... Hello? Anyone home? Oh, hello, hello. Nope. So, there must be something else that we can use. <laughs> Every time I see those panties, it makes me giggle. Um, it seemed to be working just fine. Can we put something, can we use the chimney cone on the water wheel for like a cup? No. And the wet leaves did something. Nothing. It was a pile of damp leaves. Hang on. There's a pump and then there's a water wheel. The iron rim of the water wheel would have torn the skin from my fingers if I touched it. Iron rim of the water wheel. Can we put the panties in it? No? Alright. Um. What about the blow dart? The coal? No. Lipstick? Not sure how that would help, but you never know. You never know. What about the tequila worm? No. The fetish stone? Oh! I'm not sure quite what they did. As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Oh, cool. So, what's happening with the leaves now? The leaves now, were then? too damp to burn on their own. Okay, so can we do another with the fetish stone? Let's do that again. Will that dry it out more? As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded up. Oh, I think I know. Hang on. What if we put <coughs> the news cutting on it? Gave it some tinder. You know? The newspaper clipping was just what I needed to kindle the damp leaves. Perfect. Just perfect. All right, let's get our little effigy. And use it with the water wheel. I'm glad I tried everything because I would not have thought of this. As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Very good. I see. We do a lot of smoking out in this game, don't we? <laughs> Quick, man, put out that fire. I've got a sick woman up here. Sorry, Ooh. Father, but I needed to attract your attention. Hello. Can I come up, please? Ah, handy. Good job. There's a ladder and everything. So helpful. Hi. Who are I like you? your thongs. You They're want? funny. My name is Stobart. George Stobart. I'm Father Hubert. Oh, I hello. I suppose you speak French. Huh? Why do you want to know that? I found oh, a young really? woman with a fever by the river this morning. The poor girl is close to death. And there's nothing I can do for her but pray. I don't understand oh. her. But I think she's speaking French. Hang on. It's not Nico. That must be Nico. Oh man. That's my girlfriend you've got in your treehouse. What's the matter uh -oh. with her? She's been bitten by a venomous river snake. But oh, no. can't you do something for her? There's a cure, isn't there? I ran out of penicillin and morphine years ago. But the local people oh, no. speak of a root which they believe will counteract the poison. Oh 
Okay. Where can I find this route? I don't know. But maybe the shaman at the village can tell us. Oh dear. Will you show me the way to the village? Me? Oh, but I can't. Can't? And Nico's she's life dead. Maybe. You're right. Oh, I hope not. Of course I should, despite my own guilt and shame. But Why have you got guilt and shame? I can't go as a representative of God with a priest collar. A priest collar? You mean you put your personal attire higher than the life of a sick woman? I will not go to that village looking anything but my best. Give me your collar. Seriously? I'm sure I can find a way to press it. I mean, we did just make a press. Maybe we can use that. <laughs> In the meantime, I must contemplate my sermon. Totally not a cultist. There was obviously more than a creased collar <laughs> bothering the priest. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what, though. Look, we can put it through our fancy, fancy press we have here. This fancy press we made. So there I was. This press Hundreds of miles from civilization doing the housework for a priest. <laughs> it's a strange world. Uh, that was great. Okay, um, <laughs> get the cross. And then turn the press. Use the cross with the press. A bada bing, a bada boom, a bada bing. Press works bada surprisingly bada well on the collar. Excellent! Yay! All right, let's grab the collar. Take it back to our priest friend, and go and get the root of the problem. I'm on fire tonight. On fire! <laughs> Here's your collar, Father. And everyone leaves. <laughs> Yay, isn't it nicely pressed? Thank you, George. You probably think it a little odd of me to make such a fuss. Just oh, a no. little. If I'd been living in the jungle for 11 years, I'd be completely screwy, too. Screwy? <laughs> yes, perhaps I am. Ever since my last visit to that village. Oh, my, my, my. Do you want to tell me what happened at the village? I forgot my vows. I let myself be overwhelmed by the beauty of this unspoiled paradise. And in a moment of weakness, animal passion reared its rampant head. You know, you should be writing romantic novels. What Did happened? Did you experience some kind of a physical, physical liaison? Physical liaison? Yes, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I found myself I doing... That. The monkey dance. The monkey dance. I've never heard it called that before. And I didn't want to pry any deeper into Hubert's murky past. <laughs> this is so raunchy. Now you've got your collar back. Will you take dance. me to the village? I still not finished my sermon. Look, oh, come on, Father, man. I still don't know why you're so reluctant to visit that village. And it's none I of my business. Know. Whatever the reason, it can't be more important than saving Nico's life. You're right. Do, do, do. I must be crazy. We must make haste if we're to reach the village before nightfall. Let's go! By the time we reached the village, it was sunset. Ah. These guys look familiar, don't they? They haven't got any Hello, pants boys. either. Glad to see you're still wearing the underpants, Father. <laughs> They're the best Christmas present we ever had, Father. Mine are too Cute. tight. Well, we all have our cross to bear. Uh, this is George. He has a request to make. I'm afraid I can't stay. Good luck, George. Okay, but bye. Oh my. That's All a right, relief. George. I never feel comfortable with him about. Me neither. These damn pants keep riding right up my butt. So, <laughs> what do you want? My girlfriend has been bitten by a snake. So? Everyone in my family has been bitten by snakes. I was bitten by a dormouse once. She's real sick. I hoped your wise man might have medicine. Wise man? You must have <laughs> oh the wrong gosh. village. No. Father Hubert said there was a wise man in the village who could help me. Ooh, he must mean the old man, the shaman. Yeah, I guess so. Are you going to stand by and let my girlfriend die? Of course not. What do you think we are, savages? We'll start the preparations for a cremation feast. Woo! I'd like to see the shaman, please. You can't just go walking in there and demand to speak to the shaman. Why not? You have to observe the protocol. The shaman demands tribute. Tribute? You mean like a yes. gift? Yes. That's right. 
The eternal question. I'm not what sure. What do you give I, a man I... who has everything? Look, I mean, uh, we've got this lovely lipstick, this shiny metal hubcap thing, the grub. Look, I know it's not much, but I want your shaman to have this. Do you expect him to eat that? He's an old man, you know. He might choke. Oh, okay. Let me try something else. Um, what about our dog Here, biscuits? Here, he'll like these biscuits. <laughs> me, me too, Luke. If you say so. Okay. Dog biscuits are apparently acceptable for the shaman. He liked the biscuits, especially the black ones. He wants to know if you've any more. No. Hmm. Gourmet shaman, apparently. I've got lipstick. Would your wise man have any use for lipstick? Not in that color. <laughs> Haven't you anything in black? Of course I don't. <laughs> Give me a clue. What kind of things does your shaman like? Does he have a oh hobby or a favorite sport? You insult us. The shaman lives on a higher plane. Oh, right. Maybe a book would be more suitable. Or a jigsaw puzzle? Don't you just hate choosing presents for people you don't know? Use the coal with the lipstick? Why don't we just add the coal? Hang on. Why don't we just add the coal into the box? Because he said he particularly liked the black one. I put my lucky piece of coal in the empty box. And then give him more. Here, I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. There we go, see? I'll give them to him. Thank you. I don't know if that's going to work. Otherwise, the lipstick with the coal could work. I don't know why, though. The shaman didn't want the black rock. Oh. Okay. Um. What about this one? What if I put that one in there? I put the Mayan stone in the empty box. Okay, let's try that. Or the, wait, what about the freaky statue? Here. Let's try this I found first. some more of those biscuits for the shaman. I'll give them to him. He didn't bring the box back. The shaman wants to talk to you. I hoped he would. Okay. Well, okay, it's good. been nice to talk to you guys. Super. Super duper. Let's go. Come, George. Let's go and talk to the shaman. Well, hopefully he gives it back to us. Do we think that that's him there? That man wasn't the one I'd come... Okay, that's not the right man. How many men are here? Oh, there's the shaman. Okay. Oh, I see why they, Hi. he gave him underpants. They're all Stobart. running around without Please anything on. sit down. <laughs> the power Welcome of the George. biscuits. Thanks. It has long been foretold no worries, that Laura. a white it's man so nice to meet will bring you too. coyote stone to this village. Hopefully, uh, we can come and raid you sometime soon. Have a great night, pumpkin. Bye. My girlfriend's been bitten by a snake. And you want me to heal her? That's the idea. Can you do it? I'm not sure. My gums aren't what they used to be. Okay. Listen, my girlfriend's in a coma. Please, old man, give me the root. What root? This Father one. Father Hubert told me of a root which could cure the bite of the river snake. Tough. There's nothing sacred with these people. That was a secret known only to members of my tribe. If that Sorry. root is my chance of saving Nico's life, then I want it. Fast. There is time yet, George Stobart. Time to learn why you were called here. 
fine. If I listen to your story, then will you give me the route? The eel travels far, but still returns to the place of his spawning. And look, I'm running a tight schedule, so can you skip the riddles? It means take off your glasses, it's night time. Many years ago, when the world was young, the great god and king Quetzalcoatl was defeated by trickery and deceit. Oh no! His enemy Tezcatlipoca took his place as leader and demanded terrible human sacrifices. Sound nice. A group of loyal priests found a way to trap Tezcatlipoca. But his powers were oh. so great, they knew he would not remain trapped forever. His time of incarceration would end with the eclipse, which marked the close of the fifth age. Uh oh. So the priests fashioned three obsidian stones which contained the power to seal the mirror for all time. But before oh, the stones wow. could be put in place, they were seized by the invading Spanish. But how did they trap Tez, the evil god? They built a pyramid which they told Tezcatlipoca was dedicated to him. At its center, they fashioned a huge mirror of perfectly smooth obsidian. Luring him into the pyramid with praise and flattery, they used sorcery to ensnare him in the mirror. Ooh, devilish. Voodoo Lady never said anything direct day that, yeah, I think it's all part of the mysticalness, you know? It's always Voodoo, always comes down There's to Voodoo. There's an eclipse of the sun due very soon, isn't there? Correct. The eclipse which marks the ending of the fifth age will come before the next full moon. Less than uh -oh. two weeks. I didn't really believe that Tez Katlipoka would return, but I figured Karzak's plans were in some way connected. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Why is Father Hubert so reluctant to visit the village? I don't know. He used to come here a lot, but then he just stopped. You'd think he'd want to spend some time with his kids. His kids? Did you say Father Hubert has kids? Three girls and five boys by my reckoning, all conceived in the same week at the Feast of the Monkey Dance. I see. Yes, I think that's the point, Sodrac. Um, there seems to be a lot of pantsless people in this, uh, in this game. <coughs> What hey, Al. Hello. Stones? How are you? They were taken by the Spanish to the coastal town that is now called Guaramonte City. Only one stone reached Spain. The other two fell into the hands of buccaneers. The Jaguar stone was captured by an English captain, El Draco. The Eagle stone was taken by a pirate called Ketch. The third stone, the Coyote stone, reached Spain safely. That is the stone in your possession. Ooh, cool. Tell me more not. about the Jaguar stone. <laughs> Many centuries ago, the port of Guaramonte was entered by a ship flying Spanish colors. The captain, the man known as El Draco, sent soldiers ashore. Only when the soldiers you, arrested Al? the mayor did the people realize that they were English privateers. The mayor wow. was held hostage while the soldiers looted and plundered the city. Amongst the treasures they stole was the Jaguar stone. Oh my. Mm, my, my, my. Where is the Jaguar stone now? I suppose El Draco took it back to his homeland, across the Great Sea, to England. Uh... Hang on, guys. My recording stopped for some reason. It's just starting it again. There we go. Tell Not me sure more about the I Eagle lost. Stone. The stone was loaded onto a galleon with many valuable artifacts plundered by the Spanish. But shortly after leaving harbor, a terrible squall blew up and damaged the ship. The ship was intercepted by a bloodthirsty pirate, Captain Ketch. Ketch made short Captain work Luke. of overpowering the crew, stealing the treasure, and sinking the Spanish ship. Where's the Eagle Stone now? Nobody knows for sure. Ketch retired from piracy and bought an island in the Caribbean. Why not? Sure.
What do I do when I find the stones? Bring them here to me and I shall prepare you. The stones must be taken to the heart of the pyramid. Only there can they be used to seal the gate by which Tezcatlipoca will return to this world. Okay. You're gonna go, no worries Ironfield, so nice to meet you. Have a brilliant day my friend. Hopefully we'll get to see you around sometime soon. Bye! I know, that's what I thought too, Luke. I'm like, I want to know what it is. <laughs> oh Can dear. you show me the way to the Pyramid of Tezcatlipoca? Not until you possess all three stones. Okay. Now do I get the route? Here, take it. Make haste Finally. if you wish to save the girl's life. The hummingbird sings to me of death to come. Now you're talking in riddles again. Listen, is it okay if I crash here? I've got no chance of finding my way through the jungle in the dark. You're welcome, but you probably won't get much sleep. Tonight's the night of the monkey dance. Of course it is. Oh, that sounds so good, Owl. Yum. Delish. Okay, does that mean I that George... I left the village at dawn and stumbled back through the jungle in a post-party daze. It was just like sneaking back to my parents' house when I was younger. Except Oakland didn't have monkeys or parrots. Hopefully he didn't, uh, get any children out of it. Okay, let's go to the treehouse. That's what I mean, Zodrak. I'm like, ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Mate! Nico does not look good, mate. Are you, are you finished? Hello. I've we got, got the, the route, route, Hubert. What are you waiting for? Give it to the gal. Right. The shaman thinks you should go visit your kids. So, he told you. Uh-huh. Look, Hubert, having a, well, an extended family is nothing but to be she ashamed just of. She? If I was you, I'd be ashamed <laughs> like, yeah, of not being there for that. I don't want to do this. It's that damned monkey dance that led me astray. Yeah. A uh, sight like that must be difficult to forget. Oh, dear. Okay, so, Nico, I have this random root that you need to eat. I know, right? <laughs> He's so cool. Nico, I brought you this root. I brought you this oh. root. No way was she going to be able to chew the root. I needed to give her the needed... antidote in a more digestible form. Okay. So, maybe we can squish it with the press? Hey, after favor, hello. Okay, so if we put the root through the press, oh yeah, okay, pick up the cross. And then use the cross with the press. The juice from the root was soaking into the ground. Oh no! Um, okay. Can we use the chimney cone to catch the juice? The cone was <laughs> ideal as a makeshift okay. container. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank goodness he stopped. That would have been awful. Hand feed uh, the root. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, now use that. Whew, thank goodness he stopped. As the liquid was squeezed from the root, it collected in the cone. Lucky. It has the juice. It's the root juice. Okay, we'll pick up the cone. And now let's go back into the treehouse and see if we can save Nico. Hopefully she can like drink it. Oh wait, no, no, no. Pick up the cone, you nincompoop. Pick up the cone. Take it with you. Why are you leaving it there? Pick up the cone.
What is wrong with him? Why are you putting it back down? Oh, Smiler, hello, how are you? The juice comes out, yes. <laughs> I don't understand why I can't pick up the cone. Seriously. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Oh, we've got the cone. We've got the cone. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Look, Hubert. The antidote. The what antidote. What are you waiting for? Get it to go. He's got Quickly. a point. Hurry up! I love his treehouse. It's so cool. Miko. Like, it's so cool. Here, drink this. Suck it up, princess. Oh, George, it's horrible. Just swallow it down. I don't care. Quit your, quit your complaining. Okay, try and rest now, darling. You'll need all your strength when we go after the other two stones. Other stones? What other stones? What have you gotten me into now, Josh Tobart? Well, the patient is sounding point. more like her old self already. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. After flying across the Caribbean Sea, Nico she seems recovered fine. quickly from her fever. To save time, we decided to split up and look for each stone independently. I okay. traced the pirate catch to a remote island in the Caribbean. With the fortune he'd amassed from piracy, he'd retired to a place that was later called Catch's Landing. Cool. <laughs> totally vibe, yes. All right, guys, uh, before we go any further today, I think I am going to leave it here. PG friendly voodoo spells. <laughs> um, we're just going to save it and uh, we're going to finish up for the day, I think. Can everyone hear the audio now? <clears throat> I'm the poorest famous person ever. <laughs> I feel I feel like that. I feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Isn't that annoying? You know, you, hopefully, hopefully one day you'll be paid a squillion dollars. It won't matter. It's so great though. Congratulations. <laughs> um, okay, we are back. Let's, <clears throat> yes. We are back and um, we're talking to this fine man here. I'm still not quite sure why we're on this beach. I didn't quite get that far. They want to hear about diversity, autism, creating book for learning impaired. That's so cool. It's really interesting. I think that's epic. What a great thing. Yeah, so cool. Hello, Mr. Man. Hello. Hi. Is this Ketch's Landing? Yeah, Catch that's right. Ketchup Landing. My name's George Stobart. You're a surveyor, right? Mr. Bronson. And of course I'm a surveyor. Why the hell else would I have a theodolite? Well, I don't know. Hobby, maybe? Yeah, right. Frankie. What brings you here, anyway? I'm searching for an ancient you, Mayan artifact. What is it? Some kind of jewel? No, it's obsidian. A black stone with supposedly oh, mystic powers. Oh, that's right. You're nuts. So what we're doing now is we're trying to find the next stone. That's what happened. So the medicine man sent us on a quest to go find the other stones. So that is what we are doing right now. Uh, tell me about this thing. This is similar to the stone I'm looking for. What makes you think you'll find it here? Because when the stones were stolen in the 17th century... Hold it! The stones have been lost for 300 years? Approximately. Mm. And you're hoping to find them again? You're yes. nuts. And why here? A wise old Indian shaman told me he saw the stones in a vision. <laughs> ha ha. That's rich. Listen, I got work to do, okay? Catch you later, Look, Bronson. I'm, I'm not into his negativity right now. He's a bit negative, okay? We're going to work through your negativity, Bronson, and um, hopefully it will give you a bit more positivity. Let's have a look at your plans, mate. 
I just had to sneak a look at those plans. Snooky, snooky. He showed up and have all the buttons pot up, pop off to hey, show his abs and everyone will just hand him everything he wants. <laughs> you know, wherever I go, I, I hear those words. Paris, Syria, Ireland or Spain. Makes no difference. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I was trying to show some interest in your project. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, shall we go for an explore? There's a net there. Let's go have a look at the net because he's sassing us. He's sassing us. I know, yeah. I didn't want a fishing la. net. Oh, well why not? Where's your sense of imagination, George? Think of the things that you could do with that net. Oh, there's a little man there. Hello, little man. You have a little boat. It's a little man with a little boat. Oh, he's a boy. That would make sense why he's a little man. <coughs> you want to buy some fish? Nah, nah, I don't like fish. What's your name? Rio. It means river. What That's about nice. you? George. It means... <coughs> George. Uh, well, it, it's just a name. <laughs> Tell me about this is fancy man. Is it true man. that Captain Ketch lived around here? That's right. <laughs> You're right, AC. There That's is his house up a, on the hill. A dodgy it's a museum deal. now. Yeah? That's exactly mm. what I need. Thanks, kid. You won't get inside, you know. Oh, the no old leaders guy. close it down. <laughs> I know. What is wrong with that guy? No pizza. <laughs> what do you know about Captain Ketch? Just what everybody knows around here. He was a pirate and get himself hung. Oh dear, poor guy. Luke, you better not come to this island, mate. You'd be in trouble. No school today? No, sir. What about your education? I can fish, sail, and swim. I've been looking after myself since I was six, and I'm bilingual. Aren't you a Ooh, little uh? overqualified for a beach bum? Well, you know, there's a lot of competition. <laughs> Who are these old ladies you mentioned? Miss Frost and Miss Mina Ketch. How come the old ladies closed the museum? It's Bronson's doing. He have the plans for redeveloping the museum. They quite regret it, you know. The man's a crook. Ooh. Pizza guy deserves a medal. He sure does. He sure does, Mads. Sundays are totally pick on pirate day. <laughs> Not a, a swinging pirate. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm going, mm, I don't know. I don't know Will about Luke's personal life. I don't want to go nowhere near that man. He promised to draw me when he found the fish I left in his sleeping bag. <laughs> Do you know anything about pirate treasure? Man, that's all stories. There's no such thing as a real pirate treasure. Mm-mm. Okay. And what about I you didn't both? know the first thing about sailing a dinghy. Oh. Well, George, it's time to learn. My guy must use a lot of hair gel. I think he might be right, Mads. He surely does. What do I do with this? Can I poke it? No, no, I want to poke this. The three of the light. Let's see if we can use it. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, we can see things. That's cool. He hasn't heard of the big whoop. <laughs> uh, can we look at these plans while he's looking at his Theo Delight? Theo Delight. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're just going to wait for him to get distracted. Waiting. Waiting. It's the Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis puzzle. Is it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's have I just now. had to sneak a look at those plans. Quick. Oh, you're too slow. Oh, hey. you did it. Get out of there. Okay. I mean, he did look at something. Okay, bye. Let's go upstairs and see what there is to see. I wouldn't mind having a look at this museum. Just to see what we can see. Maybe we find some clues. Oh, the cat's so cute. Hi, puss. Want to play? Meow. Would you like a, a dog biscuit? Hey, cat. Watch where you're putting those claws. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, we don't have any biscuits anymore. Do you want a worm? <clears throat> I worm you. The cat looked at me as if to say, why have you brought a dead worm halfway around the world? I had I no mean, answer. I mean, it's a fair question. 
It's a fair question. I wonder if we can turn his walking speed up. Hang on. Ah, uh, more. No, back. Uh, screen. Maybe in screen resolution. No. No. That's upsetting, isn't it? Oh well. Oh, there's a ladder. Grab it. Ooh. The ladder Lattery. extended easily. Very good. Has the first Hogwarts video made it to 10K? I don't think so. I'm not getting it. When was this decided? I don't think that's the proper thing, Luke. Nah, -uh. I think you just made that up, mate. I mean, we're at 7.6, so we got a little way to go. Thank gosh. When did that happen? Did I agree to this? The ladder extended easily. I'm waiting for the infomercial on why I need a ladder to play. <laughs> <laughs> the window was locked. Okay, let's talk to the old biddies over here, shall we? So these are the old ladies that the little boy talked about. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Hello, George. Good afternoon, Mr. Stobart. Would you care for tea? <laughs> no, thank you, ma'am. I don't like tea. Dunk on tea. What do you mean you don't like tea? What's wrong with you? What? I, oh my gosh, George. I think so much less of you now. I don't think George and I can be friends anymore. <laughs> is that your cat? It's yes, upsetting. it is. That's I know. Rudders. Do you like hey, cats, sneakers. Mr. Strobalt? Yes. Yes, we like cats, yes? Yes. You bet. Especially spit roast. That was not appropriate, George. <sighs> can you tell me anything about Captain Ketch? More than you can tell me about your great-great-great-great-grandfather, no doubt. You're his descendants? Certainly. Captain Ketch was born in Dorset, England, in the reign of King Henry VIII. His family were undistinguished farmers, oh. but young Frederick Ketch decided to go to sea. We have plenty of seamen in our family, Mr. Stobart. <laughs> Are you interested in history, Mr. Stobart? <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Uh, doesn't like cats, definitely a villain, but all villains love cats. Like, villains always have cats, don't they? Isn't that a villainous thing, is the cat? I, I would have thought that villains don't like dogs because they're always into cats. Yeah, yes, sorry, I am. what was the question? <laughs> you were telling me about Captain Catch. <laughs> you go on. Oh, yes. He sailed under Hawkins. Jim Hawkins. Hawkins? John Hawkins. Oh. One of the oh. great traders of the Elizabethan age. In 1568, Frederick Catch was a young man serving aboard the Jesus. Hawkins' Ooh. flagship, they sailed My. from England to Africa and across the wide Atlantic to these islands. Ketch was never to see the shores of England again. Dr. Claw doesn't inspect a gadget, and yeah, Team Rocket have Meowleth, and the, the guy in um, Austin Powers, he has a cat, doesn't he? Was it that guy? Who's the guy that sits there going, yes, we'll get, oh no, that's the gadget one. We'll get you next time, Gadget. Can go either way, but cat haters are all villains. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Tell How me. How Catch never made it home? Because the Spaniards sank the Jesus in an act of treachery. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's kind of blasphemous. You too. said Hawkins' fleet traded between Africa and the Indies. What was it they were trading? Black men with no shirt. You have oh, to understand, important Mr. Point, Stobart, apparently. that this was the 16th century. But that doesn't alter the <laughs> fact that Hawkins and Ketch were slavers and pirates. Would it surprise you to learn that Hawkins was also a devoutly religious man? Well, he transported like slaves in a sorry. ship named after Jesus Christ. In my book, that makes him a hypocrite. Yeah, it's a little bit baffling, to be honest, a little bit baffling. Team Rocket, best part about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hey Oilers, hello. Guys, uh, Oilers was the, the one that I did the co-stream with on Friday. Have you recovered from Friday, Oilers? <laughs> it was a lot of fun, it was great. <laughs> Description of slavery I've ever heard. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> hey Dave, hello, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for the shout out to Oilers, guys, I appreciate that. How's your weekend been? What happened to Ketch? Was he killed? Oh no, he got away and returned to this <laughs> island. 
to this very house, the oh. Frederick Ketch Memorial Museum. Wow, he's lucky he got a museum after all of that naughtiness. Is it true Frederick Ketch was a pirate? Frederick Ketch was emphatically not a pirate. They hanged him, you know, down there on the beach in front of his family. Didn't bother Aww. with the trial, just whipped him out from his breakfast table and hoisted him up in chains. Oh dear, that's dramatic. Galaxy Con. Oh, that's so cool, Dave. That sounds like so much fun. You put up with sunshine that long. <laughs> He's got no choice. Mm -hmm. He's got no choice. We're, we're family. What do you do? What do you do? That's right. I was, I was the first on Friday. I was the first biggest American truck streamer. <laughs> Particularly after that Well, raid. if he wasn't a pirate, what did they <laughs> hang him for? Envy. Pure green-eyed envy. He had been a successful privateer, you see, and had accumulated great wealth. As rich as a mink in a paddock. Shut up, Mina. Yes, Frost. Mm. The small-minded governor and his lackeys wanted his money. Trumped up some mm. ridiculous charge about breaking the conditions of his letter of mark. And hanged him like a common thief. Oh, the blackguards! Goodness gracious. It was where I met the voice of Mario a few years ago. That's so cool, Dave. Paid up fronts. <laughs> so I had to see out the stream. <laughs> oh dear. I know. I will. I'll put it on my resume. It's gonna happen sometime. Fall Letter the of Mark? The document that permitted him to engage and destroy the enemies of the crown. The difference between a lawful privateer and a pirate. Oh! Sorry, Frost. Well, why didn't Ketch just <laughs> say, like take it. a hike, guys, funny. I've got a pirating license. Frederick Ketch was not a pirate. But he did show them his letter of Mark. But they destroyed it and hanged him anyway. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I've been talking to Rio, the little fisher boy. I'll thank you not to mention that little wretch in my presence. Aww. Dirty little whelk. Nasty fishy boy. That That's will not do, nice. Mina. Mina? I gather you don't have much time for the little boy. That child is a delinquent, Mr. Stobart. Oh yeah. dear. Well, he's only, what, 11, maybe? A knave with one hand on the top. <laughs> you know the the rhyme, the queen of what is it about real that you don't stuff. like, Miss Frost? Well, I'm good, Dave. I'm really time, good. He and Emily. Be quiet Emily? this instant, Mina. Who's Emily? Um, yeah, I'm doing really well, Dave. I had a good weekend. I spent most of the weekend looking at houses to live in and uh, the sights are dire, to be perfectly honest. It's uh, a bit sad, really. What can you tell me about <laughs> Emily? Emily? What business can she be of yours? Her parents know, you were just killed mentioned in it. a typhoon. We, as her only living relatives, took it upon ourselves to raise the child. That's good Aww. to know Charity isn't dead. Oh, but she is. Washed overboard in the typhoon. Mr. Stobart wasn't talking about Emily's mother. He was being sarcastic. No. <laughs> oh, it was not fun. It was def. Well, it was fine. It's just I went to a lot of openings that were pretty bad. Like the houses were not great. Um, but then I went and watched the new Avatar, which was pretty fun, at IMAX. And I haven't been to IMAX since I was really little, like maybe eight, I reckon. And it was so good. It was so good. Look, the story itself was not great, but I really want a pet whale now. I really want a pet whale that I can be friends with. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, um, I like how they make the relationships between the people and the animals. Like that to me is really cool. I'm like, that's what I would like, please. <laughs> Yes, that's right, 105 years ago. Correct, Luke, yes. We'll do art for shelter signs that need to be painted soon. It's true, it's true, Luke. I'll just, I'll just come over to Tassie and bunk with you. 
Well, come on, you sit on your couch. You weren't invited exactly. Sad. <laughs> no, I went with a mate of mine. It was really nice. I haven't seen her in ages, so it was lovely. Happy Feet at IMAX. Oh my gosh, that would have been amazing, actually. I think Happy Feet at IMAX would have been great. Like, I can see how IMAX would be fantastic. Like, I haven't seen anything 3D even for a really long time because my eyes are really sensitive to light. And um, the way that the IMAX does things with my eyeballs gives me a really bad headache. So, I mean, it was great, but also I left going, ow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> are you looking for houses only in your old area uh no ma basically in this area where i am now while i don't like it i also don't want to carry my stuff very far because i i'm hoping not to be at this new place for not very long and if i do a big move oh, it'll be later you know like when i actually buy a house hopefully Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I loved Happy Feet too. It was really cute. <laughs> what else can you tell me about Emily? How dare you pry into our family in this way? Yeah. I refuse to answer any more of your impertinent questions. Oh, rude. Um, yeah, it's so bad. Like, houses that I would have said you might have paid $300 a week for a year ago. I'm looking at, and they're $550. Like, I'm paying $550 for the place I'm in at the moment here, and it's so big and it's so nice compared to all the houses that I've looked at. I've had to go to $600 a week just to get something that's a little bit clean and for the size that I need. Like, I'm not even looking for anything with a studio. I'm just looking for a normal bedroom to use as a studio. Um, it's crazy. Anyway, let's go talk to the boy again, shall we? It's the glasses. A lot of people have that problem. Oh, well, I wear um, I wear glasses when I'm looking at the computer. Usually, when I'm working, uh, because it's got like special light refraction things, and it helps my head a lot. Um, I reckon if I was wearing these yesterday, it wouldn't have been so bad. But anyway, that's fine. It was still really interesting. I enjoyed the three day aspect of it. I think because I haven't seen it in such a long time, you know? Rio! Tell us about this Emily Tell me girl. about your friend Emily. Why are you so interested in Emily Ketch? Emily Ketch? A descendant of Captain Ketch the pirate? Yeah. Ooh. Well, it doesn't bother you. Why should it? We don't responsible for our ancestors. Mm. He's got a point. He has got a point. Well, let's go back up again and talk, see if we can talk to the ladies again. And I want to go into that museum. Gosh darn it. Hmm. I mean, I feel like George didn't really ask about Emily there at all, but you know, that's fine. There was nothing else I wanted to ask the sisters. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go inside. It no? was locked. Ah. Do you have the a key? The house is closed. How but come? It is undergoing refurbishment. <laughs> refurbishment? George is in a Where 90s the workman? rom <laughs> Preparation is half the work, young man. The intention Funny. is to prepare the museum for the new century. The That's Frederick dumb. Kitch Memorial Museum. <laughs> it would look nice in neon. A museum for a pirate? There was a stony silence. I have already told you, sir, he was not a pirate. It's precisely the sort of vile misrepresentation that Mr. Bronson is seeking to rebalance. Oh? How? Mr. Bronson has kindly agreed to undertake the museum's refurbishment at a very reasonable price. He understands the importance of a sense of history. Funny. Mm. That's not the impression I got of Bronson at all. He also yeah, understands <laughs> spherical geometry. Mina. Well, he does. Listen, ma'am, I came a long way to visit this place. If we make an exception in your case, every 
everyone will want to get in. Pardon me, but I didn't exactly have to fight my way through the crowd. <laughs> He's You're got a point. the second visitor we've had today. No, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. Hey, princess, hello. Um, what am I saying? Uh, Oilers, I just use the LifeX globes, so you can get them at Bunnings. I think they're like 60 bucks or something. You just plug it into your normal um, light slot thing and you download an app and you can do whatever colors you want. It's really cool, really, really handy. Uh, so I mostly use the blue, but sometimes it's purple and sometimes it, I can make it any color, really. You'll love it, you'll love it, yeah. That'd be perfect for that room, actually. Some pics on the con. Um, it's a good question. Hmm. Uh, um, let me have a little look. Let me just have a little look. Um, maybe. Maybe put it in costumes and cosplay because it's a con. Does that make sense? Does that sound like a thing that... Just put it in there. There's not much that happens in there anyway, Dave. Like normal house colour. You can also do that, yeah. Yeah, you can make it normal colours. Yeah. Or daylight or whatever. So if you wanted to change the colours to film with, you can do that too. They're really good. Really, really good. Worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, there we go, Luke. Thank you. <laughs> Strip in your room, color controlled through the app called Nanoleaf. It's very similar to that, yeah. Okay. Um, what were we doing? I want to get rid of them. Go away. Who broke the sword, sunshine? Well, we're not quite sure yet, Peter. How are you, mate? Did anything happen there? No. Uh-oh. Oh, You're really fond of that cat, cat aren't you? He is our companion and our solace. I thought about catnapping huh. a little monster until they let me in, but it wasn't my style. Maybe there was some other way I could use their affection for the cat to get me into the house. Maybe... Maybe we can okay. pick up the ball. It was time for diversionary tactics. I thought I okay. saw a little girl down on the beach. You must be mistaken. He must be mistaken. Mustn't he, Frost? I'm sure I'm not. A little girl and that young fisher boy. What? Oh, it's not possible. on the heartstrings. What were they doing? Are oh, the kinds of things that all little boys and girls get up to at their age? When I was a little girl, we used to play cows and milkmaids. Well, oh, but I do my. with your mind to us, Mr. Stobart. <laughs> that sounds Can saucy. <laughs> oh dear, all kinds of things. You have a cold. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Here they go. Quick, George! Into the house, With George! With a creak of ancient corsetry, the sisters sailed majestically over the distant <laughs> horizon. <laughs> yeah, I hope you feel better soon, mate. Quick, 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 George! He's not good at quick. <laughs> I love him, but he's not quick. It was locked. Oh, um, maybe let's try and climb the ladder? Can we Go up the ladder, perhaps, per chance, maybe. Okay, can we get? I flag didn't pole? have a flag on me, so the flagpole would have to stay bare. Mm. Just open my the window. Lock. I'd struck out again. The windows were all locked. Ah, oh, dang it! What's that? little red doodad on the end. I couldn't reach the flagpole, and a bush stopped me from moving the ladder across. Rude. Rude! Hmm. All right, then. Down we go. No joy here. People were very bored back then. <laughs> okay, let, can we steal the ball from the cat? I wasn't going to risk further laceration by the cat's claws. Okay, we can't go around. All right, we'll go back down then, I suppose. Oh, there's a tree. I couldn't what think of any that? reason to climb the tree. You're not using your imagination, George. Burn the bush. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, let's talk to the kid again. I feel like he might have been accosted by the old ladies. Steal the cat, it's the only way. Break the windows with your fists! <clears throat> Hello! Give me Can a you fish. Let me have a fish, kid? I thought you said you don't like fish. It's but not for me. It's a present. For the old ladies? Well, it makes a change from flowers and candy. <laughs> no, it's for the cat. That's right, okay. lads. Okay. <laughs> what do I get out of it? I can pay you. I've got Quaramontian dollars, French francs, and traveler's checks. You must be Ooh. joking. The nearest bank is three islands away. Um, <laughs> I've got these panties. <laughs> Will you give me a fish if I give you these, these, uh, real... <laughs> Are these ugly, tasteless nylon panties worth a fish? Oh no, my man. gosh. <laughs> I can't believe he asked that. <laughs> Anyone's about broken fists from breaking the windows can I always try and say we're in the war. That's true. That's, that's true. I will definitely check it out later, Dave. give me a fish days. if I give you this um, crayon? You can do <laughs> some great pictures with this. Crayon? That's the Rapouche number 24 lipstick. New this season. How the heck does he know you that? You know a lot about it. You'd be amazed how many fashion photo shoots we get round here. <laughs> Do you want it? No, man. These supermodels are always giving me this kind of thing for my sister. Oh, that's nice, though. Oh, the worm! That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Have I played Broken Sword 1? Yes, we have, Dan. It was really good. I really enjoyed Broken Sword 1. That's why we're playing Broken Sword 2. Um, I, love, I love George and Nico. They're so funny. <laughs> Yeah, have Is a worm. Is this worm worth a fish? Could be good beat. How did it die? I think it drowned Super in tequila. Models. Just like my <laughs> Uncle Gabriel. Yeah, I'll have that. Okay. That for okay, a fish. Okay, I'll get you a fish. It might take a while, though. Give me a fish, Rio. Give me a fish. Here he goes. He's fishing. He's fishing. He's pretty shallow. Do 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 Should we just walk up and back? And then it's like a little while, yeah? Yeah, well done guys. That was a great suggestion. Do 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 Alright, we're back, Rio! Have you got me some fish? Fish me! How come the old ladies the old ladies? It's Branson's doing. He have the plans for redeveloping the museum. Oh, I know all about Mr. Bronson's plans. Such a turd. All right, well, maybe we'll go talk to Mr. Bronson. I want to get into that. I want to get into the house. Give me the house. What a collie snapper. A wiggle waggle. A snickle snackle. Bronson, you're a snorky walkie. Uh, no, that one unfortunately didn't get updated to YouTube. I did find the, the VOD for it today though. Um, as I was cleaning up my computer, I found a heap of VODs that I hadn't thought I had. So I might go through it and, um, and see whether I've got all the, all the parts to it. And if so, then I'll put it up in the next few days. What do you think of Rio? Fish boy? Yeah, it does. If he comes near me again. <laughs> I'll throttle the little squirt. Calm down. Oh What's he dear. ever done to you? Sock me in the back of my skull with some kind of fish, that's what. <laughs> Tell me about the two old ladies. Who? The Catch Sisters. One of them's crazy as a coot, and the other will turn you to stone if you're not careful. Ooh. Did you see the sisters go by? The witches. Yeah, they wanted to string that fisher brat up. Of course, uh, I told them where to find him. A fink, as well as a creep. Nice. But he'd managed to vanish somehow. Oh dear. What are you doing so with weird. the Theodolite? Surveying the old house. I got great plans for this place. Oh yeah? You bet. Mm -hmm. Take a look around. What do you see? Paradise. I see opportunity. This place is ripe for development. I like it just the way it is. And that's where we mm. differ. You see, Mr. Stobart, I'm what you might call a man of vision. I see a great Aww. future for Ketch's Landing, and it all starts here, with that house. Excuse me, Gurgles. 
Okay. Can I tell me about your plan? No way. What interest would they be to you, anyhow? I've always had a secret desire to be a surveyor. You have? Sure. That's I mean, a weird you desire, man. You're just like the great <laughs> explorers, aren't you? Henry the Navigator, Vasco da Gama, Chris Columbus. Maybe you I don't sail uncharted seas or discover new continents, but you're okay in my book. Horse ah, shit. thanks, George. You just stay away from those plans, you hear? He's so rude, so negative. Bronson, you're just so negative. How do you survey a house like that? I put a target reflector on the end of one of the flagpoles up there on the uh. house. I sight on it from various locations through the theodolite, record the angles along the baseline, and triangulate them to give me the exact position of the target. Understand? Why the end of the flagpole? Mm. Wouldn't it have been better on a corner of a wall or something? Are you a surveyor? Mm. Uh, no, my degree's in law. Then shut up. Catch you later, Bronson. Ooh. Bye, Bronson. Okay, so maybe we have to move that dot so it messes up his plans, perhaps? Ooh. I don't know about you, George, but I've got thoughts. <laughs> We've got thoughts, George. Talk to Rio. Give us a fish, Rio. Did you, you see done? the weird sisters come by here? Did I? They look I think than so, usual, so I hide until they're gone by. Just as well. They thought you were playing with Emily. Boy, were they steamed. Emily? You're madder than them. <laughs> Maybe. I think Bronson <laughs> is trying to cheat those sweet, vulnerable old ladies. That's a little unfair, isn't it? Okay. He's trying to cheat those seriously demented, poisonous old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you have to admire his acumen. <laughs> no luck with the fish? No, man. They don't want bite. That's cause they know there's a storm brewing. How? Storm? I don't think so. Magic fish. Hey! I got a bite! You have? <gasps> Ooh! It's a big one! A real big one! Really? Oh, come Rio. on! Come Jeez. on, Rio! It must be a whale or something. We're we're counting on you right now. Give us a oh. It's a unicycle, is it? A unicycle? Rustiest whale I ever see. Huh. I still need a fish, Rio. Okay, make me try again. Maybe you better change your bait. Well, let's pick up the. The only serviceable then, part of the bicycle's wreck <laughs> was a rubber inner tube. You just never know when you can need <laughs> stuff like that. Aha! We got a fish! Very good, Rio. Well Here's done. A fish, my man. I can't put it in my pocket while it's flapping about like that. Whack no it with problem. something. Oh no, he totally did just whack it. <laughs> Might be useful, like for breaking windows. Clown is coming back, maybe. So we have a fish, which I guess we will use on the cat. Um and then we'll work out what we're doing with the rubber tube from the bike. All right, cat. I have a fush. We be friends now? Friend! Okay, cat. You don't deserve this, but here's a little fish. It's true. He's a bit of a, a poo-poo head. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. The little monster ate, ate the quick. fish, but never strayed far from the ball. What a snork. So do we now need another fish? Because I feel like we're going to have to put the, po the ball on the flagpole so we can stuff up his surveying. Mmm, smart. Clown is likely coming back. No, not the clown. The clown's terrifying. Love the Broken Sword series. Prefer the first one, though. Yeah, I think I prefer the first one too, New World. Um, but I'm still enjoying this one. You know, the Templars was a really fun story, though. Um, like, there was it was fun else going around Paris. Because I'd been, I've been to Paris. And um, all the places that he went. I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember that. I saw that. Like, it's very cool. Good night, Circle. Sleep well, pal. There's a fish, my man. Thanks, mate. Thanks for giving me another one. Okay, let's go.
Here we go. Let's see if we can get that ball now, yeah? He's gonna fish out that whole ocean. I'm gonna fish out that whole ocean, mate. So the question is, do we give the fish to the cat? Or, like there's also a red thing on the rubber doodad. I don't know. Hmm. We need to tempt the cat away from his ball. So, I wonder... Yeah, no worries, Dave. I totally understand. Can you tie the rubber to the fish? That's a good idea. It's a good idea. Can I'd better think this through. Maybe tie the rubber. Oh. Can we use the rubber with the fish? I don't think so. No? Okay, well, maybe we have to... If we climb up here, we'll climb up the ladder, up the ladder, George. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll put, if we put the rubber on the pole, George, George, come on, on the flagpole. Good job, George. Ah, perfect. Okay. And then we put the fish on the two. I need to do that from the ground. We'll go downstairs. <laughs> you nincompoop. Proud of you, George. <laughs> okay. All right. And we put the fish on the tube. Did that? No, no. Come here. George, what are you doing, you nincompoop? inner tube, put the fish on the inner tube. What are you doing, you nincompoop? I don't think he understands the assignment. Put the fish on the inner tube. There we go. He's got it. He's that got it. That should get the old cat dancing. I just hoped it didn't give itself a cardiac. <laughs> Excellent. Meow, meow. Let's get the ball. And then maybe we'll put the ball on the flagpole. Do we suppose? And we'll go the fish to the cat. If we just untie the untie the thingo. Let's I untie the I didn't have flagpole. a flag on me, so the flagpole would have to stay bare. Wait, maybe I can just stick it over the top. Ball Not on the flagpole. That's such a good idea. Oh. Fine, okay. Um, let's. Aha! Super, thank you. And, oh, that's nice of you, George. Excellent. Throw the ball at the camera. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put the ball on that's the flagpole. That's such a good idea. Why not? Stick it on. That was no good. Okay, what about if we put this over here? Nah, I didn't have the throwing strength to knock the marker off. Hmm. Um. Doggo. Okay, well, let's just think about this. So come back down, George. Let's just see what things we can interact with, okay? Panties on the flagpole. <laughs> I like your thinking, Mads. So we can also interact with the tree. So it's like we, I mean, that's a good idea. New World, perhaps we can put the inner tube on the tree. Yes, excellent. And then maybe we can put the ball in the inner tube. I put the ball in the catapult. And then... Took aim. Yes! Ah! Okay. See, I actually thought so he was, was going to turn shot, around not the and target. knock the camera off. off the but end anyway. Of the Woo! Good job, George. 
Bork, bork. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I know, Hi, right, Bronson. Peter? Nice to see you too. You again. Have you been screwing around with my theodolite target? Where is it? Not. I had to climb out of the window to put that one on. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go through all that again. Not this time. The house is locked up and the sisters aren't here. Hell's teeth! I'll have to put the spare target on the other flagpole. A whole Whoa. morning's work wasted. I'm gonna what? fix all this and then I'm gonna fix you, you hear? Yeah? Oh, he's not Fine. very nice. I'll be waiting. He's not nice. Hmm. What a snork. Can we take the letter away? <laughs> what you doing, Bronson? Just hanging around? Oh, I'm gonna kill you for this, Stobart! Get me down from yes, here! Yes! What, so that's you can right. kill me? Gee, you talked me out of it, Bronson. I felt a little guilty about leaving Bronson up there. Nah, he's but a not jerk. Much, obviously. It's not that much of a fault either, to be honest. He'll be fine. The marker was a bright, shiny thing, and I have a weakness for bright, shiny things. He's like a crow. Alright, let's go get the plans, boy. It wasn't going to be much use without the theodolite, though. Okay, we'll go, we'll, we'll go down and get that, shall we? Come, let's do it. Okay. Fish on his feet, the cat can claw him to death. <laughs> I, like your, I like the way you think, New World. I like the way you think, mate. Chooka chooka chunk. Good job, George. Fit it in your pants. <laughs> George, what is that bulge? <laughs> With Bronson out of the way, I could finally get a clear look at the plans. Engineer's Fit drawings it. didn't mean much to me. But one thing was clear. These plans were for a five-story, 200-roomed, luxury, pirate-themed hotel. Another pirate stone on the bedspread of paradise. That sounds actually amazing. That actually sounds amazing. All right, well, let's see if we can find the old ladies and give them the plans so they can see what what's his name was up to. Branston, Bronson, Frankston. Ah, here they are. You know. <laughs> Why is Mr. Bronson hanging from that flag? They're just like, oh, and he okay. climbed up there of his own accord. Then help him, you stupid man. Quickly, no. before he falls. I don't think I will. Here, you won't want to help him soon, too. <laughs> Hi. Could I ask... Never mind that. Help poor Mr. Bronson. Mm, no. Oh, okay, so they won't talk to me until I help him. All right, then, I suppose. Ay, ay, ay. Get me down. What's the magic word? Please. Oh, bad luck. I was thinking of Alakazam. <laughs> I've got your plans, Bronson. I know about the hotel. So what? Whoa. This is between me and the dames. <laughs> Those sweet old ladies trusted you. This isn't what they wanted. Oh, people like them ladies. don't know what they want. Instead of wasting their money on this mausoleum, I can turn it to profit. But you should have discussed it with them first. That's fair. If I was to let you down, will you promise to come clean about your plan? Sure I will. And you'll come to a tasteful compromise with Miss Frost and Miss Mina? Taste? What's mm -hmm. taste got to do with architecture? Oh, dear. You'll have to stay where you are until you see sense. You oh dear. rat. Catch you later, Bro. Bronson. <laughs> Bye. Let's try giving the old ladies the plans again now. Now that we've talked to Bronson and tried to help him, but he just... Hi. Could just I ask... Me. Never mind that. Help poor Mr. Bronson. I don't wanna. <laughs> He's a snork and I don't like him. Can I just talk Hi. to them? Could I ask? Never mind that. Help poor Mr. Bronson. I don't wanna. 
Will he really not run? That's the question. That's the question. It was locked. Um, do we talk Zoom to him man. again? What? Okay, I know. Whatever. Let's you know, talk to Brunson again. hanging from flagpoles suits you. Get me down! <laughs> Not until the old ladies have heard exactly what you had planned. Dollars I have no more welcome. to talk to him about. Oh, that's the bank statement, not the doll. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, what a nincompoop I am. Thank you very much, Dollars Quest. I appreciate your face. <laughs> Here, Bronson's plans. Ooh, no, 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 no. This means nothing to me. She's not wearing oh. her reading glasses. Ah, oh, wait. Yes, I see now. I can see, I see it all too now. clearly. The that man is planning wrong. to build a huge hotel. Bronson is a confidence trickster. Mina, we it have been duped. And you have. now we didn't sign his contract. Oh, yes, and you are. Tricksters. Not tricksters. Especially <laughs> confident ones. Come, Mina. <laughs> Me too. You dastardly fiend! You may consider yourself persona non grata. Yes! Carve canum! Kindly disentangle yourself from our flagpole and eject yourself from our property this very minute. Just let go! Disentangle! <laughs> Eject! Hey, cut that out, you crazy old bat! <gasps> Rude! Mina isn't crazy, she's just engaging Engagingly eccentric! Yeah, I love bug. that description! <laughs> Oh, I'm not crazy, I'm engagingly eccentric. I'd be eccentric. really grateful if you could let me into the museum now. Certainly, young man. We are most grateful to you for exposing this scoundrel, Mina, the lock. <laughs> engagingly eccentric. Thanks, ladies. Stobart, be a pal. Get these harpies off me. Now, poke him with your Ooh. umbrella. <laughs> poke him harder. Harder. <laughs> Harpies, you know, it's great, it's great. Meanwhile, in London, while George was oh, basking in the sun drenched Caribbean, <laughs> I went to Dunkirk. It was a long shot, but I thought I'd start my search for the Jaguar Stone at the British Museum. Oh, that's right, yes, that's also a place where the Jaguar Stone might be. Good. Why don't they use the cat on him? That's true. <laughs> on her eyes. She's worried about her eye makeup being gross. Oh, I think we're Nico now. We are. That's exciting. We have a telephone. We've got a cabinet. We've got a man. We've got a statue. What about this? This looks like a, a small stone within a cabinet. It was a stone identical in size and style to the Coyote stone. However, this stone bore the image of a jaguar. Very good. <gasps> Ooh la la. Okay. Well, let's talk to the attendant and see what he's got to say. Jaguar. Huh? Can I help you, miss? Jaggy War, what? <laughs> Thanks for following New World. I'm sorry, Peter, that was not good. I, just, I didn't get it at all. <laughs> oh, dear. Have you ever Thanks heard for being of an one English of us now, captain friend. called El Draco? El Draco? El Draco. Not a very English name. I think that's what the Spanish would have called him. It was about the time of the conquistadors. 16th I like that century. word, conquistador. Oh, I know. That's what the Spanish called Sir Francis Drake. Francis Drake? Yeah. Have you got anything here that belonged to him? Indeed, miss. We have a couple of artifacts he brought back from one of his journeys. Oh, no worries, New World. Thank you. Hopefully, um, we'll see you around, friend. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Nice what to meet you. Can you tell me friends. about that stone with the Jaguar on it? The so called Nikki! Jaguar stone was brought back from the Americas by Sir Francis Drake and presented along with the more famous scrying mirror, to John uh -oh. Dee. What's this scrying mirror? It's a little uh -oh. square of polished obsidian. Mine it is. And uh -oh. what does it do? Well, it's a bit like a crystal ball, except flat and black. You can't see anything in it. 
Old man D had a psychic who reckoned he could speak to the angels through it. I think oh he was my. taking D for a ride myself. The old loony didn't like the stone, though. Reckoned it was tainted by the devil. Come along, miss. I'll show you the mirror. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi, Fossil! Hello! John guys, this D's is my friend Ree. Hang on. Given to <laughs> that was my friend Ree, guys. She's a good egg. She's a good egg. She brought me wine. <laughs> She's the best egg, obviously. <laughs> wine! Woo! She's a good egg. Um, what were we doing? Who's this guy? Oh, that's the, that's the archaeologist that we were supposed to meet in Paris. Yada, 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 yada. Bath boiled egg. <laughs> that's right, Mads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How are you, Nikki? How are you doing? Only high quality eggs here. Hey, new world artist. How are you? <laughs> How's things? How's things? I what know. can you tell me about the Jaguar Boiled stone, egg. Professor? It's obsidian from the Chichen You're just Itza quick. Region. You're so quick. Okay, it's obsidian. All right. Uh oh. Professor Oubier, your taxi's here. If you'll excuse me, I have some urgent business to attend to at the docks. There you go, Peter. Take a sip. Very good. <laughs> it's actually very nice rosé. Can you answer me some questions about the Jaguar stone? Certainly, miss. If you Certainly just miss. step this way. I love the characters in this. They're always so different. Like, they're all different. I love that. It's gone. And I some love the style. Of <gasps> it. What? Our just inch? then? How? Stolen it, miss. Never mind. The silent alarm will have been tripped. I'm afraid nobody can leave until our crack security team gets here. How long uh -oh. that take? The Could professor got it. I think it's their tea break. The thief could be miles away by then. Don't you worry about that, miss. Just don't try to leave. It was too much of a coincidence that Oubier showed up and the stone promptly disappeared. I didn't I have agree. time for that crack security team to finish their tea. I had to get after him. That's actually very rude. She's being very rude <laughs> about the English in their tea. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss, but I shall have to ask you to stay. Oh, man. Oh, but surely you don't suspect Rizzi? me of stealing the stone? No, but Rizzi. you will have to make a statement Rizzi, to the mate. police. How are you, Bones? You're a witness. Oh, bugger. Hello, hello, how are you, Bones? Well, let's have a look at these other cabinets, seeing as we're stuck here anyhow. The cabinet was locked. Yes, well, I just wanted to see what was in it. Maybe we can, like, sneak off behind this curtain. These women are very muscular. Let's talk to them, shall we? <laughs> Bonjour. I wonder if you could help me. Oh, hey, because I'm a... <laughs> oh, What's Japanese. so funny? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, that's right, Peter. We stopped to just drink tea. Yes. You're crazy, Bones. Excuse me, miss. Please don't touch the exhibits. And it's just a curtain. What do you mean? Why was it so hot in your room last night, Nikki? I didn't steal the stone. I was nowhere near it. Come on. So who do you suppose did steal it? Him. It must have been Oubillé. Oh, begging your pardon, but he's a man of letters. A professor. So was Mariatti. Go back to sleep, Man of Nikki. letters or not, he's your culprit. <gasps> Don't you think it's suspicious that Oubillé has urgent business at the docks? Not in the mm. slightest, young lady. He's gone to oversee the unloading of cargo, an exhibition of Mayan sculpture on loan from Mexico City. What's Mexico. the name of the ship? The Zibalba Princess. More down by Tower Bridge. Princess. What do you ask? Hmm. Just wondering. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Okay, can we leave now? Please, miss. Dang it! Don't go. Uh. Okay. And some hobby stuff. Ooh, sounds good, Bones. 
So humid. Oh, interesting. Maybe we can call someone. Make a call. Um. Hmm. Well, let's have a little squiz around then. I doubted then. I could sneak this enormous stone out under my jacket. You're not trying hard enough, Nikki. <laughs> I didn't want the mask, although it certainly reminded me of somebody. She's saying George looks like that. That's not very nice. <laughs> She's so wooed. So wooed. I had and have no interest in old pots. Rude. They're not any, not just any old pots, they're fancy old pots, lady. I wanted nothing to do with that statue. It made me nervous somehow. Mm. There was nothing I wanted to do with the statue except find out where he bought his hat. Très chic. Très chic. Oh la la. Mm. The cabinet was locked. That's so annoying. What have we got? We've got our purse. What's in our handbag? Hmm. She sounds guilty. <laughs> she does a little bit. Can we move to a different room or is this the only room that we can enter? Maybe we'll say the girls did it and maybe he'll get distracted. There was nothing else I wanted to ask him just then. Okay, we'll try talking to the girls I again. I doubted the girls would be any help to me. My word. It would probably be less suspicious if I kept away from the empty case. Okay. Hmm. And we don't I need to, make, need a to call. make a call. Okay. And we can't get into that case. I don't know what to do! I'm stuck. And we can't do anything with the curtain. Excuse me, miss. Please don't touch the exhibits. Did that sneeze? That sneezed. Can we whack him with our bag? What was it you wanted? He wouldn't have been interested. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Okay, what about these ladies? Très chic? No? No. I doubted the girls would be any help to me. Well, we must be using this for something. Can we, like, put it behind the curtain? Hmm. Um, we can use this. How do I leave the museum? That's what I want to know. Can find another way out. Okay. We need to find another way out. All right then. Key. Can we take the key? We can. Well, let's steal something else and pass. Can the laughing girls admire it? Look at my fancy bag. That's actually what I was thinking. Um, can we put the key in this lock here? Mm. The key didn't fit this lock. Dang it. Okay, what about this lock over here? We need to get creative. The key unlocked the case. Yeah, very good. Well, take the key and open the cabinet. Okay, now let's talk the case to the guy. Again and took the key. Oh, let's put the key back where we found it and then we'll tell him. I know. I know. I seem very guilty, don't I? So let's put the key back in the cabinet. There was no point in locking the cabinet now the stone was gone. Hmm. Maybe he wants the key? What was it you wanted? 
Look, I found a key. Look at this. The thief left this key in the cabinet. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That makes the theft an inside job, right? Oh dear. In other words, the thief was Professor Oubillet. Well, <gasps> let's leave that for the police to decide, shall we? I better phone them right away. Oh my. Okay, can we leave? Hello? I knew I had nothing to worry about if the police were called. Yes, I'll hold. But I had to catch up with Oubillet. And mm. fast. Alright, let's try and leave now. Now that he's distracted. Someone Please, keeps miss. sneezing. Don't go. Okay. okay. Let's try um, behind the curtain. I mean, the curtain's there for a reason, right? So let's see if we can leave by the curtain. <laughs> let's go. The doors were securely locked. Mm, can we use the key in the lock? The doors were securely locked. No. What about... Mm, is there anything in there? There was nothing very useful in my bag. Just a single hair clip. Mm, well, maybe we could use that hair clip on the door. Because I feel like she's resourceful good. The doors were securely locked. I know. What about using the dagger? Aha! I levered the handle open Smart. with the thin dagger. Smart. Let's go. Bye bye. Huzzah! Meanwhile, back at Catcher's Landing. Yay! We're in the museum! The room had been decorated to resemble the interior of a sailing ship. It was disturbingly Ooh. effective. It's fancy. I like it. Lantern? Holding that lantern, I felt kind of biblical, like Jesus or, or <laughs> Florence Nightingale. Okay. Well, there's something to do with the lantern. Let's have a little look at the, the, the ship pirate ship. The ship too fragile to touch. Um, what's March the, sh oh, the ship's log? 1676. 16. Engaged frigate off Fan Falvador? It was garbage. Huh. I guess being a pirate didn't require too many academic qualifications. The passage went on to describe how Ketch had got wind of the approach of a fleet of English ships. It seemed the new governor had not shared his predecessor's views on Ketch's activities. They were out for his blood. Sailed mm. to that place where I made secure my fortune. I returned safe in the knowledge that the governor shall not discover that which I had hidden. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Hey, eh? because that makes so much sense. Open mm. it. Come on, George, I believe in you. <gasps> Surprise! Oh. It's a kid. Um, what? Isn't she supposed to be dead? What the? Who are you? I'm Emily. Um, what were you doing in there, Emily? Hiding. What are you doing here? Uh, Grown-up stuff. Grown-ups? I'm never gonna grow up, I'm not. You shouldn't Maybe be Maybe she's here. a ghost. What's your name? I'm George. Pleased to meet you, Jaws. George. Jaws? Jeez. Make your mind up. What can you tell me about Captain Ketch? That's him on the wall, in the picture. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Boy, that's interesting. He was a sailor captain. This is his house. Cool. Why don't you go play Just with Rio? Just random kids that were supposed to How die. Because Aunt Frost says I'm not allowed out of the house. That's why, Mr. Nosy Beak. Too bad. Why don't you ask your other aunt if you can play with Rio? Aunt Mina's cuckoo. Aunt Frost says so. She says when the Aww. Lord handed out common sense, Aunt Mina was off getting double portions of chin. Aww, poor Aunt Mina. That Rio's I a like smart Aunt kid. Mina. He helped me out with Bronson. Rio is clever. 
He can spit ever so far. Ew. Gross. I yeah, bet have you some can't coal. keep this piece of coal in your mouth for the next half hour. Good too. I could keep it in my mouth for hours and hours and hours. Yeah? Go on then. Prove it. Don't want to. And if you try to make me, I'll tell Aunt Mina. Gross. <laughs> that was gross. Look, He's an weird. ancient Mayan stone. Is that a magic stone? Well, I don't know about that. No. Here, have a dart to play with. Would you like to play darts? No. Oh, come on. I'll throw you catch. That's dangerous. Darts will stick in me and make me bleed. <laughs> She's a zombie, though. Do you or know how ghost. to use a theodolite? Sorry. We don't learn anything about surveying at my school. Not until fifth grade. Mmm. She's got a ginormous cross around her neck. Yikes. Okay. Mm. That's a chart. Can we have a look at the chart? Okay. I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? Um. Bring it to the desk. The chart fitted exactly into the recess on the top of the desk. Fancy. What you doing, Jaws? I'm putting this old map on the desk. What you doing that for, Jaws? Because it was obviously intended to fit in this recessed area. How'd you work that out? It's obvious. Inkwell? No, and quill. What if I grab the lantern? Because he obviously was doing something. <laughs> she is, she's a, she's a, she's funny, I like her. Techno! Hello! The lantern How are fitted you? so precisely in the inkwell, uh -huh. it could only be deliberate. Here we go. What you doing now, oh, Jules? Oh, hello! Knock it off, will ya? Welcome, There's something friend. you want to know. Are you? I don't buy cute or lost puppy. I've put the lantern in the inkwell. See? It fits. Be cruel and because sequel. it was cut to fit. <laughs> Why? Because sneaky old Captain Catch you. made it that way. Why? What is with all the questions? Because I'm a interested. Kid. Why? Because I have the insatiable curiosity of the young. Why? All right. Truce. Mm. Okay. Well, what else can we have a look at? The ship's wheel over here. It's really, really good. Jaws, like the movie, yeah, instead of George. Hard port, bosun. It's Jaws. Hi, hi, Captain Stobart. <laughs> she cannot take He's a captain. He's so cute. A man's dead. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Let's have a look at the portrait, shall we? Captain Frederick Ketch, 1570. Ketch. Around his neck was a cross. Maybe he was a part-time pirate. The portrait He's might have good, been a nice techno. souvenir. He had it. But it was too large to day. carry. Is there anything else on him that we can... It was the portrait of Captain Ketch. The no. portrait might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. Let's ding the bell. Ding. Two bells and all's well. Pirates were cool. <laughs> George, I think, uh, I think you've... Wait, no, I meant Luke. I think George is a fan. Why don't you run along and play? Aunt Mina told me. Stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, no. Uh, I did it that. myself. Do and so. yes, I did. I can see the whole <laughs> world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. Well, what that about the cross? The cross you're wearing, Emily? It's ginormous. It's my lucky Jesus cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh huh. Can I borrow it? Uh uh. Please. What would you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. Mm, what do we got that she Some panties? <laughs> she wouldn't have been interested. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what about this? She wouldn't have been interested. Okay. There's a storm coming. What about the lipstick? I reckon she'd like the lipstick. She wouldn't have been interested. Ah, oh, fine. 
Um, what about the statue? She wouldn't have been interested. What about the surveying? She wouldn't thing? have been interested. What about the dart? She wouldn't have been interested. How do you know? You're not even trying, George. Bank she statement? wouldn't have been interested. Yeah, well, fair enough. Uh, the coal. She wouldn't have been interested. Well, I guess we'll try the stone. She wouldn't have been interested. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't got anything else, George. There were several things I wanted to say to that awful kid, but I held my tongue. Useless. Okay, let's have a look at that the That looked like that's where it was supposed to be, so I left it there. Okay, let's walk over. I mean, obviously we have to get the pendant off Emily somehow, but I don't know how. Yow! I should have oh known my. better than to put my hand in there. Grandma Stobart had a nasty experience in a water butt once. Oh. Cutlass? Oh, there's a cutlass. Oh, on the wall. Cool. Shiny. It would have been easy to reach the cutlass and slip it in my pocket. It would also have been the most regrettable action of my life. Okie dokie. What about the quill? Can we take the quill? Gotta think imaginatively. Gotta think imaginatively, George. Yes. That might come in useful. In ticklish situations. Ticklish situations. now? Grown-up stuff. I doubt that. I'm just <laughs> borrowing this feather, that's all. Why? I might be able to make use of it. You're gonna steal it? That's bad. I'm gonna tell on you. No, don't do that. Why not? Well, because I'm not stealing. Just borrowing. <laughs> it's funny. Is there anything else here that we can use? Or play with or touch no all right well I guess we'll leave the museum um should we go talk to Rio and tell him that his friend didn't die <laughs> oh we should have tickled Emily we'll give that a go too hang on no worries techno you lurk friend you lurk Here we go. Rio, your friend didn't die, mate. How exciting is that? Hello. What do you give to a small, irritating girl who asks about everything? Try a conch. Delicate colors, interesting shape, and when you put it to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah, why is that? Usually because you're standing next to it. Cool. You got one? <laughs> yeah, but I promise it to my sister. She well vexed with me. Okay. Why is your sister mad with you? Well, last night when I got home with our supper, she went wild. Rio, she said, how come all you ever catch is puffer fish? A sick of puffer fish. What I want is tiger fish. So don't bother come back home till you catch one, boy. I don't see how I'm gonna catch no tiger fish. All I have is a fishing pole and a worm. Aw, sad. What do you need to catch a tiger fish? One of them real fancy flies like the rich fishermen use. What about a Any feather? use for a quill? What's a quill? It's what people used to write with in Captain Ketch's days. No, I'd sooner be fishing. Mm. Okay, so... I reckon we could make... a... a fancy tackle thing for him what if what if I give this to the cat will the cat destroy it because cats like playing with feathered things the cat made yes. short work of the feather tearing it into a blizzard like of small pieces super quick Okay, so let's pick up the feather piece. And then maybe we can give this back to Rio. And then maybe 
he'll give us the shell. And then we can give the shell to Emily and she will give us, hopefully, the cross. That's the idea. It's the idea. Come, my friend. Hello. Look, hey, I have tiny feather things. This is just things. what you need to make a fly. Tiny feather things. Thanks. Let's hope them tiger fish hungry. A deal's a deal. Here's a conch. Thank you, conch. May I conch you a question? Cool. All right. Thanks, mate. All right, let's go back up to Emily now and see if she wants our shell. It's pretty fancy. I mean, I'd be pretty happy with the conch shell. They're pretty amazing shells. Hello. Cool, here we go. I mean, I still think Here, the panties are being I've got a conch. Better, but... Would you like it? Dunno. Aunt Frost told me never to take presents from strange men. I'm not a strange <laughs> man. Then why are you called Jaws, Jaws? That's a stupid name. I'm not called... <laughs> Look, conch, pretty. Swap for the cross, yes or no. <laughs> right, this thing's going out the window. Okay, we'll do swapsies. Wow, that is a pretty terrible thing to swap for a fancy gold cross, to be perfectly honest. Okay. So, let's have a little squiz. Ketch's crucifix was encrusted with precious gems. Fancy. Hmm. So now what? So there's something to do with this map. No? Okay. And... No? Oh, you know what we could do? If we put it here, the light will shine through it onto the map. Ketch's yes. cross slipped snugly into the pen holder. Before you ask, I've put your cross in this little hole in the desk. Why? Impulse mainly, with a dash of irrational intuition. Silly. Only women have intuition. The lantern <laughs> like cast it. a strong light over the desktop. <laughs> The light cast a shadow of the cross, and the mm. shadow fell precisely over a small unnamed island X marks shaped the spot. like a skull. Ooh. Sort of vaguely like a shell, not 100% like a shell. Treasure! That must be it! Hey, Catches Treasure Welcome. Island! Uh oh. Woo. That zombie island. It's a bad place. Zombie no Island. Well, bad place or not, that's my next port of call. Can I come too? The hell no. you can. I never get to leave the house. Rude. I Stay wasn't going to take us? the cross out of the holder. Somehow I just knew that was where it was supposed to be. Okie dokie, well let's go, I don't know, find some way to get to this treasure island. A zombie! That's true. It's true. The cat's so happy, still eating that fish. Two fishes in one day, he's gonna be a fat cat. Um, let's go talk to Rio, I suppose, because he's the only one around. I don't know where everyone else has gone, but... Maybe he can borrow, we can borrow his boat. Rio, I wanna borrow your boat, mate. Would you take Twitter. me to uh, Zombie Island? In this weather, you're mad, man. The rain will keep the zombies indoors. <laughs> Just say, I did meet a zombie. What would you do? There ain't no zombies on Zombie Island. It's no zombies. not anymore. It's uninhabited. Good. <laughs> what do you mean, not anymore? You still want to go? I guess. Well, I ain't mm. had no luck with them tiger no, fish. Hello. And with the mood my sister is in, I'll be safer with the zombies. Hey, Smiler, how are you? How's things, mate? It's nice to see ya. How is, how is you guys? Your wi uh, Whittle Danger Noodle? Oh no, what kind of Whittle Danger Noodle? I hope it didn't get ya. Was it a little one? 
like baby or well done catching it just art and taking my quiz sometime later so this, oh, this was for zombie uni? island somehow oh, i've been expecting Peter? something more sinister Ooh. come on real let's find that treasure no thanks i staying right here oh come on you said yourself there's no zombies left yeah but that was while there was a big pile of seawater between the me Chinese and this place. Container. Oh All gosh. me have now is this little bit between the boat and the shore, and I'm hanging on to it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> wow. So the snake guy picked it up for free. He thought it was cute too. Ah, that's nice. He came and picked it up for free, though. That's lovely, that is. Cliff, can we climb the cliff? The Come cliff on, was steep. Too steep to climb without handholds. Hmm, have we got anything we can use for And handles? I couldn't find any. Can we use the dart? No? Okay. Um, is there anywhere else that we can go? No. So we have to climb the cliff somehow. Rock outcrop. It was too high. I couldn't get up there. You've got to use your imaginations. You took photos, of course. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Um, Moo, put up, put up a photo in, um, in, in the pet area. I'd love to have a little, I'd love to have a little squiz. Um, use the panties. Exotic pantsy, panties with the rock outcrop. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought too, Mads, but apparently not. Sad. Rock outcrop. Anything else here? Cliff. Um, boat. Rio's boat was strewn with fishing nets and tackle. Okay. Can I was quite happy where I was, relatively speaking. Can we talk to Rio? <laughs> That was my first thought, though. That Emily sure asks a lot of questions. Resic man, this whole Emily business just isn't funny. Look, we're obviously at cross purposes here. I'm talking about Emily Ketch. Yeah, and so am I. She was my friend. Her aunts hated it, but we did move together, you know. She used to be real keen at hide and seek. It could take hours to find her. One time, the last time, it took years. She must have shouted and screamed herself hoarse, but there was nobody to hear her. Where'd she hidden herself? Captain Ketch's old <gasps> sea chest. The only way to open it was from the outside. Suddenly, I didn't feel so good. We never exchanged another word about Emily Ketch. So she was a ghost. Could Guys, I buy you she was a yeah, ghost. Man, no, problem. no. Oh my gosh. We talked to a ghost. You planning on catching some fish? Nope. I'm after a big rock. I s I knew it she must have been. They have been so useful earlier on, Mads. Well, here I go. Wish me luck, Rio. Good luck, George. I know. Watch out for the walking dead. Thanks, Rio. Appreciate you. Meanwhile, back in London. So we're back here with uh, Nico. I stumbled down dark stairwells for what seemed like forever, until suddenly I found myself. Wow. Wow. Oh wow! In an this abandoned is cool. London underground station. This place must have been closed down decades ago. Amazing. The chocolate would be so out of date. The machine needed to be fed a coin before it would operate. She didn't look dead in ours either, man. How are you, truly? Let's have a look in the ticket machine. The machine looked like it had sold its last ticket a long time ago. Maybe we can get, um, oh, coin reject shot slot? The cup was empty. Dang it. Um, bending slot. The tray slot. was empty. Weighing machine. Ooh, that's cruel. <laughs> 
No one likes these weighing machines. The machine wasn't about to weigh me for nothing. Rude. Cupboard? What's in a cupboard? A latch lock stopped me getting into the cupboard. Well, maybe we could use this shiny thingo with the cupboard, the dagger, and open it up. Uh -huh. The blade of the dagger just fitted between the door and the soft wood frame. Oh the door la. gave slightly and then held firm. Oh, bummer. What about the hair clip? And the crack. hair grip was too thick to fit into the crack. Dang. You're good? Yeah, I'm really well, truly. I'm really well. I had a, um, I had a pretty good weekend. I got to see the new Avatar last night at IMAX. It was cool. Let's try again. The blade of the dagger was too thick to get into the narrow crack. Okay, what else is there? What is that? Um... Oh, there's a train. Oh, there's a train. Tunnel? It was too dangerous to start walking along the tracks. Well, I remember a train what just always happened past. to Wiley Coyote when he did that. <laughs> You've been playing the Diablo 4 open beta. Ooh, that's cool. A warning sign saying high voltage convinced me to leave the lights alone. That's really cool, man. Is it good? Are you enjoying it? Ooh, poster. The date on the poster was before I was born. <laughs> Map? It looked just like the modern one. Oh, probably, it's probably exactly the same. Okay, is there anything else? Um, ticket machine, sleepers, what's in the sleepers, anything? I'd probably break my neck if I climbed over the sleepers, or worse, a heel. Well, you could just take your heels off. My word. She's so pernickety. Pernickety. The machine looked like it had sold its last ticket a long time ago. Okay, and what about this poster? It We're looking for a, a coin. Nice souvenir if it hadn't been torn and dirty. Coin slot? The slot was much too thin for my fingers. Ah, what about if we used. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the train to go past. All right, what about if we used the hair grip? Aha! I pushed the hair clip into the slot and whatever was stuck there disappeared into Ooh, the machine. Rogue and bit of the sorcerer. Last week and this week, I played the Druid and the Barbarian. Awesome, but was it fun? Did the you have a The machine needed time? to be fed a coin before it would operate. We did that though. Um, do we press a button? The slot was much too thin for my fingers. Do we have to press a button? Vending machine, coin reject slot. Aha! Okay. I pulled out an old English penny. Cute. All right, so let's use the penny in the coin slot. An ancient bar of chocolate dropped into the tray at the bottom of the machine. And as a special bonus, the penny dropped through to the reject pocket. Awesome. We get our penny back. Huzzah! I pulled out an old English penny. And the vending slot, we'll get our chocolate. So maybe we can I do took that again. The ancient bar of chocolate. It'll probably still be good. You're enjoying it? Ah, oh, awesome. Um, I assume the beta is just one um, bar of different, right? Chocolate was more than you know, enough like for uh, me. it'd just be a just almost like a, a sample, yeah. Um, maybe we can put it in. The ticket machine? The penny was too large to fit into the slot. Hmm. What about if we used our. I didn't hair grip want again? to get the hair grip jammed in the slot. Weigh yourself. Oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. Oh, what was that? Did you just see that? There was a ghost there. Oh my gosh, there was a ghost there. Okay. I put the Ooh. old penny into the slot. The needle twitched rustily and the machine spat out a card. Okay. Lovely. Okay, now what do we do? Mm. We watch the train go by. G-g-g-g-g-ghost? Apparently there's lots of ghosts in this episode. It's a thing. A latch lock stopped I me getting into see. the car. Yeah, right, I see. Well, maybe we could use the card with the crack. I remember uh -huh. my student days when I regularly forgot my house keys. A wiggle with a thick card between the frame and the lock and the latch lifted. That's slightly terrifying. I don't know that I would have liked to live where she lived. <laughs> Button? What does the button do? What do we think the button did? Maybe we can walk down the tunnel now? Like, did we stop the trains somehow? It was too dangerous to start walking along the tracks. I remembered oh. what always happened to Wiley Got. Maybe it changes the signal? Ah ha ha! Okay, so hopefully when the train comes past again now, it'll stop and maybe we can get onto the train. Uh -huh. The train was my ride out of there. I could Amazing. worry about not having a ticket when I got to the docks. Yes. Good plan, Nico. She's so clever. She's so clever. George, you did it! Good job, mate. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. George is dead. <laughs> oh, George. George, George, George. Uh, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Anything else here that we can pick up? Hello, Rio. <laughs> so there is two ways we can go this way or this way. Let's go this way first, hey? Le George. Ooh la la. <laughs> Maybe it's a big circle. I'm not sure. Uh oh. I, f I feel like we might need a map. Swamp. Nothing. Ew. I mean, nothing would possess me to step into that swamp. Gross. Okay. Is there anywhere else that we can go along here? Um, reeds. Can we take some reeds? What's in the reeds? Ooh, we have some reeds. I should be asleep. Dead, it's only 10.30. It's not that late. What if we put the reeds? Oh, it's only one singular reed. I'd seen it done in movies. The hero eludes his foe by hiding underwater, breathing through a hollow reed until it's safe to come out. I was glad I didn't have a foe to elude. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, maybe we could put the net over it? No. Um, okay, let's let's head back then. Let's head back because there was another way. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Mads, I'm keeping you awake. <laughs> I'm doing well. How was your weekend, Dad? It's nice to see you. This is nice. You're right, that's good. Oh, I'm sorry. Heartbreak's horrible. It's never a nice time. Okay, is there a way that we can go from here? Do we say? I think we can. Okay. Oh, we can. 
Oh my gosh, what is that? It's so cute! The boar's expression said, forget it, Stobart. But it's so cute! Oh my gosh, I love it! Would you like some panties? Um, what about red? Animals go for red things. No? Hmm. What if we put the dart in the reed? Could we shoot that at the boar? The end of the reed was too narrow for the dart to fit into. Hmm. Need, needs cutting somehow. It was a short, hollow reed. Hmm. Is there a way to cut it? because I think I, I need a way to cut it. Use the feather duster. We don't have the feather duster anymore. <laughs> I know, those panties. Seriously. Okay, here we go. Let's try that other path again. We need a way to cut that reed because I think I've got the right idea by putting that thing down. Thanks, Dad, for the hydrate. But I'm not sure. No, no, go back. Go back. Good job. <laughs> you are helping. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, continuing on. What happens if we stick the reed in the swamp? Uh, uh. No, um, is there another way that something else that we can do with the reed? No. Um. Hmm. Uh, we can't stick uh. it with the the swamp at all. So. Hmm. And there's not really anything that could cut the reed to make it so it's wider. Who hum? Is there anything here that we can use? Hmm. Let's go. Oh no, no, this way. This way. Come on, George. This way. You've got this George. George. George is a good egg. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's see if there's something here that we can cut the reed with. Mm. Ooh, ooh, branch, branch, branch. Stop, stop, stop. Branch? If I jumped, I could just about reach the branch. Jump! Jump! No? Um, what if I use the panties on the branch? Come on, George, come on. What about the net on the branch? What about the third thingy on the branch? Mmm. I want to use the dart with the reed because that looks like it's right, but I don't know how to... The end of the reed was too narrow for the dart to fit into. Maybe we can stick the reed on the stick to make it wider? No? Shame. Do we need more maps? Um, not at this stage. Don't ask about the maps. I want to know how to 
cut this somehow cut this reed though I don't understand how to cut the reed because I I feel like I need to blow the poison dart at the boar but I don't know how thanks for the hydrate Peter hmm <laughs> Any ideas, guys? I know. I know. It's a conundrum. Try the swamp again. We'll go back to the swamp. I'm just not sure how the swamp, like the swamp's the only other variable. Bring some wine over. <laughs> it's all gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay let's just check have we missed anything ah oh, we can go this way I did not see that earlier wow wow oh here we go come that on that path looked familiar but then they all did come on come on George <laughs> thanks dad I feel very French So the heroine in this story, what is that? Oh, it's a lair. It's got a line coming out of it. Um, the heroine in this story is French. So I like to be French. Oh la la. Oh ho ho. What if we stick this in the hole? The end of the reed had been neatly bitten off. But what is in the lair? Can we now take whatever's what in the lair? There? A long-toothed, snarling, furry, wild thing. <laughs> Dart, maybe. As soon as I stooped to investigate the hole, its inhabitant disappeared into the darkness. If only we had more dog biscuits to feed it. What if we put the net over it so we could catch it? No? Uh, eh. All right, well, let's get the, the boar then. Let's go. That's what we that's what we were missing. That's what we were missing. I know Mads, I know. Hello Smallville, how are you? It's nice to see you. I know, I know, no, no, it's good Mads. I'm invested too. This is why I love these point and click adventure games because you do, you get so invested. The problem solving is real. It's really, really good. I love these games. I love them. Come on, George, ignore the mosquito. <laughs> He's like, no, not the mosquito. <laughs> He's going to get so many insect bites, yeah. But he still looks super cool. So that's the important thing. He's going to get the insect bites, but he's adventuring while looking cool. That's the important thing when you're walking around in the jungle. <laughs> exactly, Peter. Wiggly waggly orange thing dads. He does, doesn't he? He looks like he should be in um, like a daytime TV show. Like Days of Our Lives or something. <laughs> He's the love interest, you know? Yeah. Alright, tiny little warthog. He's so cute though. I love him. Okay, put the dart that in the thing. Work. What? Blow dart. Good job. There we go. Good job, George. The dart fitted snugly. George. In the Great. I was tooled up and dangerous. Oh la la. <laughs> you know I'm dangerous because I have glasses. He wears them inside and everything though, so he's actually just a bit of a dingus. But we love him anyway. Quick! I don't even know if it's got any poison left, does it? Good shot, my friend. Good show. Run! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, should we, should we go after it? 
Like, <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> well, I don't know. Do we do we go after the pig or do we just leave him suffering? I mean, he's not here. I know. I feel bad too, Dad. A lot of the games we've played recently have been quite violent. <laughs> Except Harry Potter. We're quite nice to the animals in the Harry Potter. Alright, well we can go to the right now. Now that the boar's not there. Can't we? Yeah. Let's go that way, George. Or we can go to the right too. Ooh. Uh-huh. It's a rock needle. Huh. You suck no at good. climbing. I'd have to be bitten by a radioactive spider before I stood any chance of getting up there. Quite nice to the animal. Well, apart from that one I blew up, Jin. <laughs> How are you, Jin? It's nice to see you. Have you had a nice weekend? Can we put our net over it? Net with the rock. I could see no point in tying the net to the creepers on the rock. Well, except it'll help you get up. <laughs> oh no, Jen. I'm not surprised though. You've had a lot going on this week. Hi! <laughs> um. Okay, is there anything that we. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay, so that's like The creeper like rope, just right? came away from the rock as I pulled it. Well, it's probably a good thing that you didn't, like, climb up it then, George. Because you would have just fallen down. The creeper down. didn't look like it would hold my weight. Oh. Yep. It's like, yep, no more, please. No more. No more stuff, please. Um, creeper and rock needle? No? Okay. When in doubt, panties. <laughs> I love that catch phrase though, Mads. It's good. <laughs> um, let's try the net now that we removed the... the um, I could see no point in tying the net to the creepers on the, the rock. Creepers. Mm. What about if we tried tying the net to the creeper? Ah ha ha ha! Oh, Geo, no, you're sick again. I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks. Okay, can we pick up that? And use it with the rock. George, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, antibiotics are blur. Okay, so something else needs to go with the net then before we can do anything with it. Is there anything else that we can put this on here? No, just that. And he's just going to try and climb the rock again. Like a dingus. Where are you going, George? Oh, we can go out the back there. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that soon. I'm just uh, trying to ascertain what we have to do here, George. Um, let's just try everything with it. Let's try the rock. No. Um, this statue. No. Antibiotics to fight infection. Oh, that sucks. You poor people. Um... What about this thingy? Because apparently that Great. worked. I created some sort of creeper marker fishing net assembly. Sometimes I terrify myself with my creative genius. But what for, George? What for? Can we use that with the rock needle now? Yes, we can. All right then.
I'd successfully got the marker into a position near the top of the needle simply by using the kind of lateral thinking that can get you institutionalized. Oh, dear, that sucks. Oh, no, that's horrible. You poor thing. All right, well, we'll continue down this path then, shall we? Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. So we've come out into the swamp again. Intriguing! Can we go back that way? We'll just keep going this way because I don't think I can go backwards. That's so annoying. Oh gosh! Guys, oh! <laughs> That's funny, Mads. <laughs> Look, I mean, if you don't laugh, you cry, right? Is there anywhere else that we can go here? Ah ha ha ha! We can follow this around. Ooh la la. Okay, so this is a new area. Maybe we should have made a map. Oh, that sucks. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're on the right side of the swamp now. Excellent. Well, that's good. We can keep going around. That's good. Right, Mads, that sucks though. Oh no! Oh wait, can we keep going elsewhere now? Aha ha, we can! Oh, we're doing things. Stop laughing at me. What the? Ah. That Stay sounded cool, like a Stobart. turkey. It was only a bird. You got this. You got this, George. Good job. Good job. Giorgio. Okay, so we're going different places in this strange forest. Maybe we can, ah ha ha, we can walk this way. Excellent. If Shrek lives here, I feel like he should. It's a swamp. That's mass. What the? Steady guy, it's just a monkey. Really? It sounds like a gremlin. Or a, a, I don't know. Oh, that's a nice view. Lovely. Turkey noise, suspiciously even. <laughs> I hope it goes well though, Mads. Initials carved into the stone read FK. Frederick Ketch had been here. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. I'm hoping everything goes perfect, which I'm sure it will. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, there's holes. Okay. Joining the, the dots for? would make an equilateral triangle. Oh, you know what we have that is an equilateral triangle? This here thingamabob. All right, let's have a little look through our theodolite. The hill I was on had reminded me of a camel's hump as I'd climbed up it. Now I had to see what I could see. Okay, can we go different directions? How do I turn it? How do I turn this? Mm. Aha! Let's see what we can see, shall we?
Anything unusual looking, guys, that could be treasure? I like the bird calls. It's very relaxing. Hmm. Hmm. I know, Dave. Hey, hey, hey. Did you just see that? There, there. It was the marker, marker. which I had raised up the needle uh -huh. of rock. Uh -huh. Okay. What? There was something else there. I don't know, does that help? You have a cat. <laughs> it's the important things in life. And cats are important. Okay, so I can only go to the right. Okay. So we were quite a long way over here. Hey, Afterfade, how are you? I have to sing to the gypsies. Well, I was thinking I was French. Ah, stop, 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 stop! Stobalt, you fool! Oh, there that's was an cave. enormous cave. Every tourist for the last three centuries must have been in that one. Ooh, Ooh and an a ugly small little cave. cave. Didn't look like the sort of place you'd want to leave treasure. Hmm. Well, let's go back to our beacon. There it is, sparkle, sparkle. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. Mm-hmm. Um, there's two little dots there. It was the marker which I had... Yes. How do I... I don't know. <gasps> there was something there. Hang on. Oh, no, that's out. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything with the marker. I mean, it's sparkly. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. Mm. That's great. I love that aftershave. <laughs> Aww. Catnip. Aww. <laughs> Trench coat so I can roll around the hood doing catnip to fluffy things. <laughs> Funny. I could see the pillar? marker I had fastened on the rock down in the forest, and yeah. right in line with it, the rock I was looking for. How do you know that? Okay, so does that mean... Okay, cool. Hey, Milky! Hello, how are you? Welcome, friend. It's good, Techno! I love, I love, I love, I love... Um, the Broken Sword series. It's been really, really fun. Um, so do we take that with us? No? Oh, okay, we don't need that. Ah! It's not what I wanted to do. Let's get out of here. Okay, so down the hill we go, Giorgio friend. It is addictive, absolutely. I like it because it's chill and it's pleasant and it's the characters in it are quite, quite fun. I, I'm enjoying it. I think I still enjoyed the first one more uh, because we got to play with the Templars as we went through Paris, but it was still very good. <laughs> Sorry, Mads. <laughs> I can't believe she was a ghost. So crazy. So now we need to make our way back to the pillar. If we lose ourselves, Here we go. I think we should save. We haven't saved for ages. Just in case. I just want to go back to the mountain for a sec. I didn't check. I feel like we didn't check everything on the mountain after we'd come back down. Cause that's what, like after we'd found the thing, that's when things happen. You know what I mean? After you've done a thing, then things change. What the? Steady guy, it's just a monkey. 
it does sound like a definitely sounds like a uh, gremlin okay let's go Kid found a floppy disk recently. <laughs> the Indian printer didn't save icon. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Very Art Nouveau. I love Art Nouveau. Okay, so we're back up the mountain top. Ah, we can walk to the right now, can we, George? Can we go back down here? Ah ha ha, we can. Mm. Poor kidlets. <laughs> As George prepares to return to the shaman's village, Nico finds herself in London's tower. Okay. Nico, what are you doing? Oh, she's hiding. Ah, oh, Pablo. Who's Pablo? Crate. I couldn't open the crate and I couldn't move it. Okay. I feel like this is definitely a save point, guys. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's make a little... I, I assume these guys are bad guys. Okay, we'll turn here. Creep across here. Is there another one that we can creep to over here? No. Somehow we need to get onto the ship. So we'll wait for this guy to go past. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. And up the ladder. Or oh, up the ladder. We going up the ladder? Yeah. You go, girl. You go, girl. Nice one, Nico. Nice one. Okay, what now? Cupboard. Uh-oh. Can we get in the cupboard? Is that something we can do? Quick, 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 quick. The tactical advantage of hiding in there escaped me. Oh no! Is she gonna die? No! Ah, this is what happens. This is why we stay and play. Like, this is why we save the game. This is why we stay the game. Okay, save the game. Her legs must be so cold. Well, she's used to France and England's cold. So we wait for the guy. Okay, go, 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 Nico. Go, 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 go. Quick. So we'll climb up. Go, 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 go. Before this guy comes around. And maybe we'll open the cupboard so he thinks that we're there. Okay, go, go, go. What's the... What's the mop for? I don't know. And then go back up the ladder quickly. Quickly! Quickly! Nico, no! Not quick enough! Okay, let's try that again. So she needs to be quicker. Do you hear me, Nico? You need to be quicker, love. Okay, go, go, go. And up, no, actually, yeah, up the ladder. Up the ladder, Nico. Go, 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 go! Good job, good job. Down the ladder. Gosh, hold your breath. Open the cupboard. Hey, Trappy, hello. And then back up the ladder. Go, Nico. No, go, Nico. Go, Nico. Good job. And we close the cupboard while he's inside. And then he'll be stuck. And we lock it. Super. And we grab the mop. I don't know what for. Mm. We have to get rid of this guy, Pablo. Oh no! 
Okay, so we used the mop to keep the door shut. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Who smells snake? Welcome. You just saw. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Obviously the mop is there so we can shut the door behind him properly. I, I thought we'd locked it already, but um, apparently that's not the case. So we need the mop to keep him in there. How's things going, small snack? It's been ages. How's your weekend? So back up the ladder, Nico. Okay, and then we close the cupboard. You go, girl. You go, girl. And then we use the mop on, on the cupboard. Got you. <laughs> okay, do we need to get rid of that guy? No. So there's, that's the only thing we can do right now. So we'll go have a squeeze at the window. I know, it's intense. <laughs> but the color woman uh -huh. was there. They'll know it was me. But you have the stone, the right stone, you're sure. Yes. yes of course, it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Uh-oh. Who's that guy? Please. It's Karzak! The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't you? He's evil. Stop your whining, UBA. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tetzcatlipoca cannot succeed. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. Oh no. I have seen him in my dreams. Uh-oh. We've spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. Uh oh. Uh oh. She no! called out your name as she died, you know. What? What are you saying? And then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. You? It was you? You bastard! You monster! For the love of God, Kazakh! Which one? <gasps> no! Oh heck, can we go inside? Oh no. Obie! Obie! There were no signs of life, but I checked that Obie really was beyond help. Mm. We were Take going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Obie would have approved. She didn't seem that upset by Ubia being dead. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. <gasps> yeah! Um, let's poke him with our pokey stick. Did it work? Poke him. Poke him! Run! Run, Nico, run! Like the wind! Oh, she's like a little rabbit. After battling through the jungle, George approaches the beach below the pillar rock when... Dun, dun, dun! Pirates! Oh, they're real life pirates. Oh my gosh, they're real life pirates, guys. I was about to make when... Cut! Oh. Oh, it's Who a film. Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain <laughs> everything. Don't bother. Sorry. It was close, AC. <laughs> I 
I'm Whoops. sorry. I didn't realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart. George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? Ah. This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about Ooh. him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer, surfer boy? Surfer boy. Okay, we're going to quickly save because I don't want to go through all of that again with Nico because that was ter just terrifying. Oh wait, this one. Save. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. There's a camera. You wouldn't get me up there. Uh, shall we talk to Hawks? What's Tell me about the, the movie? movie. Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island. The only ah. book I ever read twice. Okay, all right. I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. Gotta think box office. People like that kind of thing. Fair, yeah, fair enough. Cute girls. What Makes other sense. changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an artist? Of course Silver's still in it. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained <laughs> attack falcon. Why do you think Ryan <laughs> Q's blind? Did you okay, say you've changed the idea. ending of the story? That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later, after they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Oh. Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent on a movie, and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's playing Jim Hawkins? It's just showing his McEwen. nerd, I know. Oh, don't tell <laughs> me you've never though. heard of him. I don't go to the movies too often. Jeez. What? Haiku is only the hottest teen star in Hollywood. That's why oh. we're on such a tight schedule. Gotta My. film the close-ups before he hits puberty. Okay. <laughs> Who's the leading lady? Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. Fancy. I'd never heard of her. You know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, she but I guess like you're gonna tell lipstick. me. Zombie Island. Zombies? Ooh. A crazed gleam came into his eye. Get me the writers. Get me makeup. I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, my goodness. All right, zombie pirate. Oh, we can get some pancakes. Let's have some pancakes. <laughs> no worries, Techno. So nice to see you, pal. Pancakes? Anything else there on the table that we can... Buns? Mm. The nice bun to see was so pal. stale, it felt weekend. like a small rock. Mmm, yummy. Um, I was already carrying one of the stale buns. I didn't want another one of the pancakes in my pocket. Why not? Lots of pancakes are good. Um, what about this guy? Can we talk to him? Hi, George Stobart. Hello, mate. Hello. You're English, Hello, right? mate. No, I mean, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage. Have you Bert seen what the Savage, cake was made what a on today? Name. Buns and pancakes. That's awful. It's an improvement on yesterday. The buns are stale, but the pancakes are bloody lovely. Lovely. Pancake pockets of the future. How long have you been <laughs> in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, you've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became mm. a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. He looks like a stuntman though, doesn't he? What training does a stuntman do? First they told me to stand in the road. Then they run me down. Straight oh, up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realised he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me downstairs a bit and gives me a certificate. <laughs> That's all you have to do to become a stuntman. <laughs> hey Ace, how are you? Welcome friend, how was your weekend? Did you ever weekend? work with Carol Climax? The Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one too. Ordering this, demanding that. Ooh la la, tell me about Did this guy. Did you ever meet Bertrand de Ubier? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times though. He didn't like Just his started? wife being in films. I'm doing well, Ace. 
Do you think Goubier murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Fantastico! Yeah. People who <laughs> knew her saw the other side. Oh. Tell me about the buns. Would you like a bun? No way. The last one I tried cracked my dentures. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, do you want some syrup? Do you want to try some syrup with your pancakes? No thanks, mate. I've got to watch my waistline. Well, yes, officially it is Monday for you, Mads. Crazy bananas. Do you want a pancake? Would you like a pancake, Bert? No, thanks, mate. I'll play the year. Um, would you like this? Have rock. you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, Look mate? at the rock. Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit. You get a few bob for that. <laughs> I like how he thinks. Uh, are you sure you don't want a pancake? Would you like a pancake, Bert? No, thanks, mate. I'll play the year. Okay. What do you think of this lipstick? Oh, very nice. Very repouche. I thought Rapouche. that meant hideous. I was being sarky. Looks like a skin disease, that stuff. Broken sword. <laughs> waffles, pancakes. I want waffles and pancakes. I'm investing all my money into pancake pockets. I think that sounds splendid. Um, let's talk to Sharon. Hey, Shaza. Dan, hey there. Um, if you have I'm a George look Stobart. at... Well, hi, handsome. You're cute. If you, if you do I wish Etsy, it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. And it'll, I can't it'll act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kiss. I couldn't Etsy believe I was having this conversation with a real movie star. What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think of Hawk's treatment of Treasure Island? It's okay, I guess. I never saw the original. It's a book. One of my favorites. Really? Oh, mad The stop. novelization's out already? Without Pete. <laughs> what part are you playing? Pirate Bats, the ruthless and passionate Lady Buccaneer. It's a great Ooh. part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boots? Sounds great. Would you like this lipstick? Nice thought, gorgeous, but I prefer scarlet. Okay. Sorry, boo. You want a bun? Would you like this bun? All right. A rock? Oh, wait a minute. Hawks is watching me. Don't let him see it. Oh, he's looking right at me. What's the matter? Never mind. Just put that cake away and pretend you weren't talking to me. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Panties! <laughs> Here, take the panties. What do you think of these? Ew, they're awful. You have no idea how much you've just gone up in my estimation. <laughs> have a look at this rock Take here. a look at this ancient Mayan artifact. That's just a hunk <laughs> of stone with a picture scratched on it. In a way, I guess. Uh, you don't happen to have seen anything similar, have you? No. No. Here's a pipe. I found this reed in the swamp on the other side of the island. Oh, Would you yeah? like it? Yeah, and I used it to shoot a poison dart at a wild now boar. He's just... It was a real-life drama, not just a scene from a movie. <laughs> right. Now he's just bragging. She was having trouble with the whole real-life-is-not-a-movie <laughs> concept. He's hitting on her. I know. Okay, let's talk to the guy. Hi there, George Stobart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hi, Ku McEwen. You're playing Jim Hawkins, right? Hi, Jimbo. Q. I had Mr. Hawks change his name. Jimbo Hawkins, right. Um, Is your name tell really me about haiku? yourself, Haiku. Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born, I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a <laughs> Japanese poem. Well, I guess it could have been worse. <laughs> she could have called you Limerick. That's my oh, middle dear. name. Did you always want to be an actor? I don't think of what I do as acting, name. man. You're not alone. It's more like I'm um, the, the voice of my, of generation. my generation. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? Sunny. I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? Oh, that's what are you a saying, man? brutal, George. Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. He's so mean. Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, which scene is this? 
You've been captured by Silver's accomplice, Pirate Babs, who's fallen in love with you. Hardcore that burn. That whirring sound you can hear? It's Robert Louis Stevenson spinning in his grave. He's okay, people. Pessimist. Top of page 76, Sharon. Might be brilliant. What about my big speech? It's been cut. Everybody ready? Up to speed. Quiet on the set. Okay, Shh. let's make magic. Oh, please. And... Why are Action. movie directors always like this? <laughs> Why don't you forget that dumb old squire and his bunch of merry men? Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Trelawney saved my life, Captain Babs. Why, if it hadn't have been for him, that giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. But right now he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, <laughs> Jimbo. That 20-foot high wall with spikes might have kept out Silver's men. But it ain't gonna stop me. Oh, Jimbo. <laughs> oh, Jimbo. And cut. Oh, Jimbo. Good heavy breathing, Sharon. Natch, I'm a pro. <laughs> How about... Did you get the heavy breathing flash? Did I ever, boss? You should have made this movie in 3D. Haiku, you were great. We're setting up for the stunt now, so get a bite to eat. I'm sunshine. I'm sunshine. What? Savage, on set, <laughs> damn it. Where are all these Where are all these quotes coming from? Koalas are basically potatoes. <laughs> what is this? I'm good, thank you, Dad. I'm good. Um, I've decided I want to give the pan because he, we couldn't get rid of the pancake, but I want to try the pancake hey, with the I syrup could. on it yeah, for him. Yeah, man. You got something to show me? I'd like your opinion on something. Yeah? What? Do you like syrup? a pancake? Look at that thing, man. It's dripping with syrup. Yeah. You'll have every bug in ten miles on your case if you get that stuff on you. I guess oh. you're right. Cultivated taste in Sunshine sayings. I don't think it's just Luke, though. Would you like a bun? I'm pretty sure Jin no adds man. a fair for you, too. I have to be careful what I eat. Yeah. Oh. Never eat anything smarter than yourself. Oh, dear. Nice drawings on Etsy. Too rich for me now, though. Oh, dang! Thanks for having a look, though, Daniel. They're all original. I may not be making original, millions of so. dollars, and I may not have thousands of new it's not often half on critical to be young women lusting for my body. But I've got something that you haven't. This small piece <laughs> of coal. Man, you're getting freaky <laughs> on me. Yeah, George, that was weird. Um, how about we try the slurpy syrup slurpy? Syrupy pancake on Bert. What do you got there? <laughs> Would you like a pancake, Bert? Don't mind I, I don't know. often do Pokemon-sized things, unfortunately. The pancake oozed maple syrup all over Bert's chins. Yeah, you I know, Dad. You've got bloody syrup on that pancake. Now it's yeah. messed me all up. Oh, Bert. I know it's tragic. I wasn't going to upset Hawks anymore by tampering with his props. What's the bush? Bush! As I walked towards the bush, it started buzzing angrily. What if... I throw the bun in the bush and then the bees will come out and attack Bert because he's got syrup all over his face? Makes sense to me. Those hornets were not pleased. Hornets, that's even worse. Get that camera rolling. This could be good. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Cut and printed. That was brilliant, folks. Oh, no. I love that she fainted. That's okay. hilarious. The next scene is down on the beach. This is where Hawkins <laughs> finds the treasure in the cave of the crabs. Oh, Would no. those be giant killer crabs by any chance? Giant mutant killer crabs with attitude. Ah, interesting. Mutant crabs 
With there attitude. it was, the rock I'd seen from the camel's hump. Now that I was close up, I could ah. make out a small cave near the top of the pillar. Cool. Oh no, no syrup and bees do not go well. No, apparently not. <laughs> hey, you! Trouble! Who? Oh, me? 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 What's up, buttercup? It's a very green looking tent. I want you to stay right where I can keep an eye on you. I'm not one We're of your busy. lobbies, Hawks. I go where I like. We've not here, you don't. To do. The movie no company has stay. rented this island for so the nice duration. So nice to see you, mate. Your Have a great day. Do as you're told or you're gone. Ay, ay, ay. Um, can we go into the tent? Maybe we can put on a costume and then he won't get sassy at us again. Hey, surfer boy, stay out of there. Oh, what is it this time? That's the wardrobe tent. You've got no business to be going in there. Looked like I wasn't going to get to play dress up. Dang it. Okay, so obviously we need to become part of the cast so we have an excuse for being on set. Right? So somehow we need to get rid of one of the lackeys. Hi, Bert. Don't you eye me. Fine friend you turned out to be. What's the problem? <laughs> Sorry, Bert. What's it like to work with Carlton Hawk? Flipping misery, mate. <laughs> Look, Bert, what's wrong? You got a bloody nerve. If I didn't know better, I'd have thought you gave me that pancake just so them hornets would go for me. Oh, no, Bert, of you course wounded not. Me. How can you think that? Well, by looking at the evidence. Um. I don't know why you still want to be a stunt man anyway. Cause it's all I know, isn't it? If I don't do this, what do I do? Well, how about being Opera a stunt singer. coordinator? Being a what? You stand around in a big jacket and a baseball cap, telling the stunt people what to do. I can do Ooh. that. Hey, you've done the job for years and you're not dead. That's got to be good for morale. Well, I don't True. know. You get your own megaphone. I'll do it. Ooh. George Stobart, international <laughs> adventurer and roaming careers advisor. Mm, fun. Okay. What films have you worked on in the past? Remember Death Stalker of the 10th grade? The psychotic Tenth biker grade. what crashed into the school bus? That was me. Or what about... It is a draw card, Mads. I was the bloke in the hospital scene. You know, oh. run a court fire, fell through the flipping skylight. I don't think <laughs> I caught those. <laughs> I like him. He's fun. Must be cool getting to travel the world like this. Yeah, nice here, isn't it? My barrel used to love the seaside. They are the Clacton. Bloody smashing. A pint of Aww. jelly deals washed down with a bottle of brown. Quick feel on a big wheel and a stroll around the town. Course them days, you could live like a flipping king on ten bob a night. Tombola, frothy coffee at the cap of the prom. You know, Aww. I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. No worries, Mads. I totally understand. It's so lovely to have you here tonight. Have a great sleep and good luck for the rest of the week. It's going to be fine. <laughs> all right. Sleep well. Have all the good dreams and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. I've Tell had me. a great idea. How about you dress up as Jim Hawkins and climb up to that cave over there? What cave? That cave? You must think I'm balmy. I did Maybe. me back in being chased by them hornets over that flaming stockade wall. No <laughs> way am I going up there. Well, that oh. narrowed the field. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe we'll talk to the cameraman. He looks so depressed. Are you okay, mister? Hi. Hey, mister. I'm George Stobart. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're Flash. the cameraman, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. <laughs> Tell me. What do you think of Haiku McEwen? What's to think? The kid will have earned more by the time his balls drop than I learn in a lifetime. Good luck to him. Oh, well, I guess that's nice. Can I take the camera? Can we... Yeah, 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 hang on casually? there a minute, champ. No messing with the equipment or the union will be down on you. Oh, oh there's okay. a union? Okay. Cool. Let's talk to Haiku. Hey, Haiku. Hello. 
H hello? Yeah, man. There was nothing else I wanted to ask him. Oh. All right, then. What about Bert? Is there anything else we need to talk to Bert about? I had nothing else to ask him just then. What about Hawks? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Tell I me about the I was talking to Mr. Savage, the stuntman. Is he all right? What makes He's you say sad. that? He's not making any sense. The guy's English. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's as good a reason as any. Why don't you use that cave up on the rock pillar at the end of the beach? We don't have a stuntman anymore. Hey, oh. I'll do the stunt. I appreciate the offer, but if you fall, you'll sue us. No, I won't. Everybody <laughs> hear that? <laughs> I hide it. Good enough, we're covered. Got any experience? Great! Death-defying leaps, desperate fist it's fights, fine. getting caught in explosions, <laughs> you name it. Okay, people, That's move true. out. We're shooting the we scene are pretty at qualified. the end of the No, we're not. The camera's still bogged down. Shoot, I forgot about that. No go, Stobart. We'll have to use this cave after all. Ah, dang it. You don't look happy. Why should I be happy? Look at that cave. It's supposed to be where the treasure is. So? Look at it! It's crap! Does that look like the sort of place anybody would hide treasure? I should have had props build me a proper damn cave. A cinematic cave. What's the difference what between a cinematic, a cinematic cave, cave and a cave? One with drama. Danger. Drama! One that looks like the mouth of a big stone skull <laughs> would be cool. But Ooh. I'd settle for drama and danger. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um... Well, how do we get... How do we get... Panties on the camera? No. <laughs> how do we get this dug out of the sand? That camera wasn't going anywhere. Hmm. We're a stuntman now though, right? So maybe we can go into the costume tent? Hey, get out of there. Oh, come on. Okay, so this is the cave that they're using, right? Let's have a little look. Cave. Yeah, it's not no very good. No point in going there. It wasn't the cave I'd seen from the camel's hump. Yeah, I agree, it's not good. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the cameraman again, perhaps. Now that we found out what's up with him. Flash. Mr. Hawks doesn't like that cave. He says it isn't cinematic enough. Well, that's just too tough. The camera's bogged down in the sand. If he wants the sad. shot done today, it'll have to be that cave. Hmm. What There's about a this pretty good one? cave over on the other side of the bay. The one up in that finger of rock? We'd need a stuntman. You got a Hello. stuntman. We ain't got no stuntman. Bird injured his back doing that dumb wall jump. Yes, but but where? There was awesome. nothing else I wanted to ask the cameraman. Can we take the camera? Flash. Yep. We can't film at the Needle Rock because the camera's bogged down, right? You got it, champ. So why can't we use the portable camera instead? Oh, you know that's smart. a pretty smart idea. Smart. It is a pretty smart idea. Let's talk to Hawks. Let's do it. Let's tell him what he did. I've been talking to the cameraman. He's got a portable camera. So? So you can use the cave in that rock pillar at the end of the beach. That's mm -hmm. a dramatic cave if ever I saw one. We ain't got a stabilized harness for it. The camera will wobble. Did D.W. Griffiths have a stabilized harness when he made Birth of a Nation? You're right, damn it. Hitchcock, <laughs> Wells. None of them needed one. <laughs> oh, For crying no. out loud, Sam Raimi stabilized his camera on a plank. Props, give me a well. plank. We're gonna wing it. Hot dog. We're gonna do a <laughs> Hot cinema dog. pirate movie. Woo! George, get to wardrobe. We're gonna make you a star. We're gonna make on you my a way. star. We're gonna save in a sec too. Okay, let's get these costumes on, shall we? Come on, come on, George. I hope he comes. Oh, look how cool he Ready looks. He's still got his sunglasses on. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, Dad. How are you? How was your weekend? 
Oh, dang it, we should have saved before this happened. Whoa. Good, George. It's your birthday. Gonna party like it's... Oh! It's a chesticle! Oh. It was the stone which Ketch had captured from the Spanish. The Eagle Stone. Ted, you've been here all night also. <laughs> Yay! We got the Eagle Stone. Returning to the shaman's village, Nico finds the village burning and no to sign of George. And found that George had left a message with Conchita. He'd already oh, left no. for the Indian village, so I hurried to catch up with him. When I arrived, I found a scene of desolation. Oh no! I know, after fame. I know. Oh no! That's a bit sad. <laughs> yeah, nah, Peter. You gotta do it yourself. Uh oh. George, where are you? His super expensive glasses. Someone stole them. Who's that? Titi Poco. I'm almost glad to see you. Oh, the short guy. That's right. <laughs> uh oh. Poof. <laughs> You little asshole, what happened here? <laughs> Are you responsible for this? Uh, and where's Georges? Have you seen him? Uh -uh. He was pointing to the remains of a burned out hut. Hmm, okay. Let's just quickly save. Just quickly, hang on. Um, we'll go up here, I think. Yes. Oh, we're 81. More than 80% finished, guys. That's crazy. George's sunglasses, this is typical. These are George's shades, right? Has he been here? Yours! <laughs> Where is he now? <laughs> Did he just scratch his butt? What's that? It looks like the stone we bought from Paris, mm. but it's different. Yes, it has a carving of an eagle. That clinches it. Georges must have found this stone in the Caribbean. And we managed did. to hide the stone when the village was attacked by Karzak's men. I hope to God that Georges was all right. Where's Georges? Georges has been here, right? Why does he keep he pointing? He was pointing to the smoldering remains of a hut. Oh, there's a mine stone there. Yeah. It was too hot to pick up. Where's the panties when you need them? Um, can we use our clip? No. What's the barrel? Hmm? Okay. I just didn't have the strength to tip that barrel. Hmm. Can we give the chocolate to Tippy Coco? He wouldn't Tipicoco. have wanted it. Oh. Hey, Water. Shorty, make yourself useful help and help me with this barrel. Help us! Yeah. And that'll cool down the stone, and we can pick Thanks. up the stone. Mine stone. I recognize that. It's the coyote stone. It's the coyote stone. Hooray. I had the coyote and jaguar stones. Titi Poco had the eagle, according to the shaman. That's all we needed to deal with Tezcatlipoca. Pity he hadn't any ideas for dealing with Karzak. Mm. She's got a point. She has a point. What is it? Where are you pointing? George! Oh, smashed lantern. I didn't need the lantern since it was still daylight. Besides, it was broken. <laughs> I know. Um, can we? Oh, we can go to the left here. Let's go to the left. George! George! Come on, Tiki Poco. Pokey Tikis. 
After following the jungle path for a few hours, she's dedicated. We arrived to find Georges oh, being led up no. the stairs. We clearly didn't have much time. Georges! We found the pyramid, guys. This is the pyramid that houses the ancient and terrible dude. Okay, so cylinder, generator, fuel line, engine, gantry. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Okay. Uh, let's save, however. Just save. Uh, torch. <laughs> hey, senorita. Too late. Oh, hello. I have been seen. Hello. I'm one of you. I blend Bonjour, in. Capitaine. <laughs> Only sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh, oh la la. Snuggles said I could come here with him. Snuggles. Snuggles. Oh, I mean the general. We are uh, friends. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please, mm. I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what, I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, uh oh No, it's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run okay. along and play around here, okay? Okay, okay. you do that. Okay. Okay, well, let's head back here, run along here and play, shall we? Um, generator, cylinder. What's the cylinder do? Okay, so we've picked up the cylinder, generator, fuel line. Nope. What does the generator do? So this engine makes the elevator go up and down. And I'm assuming this is powered by the generator. So we've taken the cylinder out, so hopefully it won't work, but there's more things here. So maybe we have extra stuff that we need to do. Maybe we could cut the fuel line Oh. Um, should we use the cylinder to get some fuel? Perhaps. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to use the elevator? Fuel line. Okay, so there's... Can we use the fuel line... No, can we use a cylinder full of petrol on the fuel line? What do we have to take the cap off? Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, cool. Okay, so now maybe we can use the engine to go up and down. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. The motor spluttered into life. Okay, well that's good. Chippy Poco, I think I might need your help to do this. How did you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the oh. first place? Karzak? I thought he might need to help us. Loco. Yes, he scares <laughs> me too. He's loco! You're not wrong, mate. Would you like some chocolate? Would you like some chocolate, Titi Poco? It's good vintage. <laughs> good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. <laughs> it's a good vintage. Um, we can pick up the rope. How are we supposed to work out how to make maybe the rope on the elevator? No, okay. Rope. Can we give the rope to Tiki Poco? Um, Titi Poco, I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding. 
-hmm. and throw it over the top. Help. I see. Okay, so she's making a she's making a pulley. He's making the elevator actually work with the rope. Because at the moment it's not going anywhere because there's nothing connected to it. There's no pulley. Okay. He's very, uh, he's like a monkey. Thanks for following, Mazzy. Do, do it. Welcome to the stream. Um, so we'll take the rope and put it with the engine. Attach it, and now if we press the red button, it should go up and down. The engine stopped dead. Oh, whoops. Okay, push the button to turn the, the engine back on. The motor spluttered into life. And then the lever might move it up and down. Ah ha ha ha! Oh, this is smart. Okay, press the lever again. So we'll get Titi Poco to pull the lever when we stand on it, maybe. Titi Poco, when Please. I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Okay. Good job, Titi Poco. Titi Poco, you're the one. You're super helpful and lots of fun. All right, go for it, Titi Poco. Okay. Copy. Wee! George, My. I realized those George. bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over oh my no. dead body. Oh no. What can we do? What can we do? Can Thank we save? Me. Can we George save? George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to mm -hmm. happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzai will be close this behind. So Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice George. Shut mm. up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, uh -oh. Raoul. Why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobard. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet Ew. I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. We're just going to quickly going to save this game. Okay, um, boxes, ammunition belt? Oh, hang on. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Ted. Thank you. Mm. The crates and drums were sealed, and I had no way of getting into them. Pablo? If Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. Okay, maybe we need to go back down then. Uh oh. So we've got. Maybe we need to light the torch somehow. So let's try. Do we have anything that we can light the torch with? Maybe we can just pick it up. <laughs> I'm a silly girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we need to do something with it straight away then. Oh, no worries, fairy. So nice to see you. Have a good sleep, friend. Have all the good dreams. Uh, tick, ticky poco. Poco, do you still have that lighter gun you pulled on me so ah, amusingly? That's a good idea. Because I couldn't do anything with it unless I gave it to someone. Ooh. Okay. And now, if we throw the ammo belt What's going that, on it'll over go... There? The 
you need help and then we can go back upstairs Nothing's wrong. yeah i dropped uh, a cigarette but everything is under control i'll have the fire out in a minute or two quick 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 get the ammo belt Boom, boom, baby. Boom, boom. So they think someone's shooting at them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, lady. What's that? Hello. What's happening? Trouble. Give How it up. Are you? The pyramid's surrounded. Welcome. I'll find We're playing, out what the trouble um, is. Broken Watch Sword doesn't pull any tricks. If he it's does, so good. I love Broken Sword. Not through the heart. Why does not it matter? He'll be dead heart. either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. <laughs> nice one, George. Nice one. It is going well. It is going well. I would say that we're like 80% through. Maybe we could talk to the general now. General, just stop. Oh wait, there's a gun there. Is that a gun? Hello. Drop the gun or I shoot. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> don't worry That's yourself. Funny. My finger isn't loaded. <laughs> Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, hey, I'm going to set George free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I no. can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. This is the creepy the smiling thing Karzak man. Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubie, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubie is in Europe. Mm. Sure, no, he he's dead, in son. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But he's Karzak dead, promised. Son. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother yeah, you're not Karzak the smartest the like. apple in There's the bunch, mate. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother oh, would no. never betray me. Oh, oh no. I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. Titipoco. Hey, man. Nice to Watch see you this just man, and randomly. If you make move, shoot him with your gun. <laughs> his little flame gun. I love his little flame gun. It's so cute. Okay, let's free Georgia. Nice one, Titipoco. Let's get our our knife that we stole from the museum. Can Hold we use still, that? George, I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. <laughs> How are you, lady? How was your weekend? I hope you had a nice weekend. Yay, you're free, George. Woo! You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going I to can... cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on. Run. Oh, into the pyramid. Okay. It's an interesting choice. We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. <laughs> okay. Um. I know, Tiripoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll uh -oh. have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might things bring you Things keep lovely. saying things. Can you hear it? You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> What's up, This Titipoco? was a time for action, not talk. Okay. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know what we need to do. We need to put our fancy rocks in the levers. No? Oh, pull the lever then. We're back in, in, in this mouth. The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. I think we have to do all of them though. Nico? Heave! Still no good. And that one. Pattern. 
George, what do you reckon, mate? Ooh, Fritz, fricassee, fricassee, George. Yeah. Help George, me with the lever. I can only pull one lever at a time, and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. Okay, let's do it. I mean, that's one way to escape, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, we might be inside the pyramid now. It's just a minor detail. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's something suspicious. Got this sacrifice. Where is it? Nico was here with Titi Poco. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot. I should have strangled you at birth. Titi that's Poco rude. Has gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this catly poker. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think Ooh. so. And I'm glad. <gasps> what? Are they going to sacrifice the Mayans him? Weren't fools. Tess catly poker should stay exactly where they put him. Finally oh got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you encounter uh -oh. the devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice show. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! This cutly book can feed upon his yellow heart. That's her Nico son. was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. Oh dear. Whee! <laughs> it's a slide! What place is this? I was Where's in some sort gone? of strange room. Tiles and dials. Ooh. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. Where's the others? The shoot at the right the was too steep and slippery to get back up. Hey, Mrs. Lowry! Hi! Oh, they're so much fun. I really love, I really, really love the, um, can we go this way? The Broken Sword games. They're so fun. I still think the first one was my favourite, but this, by this is still pretty great. Device, decorated thanks, with the usual thanks for Maya following just Jeff. It had two great discs, Puzzle time. each covered oh, yeah. in glyphs. How's your weekend been, Mrs. Lowry? I hope you've had a nice weekend. Sorry, say that again, Nicole. I wasn't listening. What do these tiles do? The tile didn't want to move. Okay, so the tiles move. So I think it's they have to match somehow. So it could be this and then the three like that, but I'm not sure what way it has to match up. <coughs> so um, let's try making Let's just give this a crack. So if we move this. Maybe they have to come together. So I'm doing this first one on the right hand side over here. Spin it around. Oh, fancy. Are you enjoying it? Okay, so if I do that and then we've got the three, little three stones.
What was that? Oh, I totally understand. Okay, so that's beside each other. So this one. So will that move now? Ah ha ha! The tire moved slightly. Ah ha ha! Okay, great. All right, so next is like a fountain and then a hill. All right. So the fountain. And the hill. Ah! Um, so at the moment we are pressing each of these tile things. I'm hoping that eventually when we have pressed them all and created them all, we will be able to move forward. I'm not sure what these ones are for exactly, but they look like they're made up of these, but put on top of each other. Like, I'm not exactly sure how yet, but we're just doing the first stage. Okay, we're doing the first stage. So next one is the green square with the like caterpillar underneath. So, <laughs> explanations. The green square with the caterpillar. You got this, Nico. Now, Nico is a um, amateur sleuth, and um, she's had she's had a fair fair bad run actually in this game so far. Like she's been kidnapped. Um, She's been bitten by a snake and nearly died. She's been hit on by a super creepy dude that smiles too much. Like, it's it's been a lot. Ah, okay, so we can only do two at a time. That's interesting. Okay, so maybe... We have to combine these to make these. So two tiles will make some of these. So that tile and that tile. Okay, so that tile The tile didn't in. want to move. Okay, so we need to make this one here, I think. And then we can press that one. All right, so big orange and then two little dots. Who was weird, yes. So it's inside the pyramid. It's inside a pyramid right now. Other. Oh, the blonde guy. Yes, the evil blonde guy. It's creepy. Um, so we need this big orange one to come all the way around. It is so good, Moon Eyes. Disappointing was the third game. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be so annoying. I I find a lot of um, games as you get further into the 90s, like late 90s and early 2000s, they try and get really clever with their graphics and stuff. And sometimes it just doesn't work very well. I know they're trying to be like current and hip and whatever uh, for the, the, um, the digital stuff at the time, like the animation and whatnot. But yeah, it makes it really hard sometimes. Yeah, oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. I think it was that one, yeah? Oh no! Okay, so we need to do this one again now and then that one will come out, okay. So we need the fountain and the hill. Yeah, yeah, I know. I love Grim Fandango though, that was a brilliant game. But yes, it was really difficult to control. Really very difficult to control. <laughs> You're supposed to do in the run from the big stone thing, Indiana Jones. Right in the middle, there's a camera angle change. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. 
That's so annoying. Thanks for following, Top My. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's very frustrating. We haven't played the original Indiana Jones yet. We've played Indiana Jones and The Fate of Atlantis, but we haven't played the original. I, mostly because we've heard that it's um, very similar to the movie because it came out at a very similar time. Oh, oh. Um, a very, like, I think it was at the same time as the movie that it came out. I can't remember. We played it quite a while ago. I wouldn't mind playing um, The Fate of Atlantis again either, to be perfectly honest, because um, there's different ways that you can play it. And if you do different things, it... Um... The dial moved inwards and clicked home. Okay, cool. That's good. We've got one. Hooray! Good job, us. Um, yeah, there's different ways that you can play it if you make different choices. And I wouldn't mind playing it again just to try and make the different choice. Okay, hang on. So we need the flower and we need the green one with this thing underneath. Most difficult game. Oh my gosh, Legend of Kyrandia. Oh my goodness, I was frustrated beyond belief. Hey, Azot Apit. Pepitos, welcome to the stream, man. So we only just played Legend of Kyrandia very recently. And all, that was the last game that we played. Last point, retro point click adventure game. And it was just so flippin' frustrating. Um, half the instructions you couldn't really, um, you couldn't really do anything with because there was a flaw in the game of one of the instruction manuals actually came inside the game box. So you couldn't, you didn't know, you, like you couldn't proceed without cheating, which I hate um, because there was just no other way to go. You know what I mean? Like it was dumb, it was so dumb. And then we spent like two hours looking for an apple. It was so frustrating. So frustrating. Okay, so we need like the two green dots and then the flower. Okay. It was so frustrating. It's up, it's up on my YouTube channel if you guys ever want to watch it. Um, it was interesting, uh, but it was definitely the most difficult game that I think I've ever played. Like, and usually, oh, oh and mapping the labyrinth. I've never made a map so many, like I've made, I made six maps in the legend of Kyrandia because it was so confusing because all the trees and forests and things look the same and, and this particular bit called the labyrinth was just a nightmare. It was a nightmare. But it, it, it was fun and challenging, but it was exhaustingly fun and challenging, you know? It just, it was so hard. What about you? What was the, the hardest one you've played? Yeah, I agree. I agree, Shane. I agree. So we should be good with this one now. Yes. Okay, cool. So this last one has a hot dog and a cross and that one. Okay, so we'll do that one first and then the hot dog and a cross goes on top. So, <laughs> very technical. Hot dog and a cross. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, I think it's still worth watching. Um, I've cut a fair bit out of The Legend of Kyrandia because it, it was just so frustrating. And um, like we, we kept up our morale the whole way through, but it, it, was, um, it was pretty tricky. It was pretty tricky. Um, but again, I would have loved to play uh, Atlantis again. The only thing I remember about this puzzle is the cheeky skip. The cheeky skip. What do you mean the cheeky skip? Don't tell me there's a cheeky skip. Ooh, you're Christian, son? No, cheeky, no. Okay, so we need the slug and the cross. The slug and the cross. Labyrinth in Kyrandia gave me nightmares as a child. Oh my gosh. I was dreaming about that. Like, apple particularly. I dreamt about the apple for days after we'd finished the game. 
And there was a few people that went to bed dreaming about the apple. Oh my gosh. Because we'd accidentally eaten the apple. Much, much, much. At the start of the game, we accidentally ate the apple. And there was no way that we could go back. So we had to load a saved game and pretty much play half of the game again to get this apple. Opted to go with the original over the remastered version for this. Any particular reason why? Well, honestly, I don't think this is the, re the original. I think it's the remastered edition, isn't it? It's the one, whatever's on Steam. I mean, I prefer to go with the original if I can get it. Um, I thought this was the remastered version because um, usually what's available on Steam is the remastered version but if it's the original then awesome not sure it's possible oh my it was close Andrew it was it was super close mate it was super close oh, 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 the frustration was real Sierra style adventure games with the gotcha dead ends like that. Yeah, I we've only played one or two, two I think Sierra games because I think Gabriel Knight was Sierra as well. I love Gabriel Knight. Um, we've played uh, Space Quest. I I did really enjoy Space Quest, but yes, you have to get used to saving a buttload. Um, okay, so I think we need this one, and what's the other one? This one. Okay, okay, so we need that one and that one. So, toast with green bits and beans. Hey, predictable wizard. It's nice to see you. Oh, I know, samesies. I was so keen to play Space Quest again because that was, it's one of the very, very few point and click retro Ooh. games that I played as a kid because I'm a bit late like I wasn't really around when most of them were made um, but it was one of the ones that I'd actually played and I failed so hardcore it was horrible um, and it was so frustrating so I was pretty pretty excited when I beat it um, it was a fun game too though it was a fun game. I am only playing the games that aren't text-based though. I don't really want to play the super early Sierra ones that are text-based. Just because maybe eventually when I've gone through all the point and click ones, but I just don't like that interface very much. It, I feel like it'd be just so frustrating. I get frustrated enough with these games. Like quick fire point and click question. Have I played Toonstruck? Yes, I have played Toonstruck actually. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, the weirdest part was the weird torture cow. And if you've played Toonstruck, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the bondage cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that we had um, Doc from Back to the Future. What's his name? Um, gosh dang it, what's his name? Um, but this was prior to putting my games up on YouTube, unfortunately. Emmett Brown, Christopher Lloyd, thank you other, yes, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, he's amazing, or Doc to his friends. Yeah, he's an amazing actor, I really enjoyed him in it, I thought he was brilliant. Um, but it was just super weird. It reminded me a little bit of um, the early Looney Tunes stuff, uh, which was really weird. I don't know if you saw any of the Looney Tunes stuff, the old Looney Tunes stuff growing up, but whenever I'd visit my pop, I'd watch the really old Looney Tunes stuff. And to me, it's very similar to that. It, w it was cool though. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I see. Okay, there you go, VM Vexy man. That's good to know. Aha! We did it, guys! Yay! Et voilà! George once Et told voilà. me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. Yeah, totally. Looney Tunes fever dream. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to save right here so we don't have to come back again. 
This is one of the things that I've learnt from playing the Sierra games is that yes, we need to make sure that we save all of the time. That was so frustrating. There was one point in Space Quest where we hadn't saved for a little while and we died and I'm like, no! And we died a lot in Space Quest. <laughs> Played Doc from Back to the Future didn't add for Rick and Morty. Did he actually do? So I thought, this is it, you know? This is true love. Anyway, you talking to? I have to leave for a few this weeks and when Georgia. I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? <laughs> Labano. That creep. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. This is a steam copy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wish I had all the originals, but I just, I don't have any way to play them. My PC's not old enough. <laughs> yeah, best Sierra lesson. Absolutely predictable. Absolutely. Oh, heck. Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Oh, Any boy. ideas? Titty Poco, take us onwards. I was hoping for something a little more constructive. <laughs> He's like, Never mind, I'm I'll have a look now. around. Yes, you probably were. Yes, yep, I think you were, Andrew. So much death. <laughs> he did in a real life version. <laughs> Remaster mainly the addition of character speaking portraits. Ah, okay, that's interesting. And you, Christensen, on your phone too. You're playing the first Broken Sword. Ah, that's awesome, Miss Lowry. I had no idea that you could play them with your phone. Um, what do we do with this torch? That's really cool. Titty Poco, can you please light our torch with your gun flame? Oh, Georgia. <laughs> Look, Flame I me. need to light this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or flint and tinder or... Ha ha ha. Or a what, cheesy novelty one? cigarette lighter, as it turned out. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, there's a lever. The Let's only thing you could do with first. the statue was sit on it. And Titty Poco had beaten <laughs> me to that. He's, he's onto it. He's onto it. Sewer opening thingy. Well, yes, you're right. There's nothing else AC. to do around here, yeah. so I pulled the lever. Yay! Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? <gasps> Did it poco? Oh my... Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Georgia, what did you do, you silly nincompoop? It's always George that Great. stuffs everything up. I had up. no idea where I was, <laughs> no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. That's what Still, he gets for being short. I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. <laughs> Woohoo! George looking at the bright side of life. All right, what's this? Torch with the lever? What is the lever? Oh. Oh no, no. Do the do the torch, do the torch, do the torch, and then we'll light this other torch with the torch. So the torch, we can't do anything with the torch unless we do the torch. <laughs> Makes sense. Interesting adventure game is Titanic Adventures Out of Time. Ah, I've never heard of that one. Okay, that sounds fun. What are these things here? Oh, they're doors. Okay, what does this lever do? Oh really, Mrs. Larry? A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Huh. What if we pull it again? Ah ha ha! Our chanteurs. Yeah, that's pretty good. Always look on the bright side of life. Dee doo, dee doo, dee doo, dee doo. Charming. <laughs> Is the guy really tall? <laughs> no, he's not. Um, oh, statue? Is that the like a fire pit? The statue looked like it doubled as an incense burner. Okay, and there's two levers. So does that mean... We need a second person? Titty Poco, where the heck are you? 
Hmm. Let's pull a lever and see what happens. Like George, I'm not sure what came out first. Maybe one of them was inspired. Okay. So that closes that one. And I guess this one closes this one. Hmm. Okay. Whistles. <laughs> Heard rumours of Monkey Island inspiring the Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. It does kind of feel a little bit like Monkey Island. I could see them doing that. Okay, I'm going to go get that, um, that torch off the wall. Pressing a couple of stones, different per version, and Nico will step near the exit. She will lift her... Blouse flashing the mind statue. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it feels a bit of a stretch, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. The torch could stay there until I really needed it. Ah, oh, all right. We don't really need it. What happens if we go out here? Is this where we just came from? Every time I think this place can't get any spookier, it does. Oh no. Okay, you know what? We're going to start from here. So I have a funny feeling this is going to be a gosh damn labyrinth. Gosh darn it. A stone Do I need to make a must have weighed tons. Do I need See to make a door. map? <laughs> Do I need to make a map? I feel after um Kyrandia that map making is an integral skill for adventure games. So let's save here. And if it is a if it is a um, a maze uh We'll save over this one, yes. Then we'll be prepared. Poor little guy must have hurt himself. No! <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go this way and we'll just close each door as we do it. So the main room, that's where we started, has a door here has a door here, we close this door. Okay, so this room here has a door there and there. Okay, so we wanna close this door. I don't know why we're closing the doors, but open that door and close that door. I love Monkey Island. I'm glad you I'm glad you're enjoying it. I wish I could have Oh, the other door opened. Did you see that? So one door closes and the other one opens. Um I really enjoyed Monkey Island, except for the last one. The last one sucked. Disney's spoiling everything. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Hang on, is this where we just were. There was nothing I could do to the carving, even if I'd wanted to, which I didn't. Okay, so this is a long room. We've come through that one, then this is a long room. So that would just join the other room, right? Unless it's a different long room. Let's just see. Hmm. Gosh darn, Disney. Yes, finally. I'm out of here. No, this is different. It's a door we closed. Oh, it must have been because we closed the doors as we went. That was totally not what I meant to do. 
We didn't have to make a map. That's wonderful. Super. So this is the room that we were in before, but we've done something like closing the door or whatever. Oh, hang on. Let's take the new torch, George. Once more into the unknown. Let's take the torch. Yeah, the most recent one. Return to Monkey Island. Yeah, it's very upsetting. Just, it just wasn't good. Just, it did a bit of cool. a disservice Onwards to Monkey Island. Onwards and downwards, Island. Mr. Stobart. I did, um, I did play it. That was actually one of the first ones that I recorded. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Down we go! This is a room of levers. This was it. The Pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before oh. in my life, I'd stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror. Ooh. You got this, George. <gasps> We're here! We found Nico! Oh, heck. Who's that? guys I kind of wish there was like a like a, a post scene to that like they go oh good job George you know but that was really cool <laughs> oh my goodness guys guys it's all over we all work together and we stopped the demon from breaking through the mirror. We did it! Yes! So that was Broken Sword, my friends. Actually, no, Broken Sword 2. I really enjoyed it. It was different to Broken Sword 1, which I think I preferred. I preferred the Broken Sword 1 because of the Templars. I really enjoyed the Templars, mostly because I've been to Paris and I've seen the different places that the Templar Templars went. I really enjoyed this story, although I feel like Nico had a bit of a rough lot 
in this game. <laughs> like lots of things happened to poor Nico. She got kidnapped and imprisoned and uh, then she got bitten by a snake and nearly died. Like she's had a bit of a rough time of it, but she, uh, she, she made up for it. She and George, it's another great Nico and George adventure. So things I liked about it, I liked that Nico and George were back and they were their characters again. And I like the Nico and George dynamic. I think that's quite a fun, playful dynamic between the couple. Um, I liked the story. It was very different to the first story, but it was still a lot of fun. There was highs and lows and, and the puzzles were pretty fun as well. I think the puzzles were good too. Um, I do definitely think I enjoyed the first one more, however. Um, downsides? There was a few puzzles where we had to go backwards and forwards a lot between different people to get different information and that got a little bit tedious. Um, I mean, there was obvious uh, character things that aren't very PC by today's standards, like, you know, Nico talking up the general to get him to do what she wanted. You know, a lot of games wouldn't do that anymore, but I don't know. I like that the humor in Broken Sword, just the franchise in general, has that tongue in cheek humor that it is a little bit cheeky. It is a little bit raunchy and they do cross a few of those boundaries but I like it, you know? And I think that's part of why I like these um, older point and click adventure games or part of the reason I like them is because they don't really care about the PC stuff. You know, it, these all happened before the, the mass amounts of PC stuff happened. And I really like that. Anyway, so I think I am going to give this one a seven out of 10. Yay! Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And honestly, it was a massive relief after the Legend of Kyrandia last last uh, last game that we played. It was um, relaxing and enjoyable following that linear story, but still having those few puzzles to stump us here and there was just really enjoyable and fun. Um, again, I don't think it's as good as the first one, which I would say is an 8 out of 10, but it's still really enjoyable and I had a really good time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, if you want to hang out with us on Twitch and actually see us playing the game and be part of the action, you should definitely do that. Come hang out. But until next time, stay safe. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!